999 Fucking It all started With 999 Dude And then Oh I guess before that Fucking I the Somnium Files We did I the Somnium Files Then went to 999 then went to, uh, fucking, uh, what do you call it? Fucking, uh, uh, VLR. Then fucking ZTD. And now we're here. Now we're here. I usually say that 999 was the official start of Uchikoshi Sunday, but I guess, uh, I the Somnium Files really really set the standard. But can you believe that we've been doing this since September? Can you believe it? A whole fucking year of Uchikoshi games. And not once has a, has a Sunday not been part of of uh, of the uchikoshi sort of surrounding you know what i mean since last year september like it's fucked up and now today and now today that's it it's the end yeah 999 solidified uchikoshi sunday cuz cuz i came in I came in with I the Somnium Files thinking, oh, that'll be it. That'll be that'll be the the you know the last one. And then we'll move on to a different series. And then And then I said, okay, let's uh Let's do uh let's do 999 and see where it goes. Yeah, five games later, I I did not realize that these games would drastically change my brain chemistry. Some way might say for the worse. So I might say for the worse. <laughs> Morphogenetic build shift cell. But welcome everyone. To the last for now the last Uchikoshi Sunday first and foremost before we start today I want to say thank you to perp for the 35 months who says First, uh, and then of course, Kafeka, Kafeka Gaming for the 37 months, uh, who says, coming back from hibernation for the Uchikoshi finale, Mark Toto. Thank you. Dude, I can't believe almost a full year. I, I needed a game for, for essentially the 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 subathon the year before that I thought would be a big hit and I was right because I I didn't know so I didn't know so many people would would you know uh, love the original I the Zomnium Files games and and since then my brain has been you know uh, my brain has been changed dramatically. You know what I mean? Uchikoshi heads are not normal. It's true. 
But I should say that although Uchikoshi Sunday is coming to an end, it is not uh, the official end. Um, also, thank you for the uh, for the follow, uh, Chemical Burn. At some point, I've never heard this. I've never I've never heard this version of the song. So it, so it kind of threw me off there. Um, what what I was going to say before I was so rudely interrupted by Ota. Um. Was that at some point I do want to play uh, World's End Club? You know, World's End Club. We're also waiting on the Ever series to get remastered, uh, and as soon as that happens, you know, Ujikoshi Sundays will be back on the menu. Um, and then of course, um. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. We should just play Punchline <laughs> for Vita. We should just play Punchline for Vita on, on, uh, on stream, right? Nah, how about we don't? Shut the fuck up. Because everybody loves Punchline. Especially me. I, we were talking about it the other day. We were talking about it the other day. And, and Shar and I were saying that, like, you know, like, oh, you know, Uchikoshi is, like, a good writer. You know, Uchikoshi is, uh, awesome. Uh, just don't let him near an anime. Just don't let him near another anime. You forgot Punchline was Uchikoshi? Yeah. Yeah. Pepsi Man is Uchikoshi, but very, very minor. Very, very minor, like, Ujikoshi. I do not consider it part of, uh, of the Ujikoshi line. But, you know, in, in my opinion, Ujikoshi is not, uh, Ujikoshi Sunday is not dead. Um, it is simply taking a long, long, long rest. Uh, now that we are done, Arguably his most series, his most popular series. Oh. What? Wait, what are they saying? I think that was that. Was that Dante saying thank you guys, everyone? His most series? Yeah, his most popular series. Yeah, they're all talking. Can you guys fucking pipe down? I'm trying to fucking talk. Trying to fucking trying to talk to people here. Jesus Christ. He apparently also did the original concept for The Girl in Twilight. I've never heard of this. This TV series. I don't know what this is. The series follows five girls to, who discover a way to travel to parallel universes using a radio. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, that makes... Yeah, that's fine. Mar, can we play Umineko? Okay, so if you thought uh, Nirvana Initiative uh, was like long, as in like 15 weeks long, Umi Neko will uh, be even longer, I think. I think it'll be even longer. It'll That thing will be like 500 years. Wait, Steins Gate was a scenario written by, by Uchikoshi? What the fuck? How am I just learning about this now? Oh no. Steins Gate Linear Bounded Phenogram. Um, Linear Bounded Phenogram is a spin off from Steins Gate consisting of 10 side stories set in different realities, some of which are similar to the, uh, to the one in the original game, some of which are very different. Um, interesting. He wrote one scenario called Abduction Across Three Worlds. So, and, and, okay, so uh, some of the scenarios are all, like, written by different people. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. 
Should I play, uh, should I play Stein's Gate? Should I play that one? Sure, why not? Should I do a little dance and take off of my pants? <laughs> the fucking, uh... Yeah, if there's one thing Uchikoshi loves uh, to write, it's alternative universe. You don't have pants, do you? No, I have, well, I have, I own pairs of pants, but the, 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 the streaming uniform is kind of a, kind of a one, one-time deal. You know what I mean? It's like a whole, it's like a whole one thing, you know? You call, you could call it a onesie, maybe. Actually, no, don't call it a onesie. You know that shit Vegeta has in, in like the, the Frieza arc when he takes off his armor? I guess it's kind of like that. Or I guess he also wears it, um, he wears a similar thing during the Boo Saga. He, he, he wears that, like, it's just like one, like one deal, right? It's kind of like that. What do you fucking call that? Vegeta's out, outfit. Boo Saga. What is, what do you, what do you call that thing? Is it a bodysuit? I guess it's a bodysuit. His baby suit? Oh, it's playing this song again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play, uh, I'm gonna play this, this song. Um, yeah, like, what would you, yeah, his, like, track clothes? Like, what do you call, what do you call this thing? What is this? What is this? What's this one? Onesie? That's a tank top? No, it, it's it's all connected. It's all connected. Wait, hold on. I I need a I need a a full body picture. It's not it's not a tank top. Although it is very funny that it is that you called it a tank top. Like this whole thing. Slut skin? His drip is. Genuinely, it's a leotard? Okay. So then, my shit's like that. My shit's like that. It's my, it's my uniform. It's 100% my uniform. So, I could, I could wear pants if I want to, but I don't, I don't know. It's comfy. Also, I'm, I look very iconic. Very Vegeta-like, you know what I mean? Very, very, uh, how can I say? I, I, I look just about as strong as Vegeta. You're just wearing, wearing a deflated beach ball? Man, I don't make fun of your fit. What, what did I do to deserve this? This guy thinks he's Vegeta? I do. I think I'm awesome. Maybe you should go ahead. Uh, wait, what? I don't even know. I don't remember what your fit looks like from, from my, from my memory. Yeah, y'all forgot rule number one. Let me get a link. Is this the time where I just roast your, your fit? I didn't know you're ripped. That's crazy. Oh yeah, I, dude, I know. I mean, oh, look at, like, look at these muscles. Look at look at the way I flex when I when I take out my pen. Oh, oh! What well, you don't realize this pen, this pen, it's a weighted pen. It's a weighted pen. I'm like, uh, you can't you can't uh, you can't see it, but it takes so much strength to to lift this up. Oh, oh! Hi, streamer. I'm home. Where did you go? Where did you go? What did you do? I should talk about my day, which I, I had a very eventful two past two, three days. Okay, Purpose linked me her outfit. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, roast it, I guess. Where are your, where are your shoes at? 
Where are your shoes at? Where did your shoes go? You got you got nothing down there? Where'd it go? Where's actually your shoes? Where Nothing? You got the white vans? What what's going on there? Where's that? Where'd it go? Feet for free? There's no what are you talking about? There's no there's no feet happening. It's got like okay, all right. There's like there's like one heel going on, and then the red, and then this one is like I'm not sure what's going on. There. Where where the feet at? The rest of the outfits actually good. I can't like I literally can't actually talk shit. But this what, what's going up? What's going on over there? Got one heel. You got one fucking little little nothing going on over there. Where's it? Where did it go? We got socks on. You can't afford can't afford a couple Pumas. Wait, can't can't afford a little Adidas. What if I got none? Put some fucking put some fucking get some Crocs on. Huh? Where your Crocs? Where your Crocs at? Perp wear Tims? Oh shit! Wait, the Tims would be like sick. Just tape them on. What do you mean? Let me tape them on. Come on, you're supposed to walk. Where, where, what's going on down there? Can you, do you float? What am I supposed to do? Sure thing. I gave you the opportunity for that. You're cheating. Purple, the white vans. That's not. That's not vans. These are. These are the Walmart socks. What are you talking about? Oh, I don't know what's going on here. That's the Walmart socks. That's the fruit of the loom. What do you mean? There ain't no vans going on. Listen, I'm I'm uh I I'm I'm the I'm the sneakerhead now. Like I I know all about the brands. Spray on shoes. I'm just walking on sunshine. How did you feel about our anime experience yesterday? Uh, it was good. It was good. Okay, hold on. I'm getting like way, way too ahead of myself. Okay. It's been, it, it's been a couple days since the last stream, but I've been very, very active. I've been like super active lately because I like, um, I've been walking around I've been walking around. I've been doing all sorts of shit um, in preparation for today's very emotional day, um, which today is very emotional. Um, today is very extremely, extremely emotional. Um, so, uh, what did I do Friday? Oh, I didn't do anything because I had a fucking huge headache. I had a ginormous headache, so I didn't do shit. But Saturday, Saturday was important because, okay, literally very, very like spur of the moment, I decided that I was going to go to uh, a mall called Vaughn Mills. If you're not familiar with Vaughn Mills, um, it is a, a mall that is literally two hours away. It's really fucking far from where I live. But I was like, you know what? I want to go there, and and there's a specific reason I want to go there. Um, so I hopped on a bus, and then I hopped on a train, and I hopped on another another train, and then uh, I hopped on another bus, and then um, I uh, I went to Vaughn Mills, and there's and it's very 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 special. There's a very special reason. I went to Vaughn Mills because it has the one, the only, uh, Bass Pro Shop Outdoor World. Literally spur of the moment, I asked Shard the, the, the night before, I was like, do you want to come? Do you want to come over and, and, uh, go to this fucking Vaughn Mills so that we could go to Bass Pro Shops? Also to get my Pikmin steps in. And, um... And Shara's like, oh, I'll think about it. And then, yeah, it just didn't happen because it's it's literally two hours away by public transit. 
we went to the holy world. The holy land of, of outdoor worlds. Um, and by we, I mean me. Main, mainly just me. Um, also, I did not talk about this on, on Twitter. Uh, there was a... An absolutely rancid fucking t-shirt shop that I that I went to. Um, that is just it is just awful, just fucking horrible. Uh, I'm sure it's f like full of like like um, how can I say it? Full of really really bad stolen designs. Uh, with one of them being this one. This isn't the one that I want to show off though. Like this is awful. This is just just terrible. Just fucking terrible. Um this is so there's this one, which is like, I mean, that's like an egregious, like pretty bad like uh design. And and it let me let me tell you, this is in the world's or not the world's. This is in Ontario's biggest mall. It is Ontario's biggest mall. Again, this is just straight up like stolen art, like fucking whatever. Um, obviously I'm not gonna buy it, but there was one design in particular that I'm going to show off here and it is going to be slightly censored. And it's just, it's just terrible. So I think you can guess what's happening here. I think you can fucking guess what's going on um just again in a mall where kids can see this literally anybody need that shirt immediately what what are you talking about okay hold on i here there's a better way to to censor this hold on there's a better way I, I don't know why I tried to do that. Yeah, Mel yeah, Mel Blank would have loved that shirt. But like this entire thing is 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 just so so bad. So fucking bad, man. Um wait, hold on, let me Oh uh Wait, hold on. I'm I'm censoring it for you guys. So that I don't get in trouble on on twitch.tv. Okay, I can now I can now show it off. It's been properly censored. Um Yeah, just just awful. Just terrible. Just like, just fucking, like, literally anybody could walk in and just see this. Like, it's fucking horrible. Uh, and then alongside that, look at the fucking t-shirts next to it. <laughs> like, what is going on here? With the Mickey with the middle fingers. The fucking, what is going on? How did I miss this? I posted it in, in, uh, I did post this in Freak. 100% I did post it. Um yeah, it just just terrible. Just fucking awful. One of the worst things I've ever seen in my entire life. Um kind of goes hard, bar you should wear them. No, nah, I'm good. No, nah, I'm good. Yeah, that is one white jasmine. Exactly. Like just terrible. Horrible horrible um and again any any kid could enter that fucking that fucking building it's just oh man put them on the for the, for the finale now nah, i'm good i'm good um but uh yeah i went to the bass pro shop and uh it it truly was everything i expected and more it was, uh, it's beautiful. Uh, the inside is, like, 
sprawling. Uh, there's like wildlife all over the place. There's a uh, adventure. Um, you know, it, it's just it's just a magical, magical place. Uh, while everyone was like, you know, doing all sorts of like convention shit, and like people were, you know, my uh, I had like a couple friends that who had boots at Fan Expo. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna travel two hours, go into the mall. Uh, look at whatever the fuck is going on here. Um, I, uh, like, seriously have no idea. Um, I guess there's just a real fireplace, um, going on in there. Uh, did you jump into the fish tank? You know, that's a great question. And you know what? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and say, yeah. I did get a picture of, of the fish tank. Um, which I think is, uh, it was beautiful and not... Uh, dirty whatsoever. I mean, you you be the the judge for yourself. Um, it is it like it is just uh just very 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 clean. Uh, I'm sure very well maintained. Um, yeah, no, I'm you know it's good. It's very very clean. You could just tell. Um, you can just tell from from the get go there. So, um. So there's that, and then uh, there was a big waterfall, which for some reason is not appearing on my on my Google Photos. Um, maybe I don't has it has it uploaded? Did it just not upload properly onto my onto my Google Photos? Oh, it totally just didn't upload. I see. Okay, that's cool. Um. I okay, well while while those are uploading, I guess. Um Yeah, so I you know, I went to that mall, I went to, to the Bass Pro Shop. They also have a Legoland. Like literally just like a, a little like a little Lego land that's there. I it's no oh, that's real algae, for sure. Hundred percent. Um yeah, there was like a Legoland there, which I took pictures of um I took pictures of of this this thing, um, which like it, this is really really fucking cool. And but Randy told me that it was like six hundred dollars on Twitter. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Um, I, is that the Titanic? No, this one's the gigantic. No, nah, I'm just kidding. It's the Titanic. It says it right there. Um. It is six hundred dollars, and for that price, it it gotta build its its damn self. Like I'm not paying six hundred dollars for a model of the Titanic, uh, for this much. Like I could I could I can show y'all better things to do with your money. However, uh oh, here's some more pictures that I didn't show off on on Twitter. Well, I guess I showed this one off. Um, this one was a reply. Um, I, I took strangely a lot of pictures at the pro pa the, the, the Bass Pro Shop. Um, yeah, you could give six, you could give me $600. I think that would be a better use of your money, in my opinion. Um, so there's that one. Um, wait, hold on. Where is it? There we go. Uh, they had the um the like shooting gallery thing but it was non-functional uh but the decor is fucking amazing <laughs> the decor is like really 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 good um i mean just like look at these guys <laughs> like look at them it's uh really good i love this like bear up at the uh, the top who just who's just like oh oh um, there's that one. I sent Char, uh, oh no, th I, this one I sent, uh, to my, to my, uh, group chat. Um, I thought, I just thought it was funny. Don't make me open this can of whoop-ass, uh, peanuts. So if you guys, um, you just want, if you guys just want peanuts, you can just open up a can of whoop-ass. Um, <laughs> why did you say, why did you say Poop ass. Um, there's that one. There's the waterfall, which actually, you know what? Like, this looks great. 
This looks great. I love this. I absolutely fucking adore this. Um, I love the uh, the waterfall vibe. You know what I mean? Did you drink from it? Yeah, I was just trying to get like um, I was just trying to get like all diseases. So, uh, I was uh, I was just kind of uh, ready to get get a big sip. So, um, yeah, I was just I was just trying to get like every single disease known to to uh, to to humankind. Um, it's kind of a new experiment that I'm trying to do. So, um, yeah, so I took a big sip of that. I put my head underneath the water and I went, look, 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 look. Um, so there's that one. Uh, this was, this is the one I sent to Char specifically. Um, is a little beaver, which I thought was really funny. Um, yeah, world's wettest store. I just, I just really, really liked, I love the vibes of this, of this beaver. I just really, I really liked it. Building a dam. Bil building a damn dam. You know what I mean? Damn, damn, damn. Is this wetter than the Coca-Cola Museum? Nothing is wetter than the Coca-Cola Museum. Um, there's another bear that I thought was funny. And also whatever the hell this thing is. What, whatever the fuck. I like what is this? I think that's supposed to be a wolf, but um whoever did the taxidermy did not do a good job. I I guess it's a bobcat? A link oh, maybe a lynx? Yeah, I I thought I thought something was fucked up, but you know, maybe yeah, that's that's just nature, I guess. Friend of mine was that or not even friend, you guys know. You guys know Trex. You guys know them. Trex was asking me why I was in the Bass Pro Shop. I said I was uh, enjoying the wonders of nature and also getting my Pikmin steps in. That's the that's the main reason that I was trying to is trying to get my my Pikmin steps in. Uh, but also like just nature is beautiful, you know, like nature is just is just great. I don't know why I took a picture of that. I just thought, I just thought it was funny. Dude, they got water sports in this one. Crazy. This Kirby bag I found. Look at this Kirby bag I found. It's cool. I didn't. I did not buy it. It does. It does straight up because they miss. Yeah, they miscolored the uh, the mouth. It does. It does straight up look like he has teeth. No, this is not in the Bass Pro Shop. This is just just in the mall. I just really really liked the colors of this backpack. It's just, it's just really, like, the colors are really good. Um, unfortunately, if I ever bought this bag, I would probably buy it for the collection. Um, not so much to wear it, because, uh, this bag is completely dripless. It would not work with my decor, unfortunately. Um, but it is cool. It is very, very, very cool. Um, did the rest of my photos get uploaded? I didn't, I don't think so. Oh, I did. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, so I was, I was also having an argument. Or not an argument, per se. Um, I, uh, I was, I was asking my friends, please convince me, uh, not to buy, uh, not to buy this. Uh, which is a Kirby backpack. Um, and I, and I was telling them like, please convince me not to buy it. Um, and, and they, you know, they're, they're saying like, okay, I mean, it, it doesn't, the thing is that it doesn't look good. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's fair. How much do you need to buy it? It's, I think it was $50 to buy this Kirby backpack. Um, which I think is a little too much. It was a, it's a little too much for fifty dollars. Um, that is a lot of of money. Yeah, it, this was in, in the uh, the GameStop. You can you can tell because there's the GameStop like tags right there. There was this one. There was this one, and then um, what was it? It you know what it feels like? It feels like they they had a bunch of spare Kirby. Um, 
plushes, and they're like, let's just make a backpack out of it. Um, yeah, but it was $50, but I was very tempted to get it. And I was like, oh, but I, I'm also a, a grown ass man. And I don't know if I wanted to carry a Kirby for two hours on the public transit. Um, there's that one. And then there was this one, which was a little more affordable. This one was, uh, is $15. But again, my friends were like, uh, it's cool, but it's completely dripless. And I said to them, I was like, yeah, but it would be more for the collection. It'd be more for the Kirby collection. My, my, my growing, uh, my growing Kirby collection uh, that is above my my uh, my bed, and um, and I'm like, well, it's not that I'm ashamed of being uh, of of carrying around a big ass Kirby on public transit for two hours. It's that I have to carry something for two hours. I have to like manage to to like you know futz around with it. You know what I mean? I'm not ashamed. I love Kirby. If I had to represent the Kirby, I've done it before. I've bought a big ass Kirby and brought it home at it like a, a convention. I don't give a fuck. It's that I have to carry it for two hours. It's a backpack, you could just wear it. You're missing the point. I already had a backpack. I already had something on my back. I'm not gonna bring a backpack and then wear a backpack on top of my backpack. That's too many backpacks. That's too many backpacks. Front pack? That's true. Do you guys like having backpacks on? Do you guys like having backpacks on? It's it's annoying. I don't like backpacks. That shit's so sweaty. Nowadays I roll around with the uh with the EDC. The, uh, yeah, the, the sling bags. I, I roll around with the, um, with the sling bags now. That's like my, my thing. Dude, EDC is the way to go. It's the way to go. I at least have one EDC that fits in my, my Steam Deck, which is really, really nice. Wear the Kirby backpack like it's a baby, baby carry. <laughs> I, I love, I love that. The, the baby baby is uh, doubled. That's really good. But again, I did not want to wear, I did not want to wear this hat. This would be, again, this would be entirely dripless. This would be a dripless hat. It would be the, for, for the collection. I did not get it anyway. What else did I open up here? Oh yeah, there's this cool light thing. And for some reason, a woman was swimming in it. Uh, so that was cool. I just thought it looked cool. I, I like the way it looked. And then I ended the day with a with a nice little photo of the sunset. The nice little photo of the sunset. I thought I th I just thought it was a neat neat picture. Like look at that. Look at the composition on that. It was it was it was like a really 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 good day. It was like the last of August summer weather. You know what I mean? Like Cause one, once September hits and like the mood starts to like change, that's when you can feel the, the air changes a little bit. Yeah, there is just the Walmart logo there. Um, you can just feel the, the air changing as, as time goes on. You know what I mean? Uh, oh yeah. And I guess I took a picture. I took a picture of Toys R Us cause that shit still exists here. And I wanted to brag about it online, but then I thought it would make me look like an asshole. So I didn't brag about it. Marby likes looks like my summer vacation is over. True. I get I get that reference. Dude, I've been playing so much Birth by Sleep. So much Birth by Sleep. Uh my my game save is like it's insane now. I look I I I'm like fucked up on it. Birth by Eep. Eep. Um Yeah. I, it's also all trying to, I'm trying to get all my, uh, my save file back. Are you just grinding? 
I well, it's because I accidentally I accidentally saved over my um my Terra build, right? I just came here from the VOD from the Teanort Lingering Will fight. Yeah, if you watch the latest VOD, you'll know that I accidentally saved over my fucking Terra file. So, so I I now have it where uh, I have it on my Steam Deck. Uh, I managed to get Kingdom Hearts up and running on my Steam Deck. The only problem is the save files aren't compatible, so I had to do some some magic shit to get it up and running. Um, but in the time of getting back my, my Terra save file, I've been grinding up and I've been learning the ins and outs of the, uh, of the fucking game. And when I get back, but when Wednesday hits, dude, you're going to see a brand new Mar in the fucking, uh, in the fucking hyperbolic time chamber. That's what I liken it to. I was literally in the hyperbolic time chamber. When we get back to that fucking, uh, that playthrough. Oh man, I know, I know everything. The intricacies of, of the command system now. It, shit's going to be dope. Oh, you're going to see like a, a billion levels from me. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be so good. Um, I haven't touched any of, of Ventus's playthrough. It's all the Terra playthrough. It's all Terra. So I'm very, very, very excited. Um, so that was my day. That was my day on, on Saturday. And then today on Sunday, I was not expecting to go to Fan Expo, but a friend of mine who I haven't seen in a long time was like, I'm going Sunday. Do you want to come? And I said, yeah. Uh, so I went to, uh, I went to Fan Expo today. And, um, I did not get a lot of pictures. I did not get a lot of pictures. However, I did get one picture that I was going to post online. Uh, and it was cracking me up. Um, just, just look at this, just this downright fucking terrible t-shirt that I found over there. <coughs> just this, this terrible, terrible shirt. And then on top of that, on top of that, it says anime t-shirts, which is really, really, really funny. <laughs> incredibly, incredibly funny. Um, I just, it, I was like really, I was like laughing so much at that. Look at this fucking Hulk. Look at this Hulk. Hulk is positioned where Hulk's nipple is actually like where your nipple would be, which is like really, really funny. Just a fun little coincidence. It's like one of the only photos I took. One of the one of the only photos I took. Um which is uh I again I just kinda came in, I was like, I'm I'm chilling. And then I left. I left. Um anyways. That was my day. Fan Expo was fun. It was fine. There's a lot of people there. There was a lot of people there. I do not miss trudging through the Fan Expo Artist Alley lines. I was I was not happy about going through those those particular lines. It was very annoying. Um and yet <laughs> next week I have to do it again at Anime Toronto in the exact same building. Char, is, uh, is Anime Toronto happening in the North building or in the South building, you know? My brother was at the con running the 501st booth. He'd be one of the many stormtroopers. That's cool. That's cool. North, but I think, uh, I think, but let me check. I, I, I think I will be happier at Anime Toronto because it's a much more low-key convention. Even though, um, like, I don't know. I feel like it'll be very, very low-key. It, wo it won't be, like, crazy all over the place. And I think I'm only going the, the Friday, so, because it's, it's cheaper anyway. <clears throat> it's very fun the last time I boot there, but that was 2019. I love that, like, 
the only thing I know about Anime Toronto, and a anybody who has ever talked to me about Anime Toronto tells me one thing and one thing only, and that was ProZD was there. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> That's really, really funny. That's literally the only thing. That is literally it. Um, Pro ZD real? Yeah, IRL Pro ZD jump scare. Apparently he's also in rain code. He's, he's also in rain code. We can't escape this motherfucker. Oh man. He's everywhere. He's all over the damn place. Um, anyways, that was my day. That was my day. Every second you're not running, Kodaka is getting closer. I read that and this music started playing. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Um, that's very, very, very scary. <laughs> He's everywhere, you say that like it's a bad thing? It's fine. <laughs> He's fine! He's fine. Um... Guys... It's been 15 weeks. 15 weeks! We are at part 15! Should we? Should we do it? I'm gonna be really, really, really sad. But we should do it. I think, I think it's, I think it's about high time. I think it's about high time. <laughs> Let's wrap this shit up. Can we replay all of, uh, I, the Zomnium Files first? It's a great question. All right. Oh, man. Respect! Last stream before Char terrorizes my DMs? It's gonna happen. Yeah, it's fine. Somnium! Somnium! Dude. The last time we'll ever get to do the Somnium chant. Yeah, Char, Char is, Char is probably knocking outside my door. Char knows where I live. Scary. I do, yeah, that's right. I do get to read the Ryuki zine after. Until I, the Somnium Files 3, Uchikoshi Sunday in two years. Dude, yeah, when I'm like, like older, less wiser, stupider. Dude. I'm going to be so sad when this is all said and done. I'm going to be super, super sad. What the fuck? I'll get to unblock the AI NI tag. Wow. That's huge. That's huge. Is there any last uh, outfits that we can unlock? Oh, we actually... There's like... Only like two pages that we need to unlock. That's interesting. <laughs> See you all in six years. Oh my God, six. Oh my God. The SAT, the special assault team. Date? That body, my father found it. <laughs> oh yeah, remember that? <laughs> remember that? And by you, Freya. Bibi, huh? Bibi! Oh, hey guys. <laughs> Why y'all looking at me like that? <laughs> Why y'all looking at me like that? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Why y'all looking at me? What did I do? <laughs> they know. <laughs> Bibi's like looking at me like, really? 15 weeks, dude? 
You know that Ryan Chongo show beat this in like, in like three streams tops. You know that Joseph Anderson beat it like four streams, like, and uh, and I'm just like, listen, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I just, I fucking, I like going on in tangents. I like having fun. What do you guys hate fun? Yeah, I gotta click on everything now. It was the last time I get to click on everything. Like, come on, man. The menu. A table. I know. Dante's head with the Gen suit is fucking hilarious. It's so funny. It's so good. Oh. The door. Um. And then as the chair. Counter. Oh, man. I guess we gotta talk with everybody. Let's start from from the uh, from the left. The end. What time is it? Why do you ask? Uh, let's turn up the volume a little bit, shall we? Uh, what minus nine decibels? Because the dialogue super important. I don't mind it being a little bit louder than than normal. Here, we'll go minus 10 decibels. All right. No reason. Okay, that's good. That's good. It is currently 4.25 a.m. God, it's, God, it's late. Daybreak is close. <laughs> Does anyone remember that song? Anyone, anyone remember uh, Daybreak? Is that is is that a, a fucking? Is that no? No. Okay. Well. Okay. Nobody watched Community. I guess so. It's totally fine. I yeah. Listen. I get. I get it. Like not a single person on this earth watched Community. So. I've known her for a long time. She's a former co-worker from back when I was doing bad stuff. Back then, I used to call her Quartz. Hey, don't oh. just blurt that out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> former co-worker back when I was doing bad stuff? Wait, really? Wait, what? BB, what the fuck were you doing? Mizuki's name comes from Crystal. The oh. kanji for Crystal can be read as Mizuki. Crystals are the solid form of silicon dioxide, a mineral. Most often recognized as quartz. Aww. Wait, so you were in a thieves guild, baby? Wait, what? What were you? Wait, what were you doing? The snow isn't letting up. Oh. <laughs> You're avoiding the question. <laughs> You're avoiding the question. You listen. What were you stealing? With with our shared face. Come on. Don't change the subject. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Dude, the fucking fields. The fucking fields. There's a reason I'm here with Kizzy. Oh? I got a call from my old pal Date. The blowjob brothers. <laughs> oh, the blowjob brothers. <laughs> the brothers cock. <laughs> the penis friends. I asked him to unlock something for me. Are you talking about the freezer? No. I got that open on the 13th. Oh. It was a different lock this time. No. No way. Dude, psych locks? <laughs> Dude, psych locks? Do you have it? Where's the... Where's the... Where's the... How do you pronounce it? Magatama? Where is it, dude? What do you have it? It's just like it's a oh, oh, oh. 
Sorry, Mizuki, I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, that is when we met with Date and the woman he was with. The woman? I was there too. Oh. Okay, well. Yeah, are you are you good? If I leave you here, you good? It is snowing outside. True. But do not worry about us. My heart is burning strong. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, about BB. I suppose Big Sis has already told you everything. That's true. Big Sis and I lived in the same home for six years. Six! But I never thought my Big Sis was my Big Sis's Big Sis. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Okay, first off, first off, how? How do you not know? How do you not know? Scott, a gig is a gig is a gig is a gig. Um, how do you not know? Like, literally, look at us. Bigger Mizuki theory. That's what I, we talked about this the last time. Oh, oh yeah, because the age. Yeah, you're right. I guess the age. It, I guess, okay, because like the way that I think about it is that like, yeah, like back then, Mizuki, our Mizuki now, looks like how, um, it looks like how, uh, uh, BB looks back then too. Um, but now that, that our Mizuki is like, you know, 18 years old, um, and, and BB is, is essentially like, I'm not going to say ageless, but like, doesn't looks the same um the older she gets uh now the similarities are are the same that's how that's how i'm i'm you know coping with it yeah now they look a lot more similar now that they both pass puberty essentially um with that being said i mean the hair color come on it's so confusing <laughs> anyway mizuki date Mizuki Date. <laughs> in her in her mind, Mizuki's going. Bleh! 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 <laughs> I will call you Little Big Sis from now on. Little Big Planet. <laughs> Little Big Planet. When you see a photo of your friend as a kid, you don't realize it's them if they didn't tell you. Uh. No, nah, nah, if you look at my photo, I look the same. Nah, I'm just kidding. You ever see a kid you don't know that looks like your friend and they uh, and assume they're related? This is anime. And you, Mizuki Kurenushi. I will call you Big Big Sis. Big Big Sis, okay. Still, just as confusing. Oh wait, what does what does Aiba have to say? Mizuki is BB's clone. Date already knows this. BB told him. But Kizuna and Lien don't know this yet. They think they're just sisters. Oh, okay. Cool. To be fair, Amame has blue hair. Alright. Alright. Sure. It, it, do you want me to say you're right, chat? Sure. Okay. You're right. I'm I'm not going to die on this hill. I I I simply don't give a shit. I simply don't give a shit actually. You guys miss Thursdays as much as I miss Thursdays, dude. Why that guy got a small head? Been jerking off. <laughs> Dude, it's 18 plus. I can say whatever I want. <laughs> Both hands, dude. <laughs> Gross. How crass. <laughs> hey, he does he doesn't he doesn't work in the library. Both hands. He's jacked in and jack off. By the way, shout out to Nick, who uh who's a good friend of mine. Uh, we hung out today. That was that was the friend I was talking about earlier about um about Fan Expo. If uh if Kelly is also watching, hi Kelly. Hi. 
This is the game I was talking about. It's called I the Somnium Files, uh, and it's fucked up. Um, do we? Okay, I guess. I mean, we could talk to BB. We could talk to BB first. BB. 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 Yeah, I bought, dude. I bought so many Funko Pops. Like, did you know that conventions have Funko Pops? I bought so many of them, and I'm going to sell them all on eBay for $100,000. That that investment is going to uh, return. Uh, nope. Like, it's no issue. Uh, what? What? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to call you by that name. Yeah! Aw. My original. BB. Um, where is the real Gen? I don't know. Not here. It's fine. I know where he is. Don't you have an idea, too? Uh, huh? Wait, what? What do you mean? Don't you have an idea, too? No, I've got little to no ideas. Like, literally, like, literally nothing. Don't you have an idea, too? Oh, zero. I have no more ideas. Last night, Date called me out of the blue. He told me about the corpse. Oh. And how he was pretending to be Genny. And everything else Wh he knew. Why did the why did it do that? Why did it <laughs> why did it focus the camera on that? What? What the fuck? There's like no point to that. <laughs> um Okay. And everything else he knew. Cool. Why not? I don't, I don't know. For, first and foremost, why are you pretending to be Genny? I know that Horidori Institute and Nyes are both caught up in the HB case. Dude, he's so... Man. He sounds so sensual now. <laughs> like, I, I know, I know... I know it's... Uh, would you would you say that like man come on what do you mean he's like yeah Greg Chun did like an amazing job as Date but like why is why does he sound so sensual dude <laughs> we're kicking their legs what legs Ken was created at the institute and he was acquaintances with Tokiko Greg Chun. <laughs> It just sounds like that. Does he? I don't think he normally sounds so sensual. So, by borrowing his mask, I could snoop on Tokiko and other members of Horidori Institute. Dude, he sounds like he's doing ASMR on me. <laughs> it sounds like he's doing ASMR, bro. Why does he sound like that? Oh, oh, Date. But why do you still look like that here? Horidori Institute and nice people come here all the time. Imitating Gen makes it easier to eavesdrop on them. That's true. <laughs> when you're looking down. Um. Yeah. First off, let me let me just say one thing. What? Do you have more insults to hurl at me for missing six years of your life? No, it's not that. Maybe she just wanted to hear you say. Mizuki, you've grown so much, or something emotional like that. No, not that either. Ah, oh, right. For you, it's been six years. Oh? For me, it's different. Oh, right, because he... He lost his memory again. He lo he lost his memory. I forgot, I forgot. Literally, the, uh, the man has a, has a brain of spilled milk, essentially. I've been back for four days dressed like this. I've been watching you guys the whole time. So I don't really have anything savvy to say. I told you it's not that. Oh. I'm home. Welcome back. Aw, dude, just like the last game. Is that what you wanted to hear? Oh. Dude, just like the last game. Well, 
I know. All right, okay. Let me try this again. Mizuki? Hold. Wait for it. Hold. 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 And? I'm home. Welcome back, Date. Yeah! Yeah! Awesome! That's so good! Aww. Dude, that better... That has to be... That has to be the la that has to be the last line of dialogue for this tree. Don't don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. But that's not what I wanted to say. Oh fuck. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. Never sorry, Mizuki. I should, okay. Oh. Huh? I threw away all your porno mags. <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, and and Date's reaction. Oh, uh, live live Date reaction. Hold on. No! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Oh my god! <laughs> What happened to that ASMR voice there, Dante? What happened, buddy? <laughs> once again, once again, his his mind has been fractured. He just lost his memory again. Oh, that's that's funny. That's so funny. Oh my god, awesome. <laughs> that's so fucking funny, dude. That's really, really good. Uh, who is the corpse in the freezer? Um, actually, you know, we'll talk about that later. I'm gonna be honest. I sent you director's note about BB and Mizuki. Okay, I'll read it later. This has gotten way out of hand. I can't do this on my own. Damn, so, so dramatic. We need to work together to stop their plan. Their plan? Yeah, the Nirvana Initiative. Oh, yeah. So first, I contacted Mizuki Kuranushi. Date and I met six years ago. Oh, yeah, that was the moment of, of them meeting. That's, Dude, so cool. This shit's so cool. He knew how to get a hold of me. I shared everything I had and told her to find you, Mizuki. That's, that's what, what boss, again, what boss meant that, that, uh... Uh, fucking Aiba was on a secret mission. They were on a secret mission. That was the secret mission. That was the virtuous mission. To help stop them? Basically. All right. Now we get to, now we get to find out, even though we know the answer. Thank you, Mobtism. For the uh, the three months, it says sad day for Date. Needs to get a new collection. That's true. That is true. Who is the corpse in the freezer? Let's talk about it later. Oh, okay. Never mind. We, we're not going to talk about it. Trust me. If I explain it now, it'll only confuse you. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> the stupid perverted porno mag collecting old man. Also, my adoptive father. Ugh. <laughs> True. Oh, wait, I forgot. I am a little embarrassed to admit this, but Leon and I plan to elope. Aww. What? May I ask why? <laughs> oh, Iba. Izzy's father won't accept me. He threatened to send Leon to prison if he continued to see me. And that's when I suggested that we run off together. Wait, can they? They can't hear Iba, right? It's only it's only these two that can hear Iba. Can they hear Iba in this moment? I, hmm. 
Nope. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I guess I guess it was just timing. Interesting. And I agreed. So you two. Yeah. They're both on the run for love. Oh. How romantic. But we don't know exactly where we want to go yet. Right. We need some more time to think about it. All right. Okay, nope. I'll ask again. What's the deal with the corpse? Why is it in the freezer? All right. <laughs> Let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? It's better that you see for yourself. <laughs> yeah, Dante, what are you going to tell Hitomi that you're alive? Also, what are you going to acknowledge Hitomi? Period! Let me just show you. Another corpse? No, not one more. Not one at all. It's half. Oh. Nice Japan branch. Oh, oh boy. Here we go. Oh, we're just gonna casually go down here? Like it's no issue, I guess? Oh, right. So, you finished reading the file? Yeah. Uh-huh. Now do you understand? Now you know whose left half is in the freezer. Wait, why did we go all... <laughs> I guess they just left the file here. And so we had to go all the way down here to <laughs> to just get it. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Jin. Jin Furaway. <laughs> yeah, that was that was the Somnium file. <laughs> uh, That's what he really looks like. Furaway. And this body? Uru Somazuki. Terror. Yes. He murdered three people six years ago. Six? No way. Jin, Chikara, and Andy's Komeji. There's the box. Oh, okay. We're going to have to look at that one later. Uh, Got to do my, my quick clicks. Um, Let's see. Okay. Pillar. I'm I'm assuming at this point in the game there will be no more side dialogue, but I just you know me, I love to click. Tokiko must have written this. Uru's uh right half. Um <laughs> What's in the box? You <laughs> you changed? <laughs> You change? Oh, you're right. I have not checked my my Tomodachi. We have one last session to get the thing that I need. Where are we? What fish do you like? Um. Okay, so we have the amami, amami, amami. Uh, this one is a soy. So I think it was. Do we have to go crazy? I, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up again. The Amamai. The Amama um Ambaba. Uh Brave or Impish for the for the Rutsuko. Uh Brave or Impish is the highest stat. So what do we have right now? Brave or impish? Brave is at an all-time low, so my best bet is to go impish. Um. So this, I feel like this would be the crazy option. Uh, but let's try it. It's the brave one. Fuck. We fucked it up. We fucked it up. We fucked it up. We fucked it up. I mean, it wouldn't have. It wouldn't have. 
Oh, wait. Oops. Hold on. Bye bye. Die. Uh, okay. So, to get the Amami. Uh, wait, hold on. To get the Amama E, we need um Crazy, that's right. So this time we do need to go crazy. We need to go stupid. Go crazy, go stupid. Uh crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh This one's probably crazy. Nope, that's loving. Never mind. Uh, we could probably still save it. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, let me check my evaluation. Kill this thing. Again? <laughs> just, just reset it until I get the crazy option? I mean, it is the last one. Oh, oops. Press the wrong button again. Die! Okay, time to go crazy. Oh, there's gotta be down. Fucking die! Um. What do you think of AI? Uh, what's crazy? What's crazy? Uh, uh, difficult. Fucking god damn it. Hold on. What do you think of eye balls? Tasty, that's gotta be crazy. There we go. Finally. Okay. Now we are on the right track. There we go. We got it. Um. Okay, so we got that one. God, I don't think we'll be leveling up our sinker class at any point, so. I, I think we're we're ending the uh, the game on on a one, um, which uh, which is totally totally fine. Um, <laughs> blah blah blah. I crazy now. <clears throat> All right, let's go talk to uh, let's go talk to people. That outfit was so hard to move in. It's so sensual, bro. With the wireframe and all the stuffing. Uh, yeah, are they okay? Are they good? Oh, whoo! Two of them! Two eyesight! Uh, Lian and Kizuna aren't here right now. We split at Brahman. They're not going far away, are they? Are, are they going far away or far away? They should be fine. They said they were gonna think hard about where to go. Uh, and then about Jin far away. I don't need to explain it. You should already know. Jin Furoe, the child of Tokiko and Chikara. Right. He was born with a rare and complicated disease. It caused inoperable tumors to grow in the right half of his body. Jin might have had it worst of all. Damn. He got his first transplant when he was really young. I don't think he wanted to take organs from Uru. Remember what it said in Uru's diary? He said he wanted to apologize. Huh. I think he is referring to Jin. So you think the transplant was done against Jin's will? Oh, probably. Jesus. I'm not positive, but that's just the feeling I get. Yeah. Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> Baron Perfect. Oh man, I love, I love all of Mizuki's like little little fucking little names for uh, for Date. Baron pervert, Jesus. Yeah, Chikara is a fucking, fucking asshole, man. What a, what an evil person. Like straight up an evil person. BB. Only a few hours ago, around 1 a.m. I asked Leon to open the door to the staircase. So the lock you mentioned earlier. Oh, it was that door. Right. That's right. The lock to the staircase door. 
is the source of everything bad that happens in AI and I. Yes, yes. Same thing how like how like Sosajima is the source of of everything bad that goes ha that happens in uh in the original I the Somnium Files. I I kind of like that like both games have like intrinsically like one person linked towards everything that goes down in both games. Um which is like I I don't know, I kind of love that. I kind of love like what's the what's the word? Like the domino effect of like one person's action that causes all these different like branching uh, events from happening, you know what I mean? Like it's, oh man, it's cool. It's cool, dude. I I love that shit. That's when I asked them about their plans to run away together. Then the four of us headed down the stairs. Leon carried Kizuna down. And that's when we found the corpse on the ritual platform. Right, I remember that. Huh. Yeah, how did you find out? I used Marco's x-ray function. <laughs> evil dad yaoi. Both game sources of evil are bad dads. The first one is like the protagonist is the opposite. Um, is the, uh, the opposite of, uh, side of parents, not by blood. And then with AI and I, it's more about, uh, the kids affected. Yeah. Marco? Ooh. The name of my AI ball in my left eye. Oh! Oh, cool! Marco! Hey, that's some pretty cool, pretty cool uh, three letters, huh? Huh? Eh? Huh? Do we, do we get to meet Marco? He's pretty shy. He doesn't talk much. Oh. Oh, come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Unlike someone else I know. Oh. <laughs> T talking about Iba. Excuse me. Are you talking about me? <laughs> I know I love BB's voice. I love I love the um the uh, the timbre that that uh that Karina put on for BB's voice. It's so fucking cool. Mm-hmm. I know Iba really well. <laughs> we were partners six years ago. Ah, uh, but then but then Iba doesn't remember because it wasn't backed up. Oh, Iba's reaction. Uh, live Iba reaction. Live Iba reaction. Wait, can I just... <laughs> I do... For old time's sake, I do just want a little... I do just want a little screenshot of Iba with the ellipses. Makes me makes me smile so big. <laughs> Literally just <laughs> I love I love the ellipses so much. When I was hired at Abyss, I was supposed to get Marco transplanted into my left eye. But he wasn't finished yet. Oh, interesting. Marco wasn't done at this point. So instead, I got Iba. But Iba and Date. Yeah, Iba and Date were kind of fighting at the time. <laughs> I remember that. And I needed to see if I was compatible with an AI ball at all, so... Uh, it's interesting that they call it an AI ball and not just an eyeball. I guess it's a, it's a little less confusing if you just... If you just call it an AI ball. Hmm. I see. I apologize. I do not remember anything from back then. Because of the explosion, right? Yes. It's kind of sad. Aww. Aww, the lost memory. Even, dude, <laughs> even Iva's got lost memories, like Date. Aww. I'm a little, like, yeah, I'm a little bummed out that, that Iba doesn't get to remember all of the times where she hung out with BB. And like how 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 devastating for BB um like to have not to have those memories but then Iva doesn't like sort of reciprocate it, right? <laughs> it's a little sad. It's a little sad. It's not even a little sad. It's a lot of sad. 
Um, Tama was made in advance for Ryuki, so I feel like this tells us that BB was a very quick hire, or Marco had issues. I think they accidentally made Marco with a bunch of anxiety. <laughs> Dot exe. I made so many memories with you, Iva. Oh man, that makes me so sad. Oh yeah, why were they? <laughs> Mizuki asking why were they fighting? Ooh, let's let's get into it. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Well, you see, I, I was so preoccupied with my work. Okay, Date. All right, buddy. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> yeah, they really went. No. -uh. It was because you tried watching VR porn while Iba was still in your left eye. That's. So funny, dude. Oh my god, man. Oh god. Dude, like, why? Why did you leave Ipa in there? That's my MC. <laughs> Dante, you are a whore. You are a whore. You are a whore. You are a whore. That does sound like something that would make me very angry. Pensive Iva, dude. The pensive Iva. Do you think Date? I I feel like Date forgot. I feel like there was a moment where Date just forgot. To be honest with you. I told you a million times it was just a watermelon splitting video. Oh man. <laughs> he absolutely forgot. Yeah, he put the headset on. It was like, oh fuck. Oh no. <laughs> I totally forgot. Um, about Uru Somazuki, or yeah, what happened up until now? I wanted to ask Shoma about the genetic experiments, so I visited him. Yeah, I looked like Gen, so it didn't raise any concerns. He told me a lot. About his body and his older sister, and about the hidden safe. Hmm. That's what we came here for. Wait. Shoma has an older sister? Oh, wait, that's right. Mizuki doesn't know. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, oh, I'm really, really, really excited for this reaction. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Yeah. You know her well. Oh, 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 oh. Kizuna and Iris's friend. A mermaid at Sunfish Pocket. <laughs> Let's go. A mommy doy. Really? Cool. Oh, Mizuki's getting all caught up. All the pieces are in place, dude. <laughs> oh, Mizuki's like, really? Huh. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm going to move on with my day, I guess. Yeah, that's a VLR moment. I can't really say anything more than what's in the file. This, this game really is just like the VLR of I, the Somnium Files. It is the VLR of, of I. Uru Somazuki. He's the child that was kidnapped from Ion when he was six. Six. It was Chikara and Tokiko who took him. They wanted to make him Jin Furoe's donor. Jesus, man. So for over a decade, they did surgery after surgery, giving more and more of Uru to Jin. That's so... F oh, man. That's so fucked. I know this poor fucking kid. Half of his face, too. Jesus. The skin he lost was replaced by an artificial skin made of carbon chitin. Half his face was transplanted onto Jin's as well. Right. And it was only half because Jin had a percent-shaped birthmark on the left side of his face. A holy symbol for the order of percent. It was considered sacred. Right. And Chikara, being a devoted follower, couldn't get himself to rip that skin off. Which is why the left half of Jin's face was left untouched. Dude, there's so many, so many opportunities for left-right jokes here. 
There's so many opportunities, but I think I will... I think I will abstain, considering. And after all those transplants, Jin's body ended up being cut in half. Damn. Six years later, February of this year, Uru's body was cut in half. You miss Thursdays? I sure fucking do. So what was discovered was Jin's right half and Uru's left half. Jin and Uru are essentially mirror images of one another. So when the police were identifying Uru's body, they got their DNA sample to compare against from Jin's organs. And because those were originally taken from Uru, it naturally follows that they match. So that's why... That is the mistake that caused investigators to believe that they were the same person. Yep. Oh! Oh! Thank you, uh, Katie Razbunny for the raid. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you very, very much. Um, for the folks who are just, uh, tuning in, uh, we are in major fucking spoiler territory. We are, uh, in, in, uh, deep in the fucking water. Literally the last, the last bit of this like we're we are in the trenches so um if uh if you would like to uh to stick around i would very very much appreciate it if not then hey it's uh it's been a wild ride man thank you uh bloody roses 66 for the uh, for the follow all right let's check it out Six years ago, why did Uru cut the bodies in half? Good question. That was for the Nirvana Initiative, right? Yeah, but what does that have to do with the plan? And speaking of, is the Nirvana Initiative still happening? Oh, yeah, probably. I mean, after all, Terra's dead. Mmm, I don't know about that. I warned people ahead of time that this was spoilers. Yeah, okay, that's good. Right. The mastermind is, but you saw it. Oh, oops. On the night of the 13th, on the rooftop of Misaton. Jesus, bro. Fucking loud as fuck. Holy shit. I'm gonna. It's gonna. <laughs> it's gonna play the whole thing, huh? That was terror. Also, my... It was definitely <sighs> Uru's voice. My, uh, my chair is sinking. Hold on. I'm having an office chair moment. Ugh. Yeah, life is simply unfair. I love that, like, um... Somebody, somebody sent me an Anon. And I, and I, and I don't know if they watch the streams or not. I don't know if they've been keeping up or they watch the streams, but they straight up sent me a snail and whether it was intentional or not, I absolutely did put in, uh, the, uh, the zero voice or not the zero voice, the zero picture. <laughs> and it was just like, oh, 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 what if there was a snail? <laughs> what if there was a, oh, 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 oh. Anyways, I just thought it was funny. The snail mail, literally the snail mail. There's a bunch of Anons that I still need to, um, I still need to uh, respond to. If you sent in a nice Anon message, by the way, thank you. Thank you. Now, whether uh, Anons will be enabled or re-enabled, eh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> See you guys in September. Hmm. Respond to some right now. Um, I'm playing a game. Uh, I'm kind of busy. I'm working. But Uru should have been dead. Perhaps his voice was recorded. Either way, the rehearsal happened even after Terror died. Hello. Welcome. Good, good morning, I guess. True. 
Which means... The main event will likely still happen as well. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's safe to assume it will proceed as planned. But I still don't understand the full scope of the Nirvana Initiative. When? Where? How? We are completely in the dark. I wonder who grabbed you by the scruff? Did you see my, my, uh, my response to that? I was like, literally, like a friend of mine literally, uh, sent that in our group chat. I was like, oh, that's literally perfect. Why don't you ask the culprit? Yeah, good idea. Hey, Uru, what's up with your plan, you asshole? <laughs> what's up with your plan, you asshole? No, that's not what I meant. He's so silly. There are other culprits. Whoever killed Uru and Tokiko. You believe they might know something about the Nirvana Initiative? Oh. I don't know for sure, but they at least might have some clues. Oh. I appreciate your recipe answer. I was not expecting that level of response to a silly fucking ask. Uh. Just, just the fucking... Like, cause again, I think I talked about it before. Uh, that's a weird fucking thing to ask somebody. That is just, um, it's just super, super fucking weird. So I thought I'd make it, uh, more constructive. You know what I mean? Felt weird to reblog because that was a bit bit of a weird one but your response was fucking good i'm glad i'm glad a couple people have told me that they've like followed my recipe um but they did not tell me whether it was good they did not tell me um but but uh hey if you if you tried it let me know let me know what what you think i will tell you when i make it okay that's cool I think it's like, listen, like I've already talked about, I've already talked about boob so much on the stream. Don't bring it to Tumblr. G leave it in the fucking, in the stream chat. Or they will fade away. Like, like colors in the wind. You know what I mean? Say, yeah, save boobs for boobs day, which is uh, Sundays. We should just rename Sundays to boobs day. No more Uchi Koshi. No more Uchi Koshi Sundays. It's called Boobs Day now. I do know. Ooh, should I reveal? I think at the end of the stream, I will reveal what game we're going to be playing as our Uchi Koshi replacement. I think, um, I think I know. I think I know what we're going to do. I'm very, very, very excited. One person knows what it is. One person knows. Maybe two people actually know. But I don't, I don't think our second person is here to know. Anyways. We don't have enough information yet. Looks like we're going to need some extra help. Help? Let me, let me call in the Blue Job Brothers. Over here. Come with me. What? There's nothing over here. You would think that, right? But check this out. <laughs> Open sesame! Oh my god. You fucking weirdo. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> absolute weirdo. Been watching your streams on Sundays for so so long. Oh yeah, and I have a I have a great replacement for it too. I have a fucking great replacement. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> oh man. Marco, please. I want to know so desperately what Marco looks and sounds like. I want to know so, so bad. Um, 
Somebody is asking to get the uh, the line again. Check this out. Open sesame! You got it. How come we can't hear Marco, but they can this? hear Iba? Come on. Do you like it? Erotic, isn't it? What? What the fuck are you talking about? What? 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 What are you talking about? How is this in any way erotic? That's what I'm saying. Much more erotic than watermelon splitting. <sighs> Let's get going. Let's fucking just kick him in. <laughs> BB, you're right there. You can just kick his back. He'll fall right in like a fucking cartoon character. Y yeah. Oh, man. New, new setting? Oh! What? Oh! Wait, there was two altars? What the fuck? Oh, shit! What does I, this mean? I guess that explains why the first altar is all clean. We visited this in the present too, remember? I mean, uh, yeah, I guess so, but I just, I guess it just never, it never clicked in that it was, uh, oh man, I don't know. <laughs> I also just don't remember. It's been 15 weeks, I guess. <laughs> I, d I don't remember it being like, you know, uh, connected like that, I guess. Huh. It means exactly what you see. There are two cathedrals? Yeah, the timeline flip is also crazy too, right? That's right. Mizuki, look. Oh. Ryuki. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, hey, man. Holy shit. Um. Okay. Okay, Ryuki, you're gonna be fucking normal, right? You've unlocked the final blowjob, brother. Hey, man, you're gonna do... I mean, look! Ryuki, look! Presents both of my hands. Look, it's Dante! You don't have to be sad anymore! Look, it's Dante! It's Dante! You don't have to be sad anymore! He's fine! He totally is like, hey, don't worry about it, right? You're gonna be... Listen, everything is fine. You don't gotta you don't gotta worry about anything. Like listen, he's here! He's totally here! I'm here too. Hi Tama! Tama! Hi Tama! 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 Oh look, they finally interact! <gasps> Tama! Tama! Oh, I miss you so much! Wait, let me wave. Hi Tama! Tama! Tama, hi! Hi! Hi, Tama! Tama! Remember me? It's me, Mar! How is Ryuki doing? Not good. <laughs> Terrible. It was a bad idea to show him this place. Oh! They met up already? He's been like this for hours. Tama! <laughs> they interacted once. We're so back. <laughs> Yay! Oh, sorry, hold on. I'll have to take this real quick. Okay. What is the crazy option? What are you talking about? Fuck. Fuck. I'm okay. We could still recover it. It's fine. Okay, hold on. Thick pillar. Sand coming down from the ceiling. Uh oh, oh hey. Hi BB. BB, this is weird, right? <laughs> Where's Dante? Oh, there he is. Hey, this is kind of weird. Dante and the others must have lit it before. This is kind of fucking weird. Two cathedrals? Hold, yeah, hold on. Two cathedrals? Marco, 
Can you send Iba the data? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> can I... Can I... Can I voice Marco? Can I voice Marco? Marco doesn't have a voice. Can I voice him? Hi, everybody. It's me, Marco. I'm, I'm just a little shy boy. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. If you say so, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. I, I can do anything for you. I'm an AI ball. Okay. Puts the two fingers together. Oh, okay. Well, anything you say so. Um, yeah, sure, Mr. Dante. No problem. <laughs> Oh. Got it. Opening it. Hi, Iva. You're, mm, you're my friend, right? <laughs> <laughs> it is a uh. cross section of the two cathedrals. Oh. Oh, dude, this is this this VLR shit. Look at this VLR shit, dude. Come on. Come on. Uchikoshi misses Zero Escape. Like, come on. You get it now? <laughs> Some strawberry room shit? I don't know what that means. Please refer to ZTD only. There's one on the east and one on the west. But you will? No, I won't. Terror blew up the west one. This one, right here. Which happens to be the same side Ryuki met Terror. Oh. What he called his execution chamber. Oh, man. On the east side was Uru's corpse and Tokiko's file. And that mysterious box. Oh, I, I forgot that we had to... We, should have looked into it. Well, I guess it okay cuz isn't it if I recall we tried to look into the box But it's like made of lead or something like that. So it doesn't um, you can't actually like x-ray it or something like that No What am I thinking you've seen what's in it? Oh shit The one connected to the nice building is the east one you can take the elevator up to the president's office Yeah, why two cathedrals? Huh. It's me. Maybe it has something to do with what Nice believes. Two and one. Mm-hmm. I think they were obsessed with that. Hmm. Stupid shameless man. <laughs> oh, that's that's awesome. That's awesome. Listen about Ryuki. Do you Ryuki. hate Ryuki? I, I mean, I mean, yeah. Like I, after what Ryuki did, like, like, come on. Of course I do. Yes, that's what I'm saying. After what Ryuki did, like he's a little out of pocket. I want to shove a pipe in his mouth and stir up his organs. Six years ago, he. Play the whole damn cutscene, huh? Oh, damn. It made my heart condition worse. God. It affected my work. I can't investigate properly if I have to go to the hospital all the time. But when I heard you recently joined Abyss, I shadowed you. And February 10th, when you went to the stadium, I got there before you and found the corpse. Huh. At the time, I had no clue it was Uru's left half. But I knew it had to do with the HB case from six years ago. I told you before that the one thing I wanted was for you to live a normal life. I couldn't let you get caught up in this case. I had to stop you. And that's why you shot at me? Hello? That's why... You shot at me?! That's li that literally just makes me want to fight more. Hmm. 
with rubber bullets? That shit still can kill! That doesn't help anybody! Oh, man. Mizuki is a superhuman? No. <laughs> like, not no, she's a superhuman, but like, that's still a gun. That's still shooting at somebody. Ow yeah, owies are still owies. You know what I mean? You're still aiming a gun at someone you love. Oh boy. I see. You shot at Mizuki to dissuade her from finding the corpse. You should just tell her. <laughs> you probably should just say, hey, don't do this. <laughs> Thank you, Mad Pack, for the, uh, for the follow. That's not how this works. Yeah, it has to be anime. You're right. She seems a little pissed. A little? <laughs> Yeah, Mizuki wouldn't listen, that's true. That is true, Mizuki would not listen. Anyways, shoot her, <laughs> I guess. Whatever. <laughs> shoot her. Whatever you do, don't finish AI. I can't tell you why, but I need to go now. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something else. All right. Yeah. Okay. So from here on out, we're just we're just not gonna do anything. Um. I hope you guys are ready. Okay. Well. Uh. I'm gonna do something else now. Bye. Are we not gonna go? Are we not gonna go any closer to, to Ryuki? Are we just gonna talk to him from up here? <laughs> hey! Are you okay? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> you're good, right? <laughs> you're gonna be, you're gonna be normal. Oh. He appears to at least be breathing. That's tr that's true. It might not be if there was rope and a branch in here. This huh. has been eating at Ryuki for the past six years. They can technically all talk through their heads to each other. Yeah, but isn't that indicated by by the uh, the the like pink text? If they talk to each other normally in the regular white text, I'm gonna scream. He regretted what he did and blamed himself. He betrayed Date and shot Mizuki Kuranushi with stun bullets. <laughs> they did it. <laughs> she fucking did the enemy. She did the anime! And what happened to Mizuki, Date, and Kizuna on top of that? Yeah, Terra detonated the bomb, but it was Ryuki who told Date about this place. If he never did, Kizuna and Mizuki wouldn't have been hurt. That's what's been plaguing him. He started drinking, which made the whole thing worse. Oh, man. Dude, sad Tama! Sad Tama makes me sad. That makes me really sad. I anytime I see the eyeball sad, I, I like my heart gets broken, like legitimately. <laughs> I like, oh man. I don't care if he feels bad about it. I still don't forgive him. Damn. Easy. He had his reasons. Right, I forgot about the yeah, cause Tama Tama's all was all fucked up with a self-destruct program. 
If I had the village, she'd be lost forever. Oh, shit. Wonder if Tama, like, knew about that. Yeah, what about the self-destruct program in Tama? Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I was overhauled completely during maintenance a few years oh. back. And that function was deleted. Okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> That's when Ryuki opened up about what happened. Why didn't you share this earlier? I couldn't. Ryuki betrayed Abyss. He did something you can't come back from. Yeah. I couldn't let anyone find out. So you protected him. Aww. They like... They understand each other and they love each other. That makes me so happy, cause like... Tama, even though Tama is out of pocket sometimes, like there's a genuine love for each other and it makes me, it makes me so happy. They, yeah, they like genuinely protected each other. Like that's so sweet. I love that so much. Ah, oh, dude, I love these two. These, dude, this game is fucking awesome. I love this game. <laughs> I love this fucking game so much. It's the same reason I didn't upload the investigation data from six years ago. Yep. I made an oath. No matter what, I'll... I will protect Ryuki. Oh, dude. This... This is so sweet. With the context of the timeline, you'll... You see how much Tama protects Ryuki? God! Yeah, this game really does warrant... Like a... Like an additional playthrough, huh? That shit is so wild. That shit is so wild. But Ryuki himself could have informed us sooner. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, considering how much you wanted to protect Tama and how fucked up the situation was, plus like betraying Abyss, like, uh, I don't know, man. You you have to you have to be a little more le lenient to Ryuki, I would say. You should know why he didn't do that. Yeah. Why he gave in to Terra's demands. Yep. He wanted to protect his loved ones. Wouldn't you do the same? Yep. Tama! <laughs> Tama! Dude throughout all this time and like <laughs> how how much of a hard ass Tama has been and seeing Tama like be this like vulnerable in front of everyone like I <laughs> I love I love all these characters so much holy shit Tama yeah, eight years of suffering and guilt to protect Ryuki, who saved her life first more than anybody. Like, oh, God. Dude, this game, this game's character dynamics are, are so good. They're so good. All right. Uh, why are you here? Why are you here? Oh, okay. So we're just not. <laughs> this is not going to respond. Me. Oh, I. It's so. It's so interesting that. That Tama is doing all the talking for Ryuki. Damn. Damn. What, what a good choice. What a good, like such a good character choice for, uh, for Tama to be doing all the talking for Ryuki. Yeah, he's gone non-verbal. Like you can tell he's like really fucking torn up right now. Like, man. Yeah, he is at his lowest mentally and physically for sure. Yeah, I told him to head over to the other cathedral. Dude, I'm actually so happy that we, we saved this part for this last last bit of the playthrough. Yeah. Ryuki finds out Date is alive and is back here where he thought Date was dead. Like he's he's 
Fucked. He's fucked in the head right now. Yeah. Does that mean he saw Uru's corpse in Tokiko's file? He did. Yep. And then he came here through the hidden passage. Damn. Oh, what? Wait, I'm not done. Ryuki, you made a mistake. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I guess there was... Uh, there was more dialogue, but I... Um, yeah, fuck. Okay. I guess we're just gonna keep going, huh? But lying around here in all your misery isn't gonna fix anything. If you really regret what you did, solve this case. I kind of I kind of want to take the screenshot of the saddest Ryuki I've ever fucking seen in my entire life. One more for the Ryuki thread. One more for the Ryuki thread. For old time's sake. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. I'm trying. I'm trying to get the perfect shot. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. All right, hold on. I'm opening up Twitter. Perp, why did you? <laughs> why did you time out Ryuki? He's in timeout. It does look like he's just straight up in timeout. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on. Let me, um... Oh, man. It's been a while since I've, I've posted anything in the Ryuki thread. It's been a while. I have to, like, scroll down to find it. Where is he? Where's my boy? Where's my sweet, special, wonderful boy? Where is he? Where did he go? Oh! Oh yeah, I found it! Okay, awesome. Um, let me move this here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm doing- I'm doing something! I'm doing something! Chat, what do you think? <laughs> Chat, what do you think? <laughs> oh, fuck. That's really good. <laughs> I love this fucking game so much. Hello, Willow. Willowite. Or, or I should... Is that Willow? Yeah, Willow. Willowite. Hello. Welcome. I love that your first time chat is... Oh, God. <laughs> That's the only way to atone. You're so proud of yourself. I am proud of myself for that one. Listen, I, I've been making some banger tweets this week, dude. I've been making some banger tweets. I'm just saying, straight up. <laughs> Ryuki is so cheekless, his hole is just out there. What a sentence. <laughs> Ryuki, I remember one night we went out drinking. You told me about your little brother. You, you made him a promise, right? Oops, I interrupted you by accident, my bad. He said, I'll become a hero of justice. Oh. If I've fallen, I just need to get back up again. 
You used to say it all the time. It doesn't matter how many times you fall. As long as you have a body to do it, you climb back up again. Oh. Come on, Ryuki. Climb above the debris. It doesn't matter if you're pitiful. It doesn't matter if you show vulnerability. You struggle, you crawl, and you make it back to the top. That's what we do. That's... Oh, fuck. I keep accidentally clicking. Sorry. Mr. Dante. Everyone. Use auto? I should. I... I... Damn. Now's not the time to cry. Come climb up here. BB, come on, beep. You gotta be, you gotta be a little gentle, man. Dude, the the fucking voice work on this. The fucking voice work on this. Holy shit, man. I know BB. BB is ruthless, dude. But I understand. Like, Ryuki fucked her up really 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 badly she has a, she has a right to be mean a hundred percent like like she has a right to be like fucking pissed off but like uh yeah that that is boss's daughter huh you mean don't get me wrong i'll only forgive you after we solve this case so Damn. Damn! What a line reading, dude! Fuck! After all that, we shared information. Iba, Tama, and Marco shared everything on the local network. Dude, our pro tags! Wait, what the fuck? Is, wait, is Mizuki that much taller or is that just like, is she just standing on some rubble? There's no way Mizuki is that tall, right? She's on a rock. Okay. I was like, wait, what the fuck is going on? I was, I was about to say, what the fuck is happening? I was like, are, she likes to feel tall. That's totally, that's totally fair. Our pro tags, dude. Our fucking pro tags. The power of three. The power of three. Dude. This is our, this is our, our, our ZTD. What would this be? Team, team, uh, team M? Team, team R? She should be six foot five. The primary colors, yeah. These three would survive ZTD. They would literally just punch a hole and through, through the wall. And then just be like, all right, I'm, I'm good. I'm I don't need to do any of your fucking shitty puzzles. I'm out. <laughs> I dude, our fucking pro tags. There is something I got to say. There is something so intensely satisfying about seeing these three together in one screen. It it's just it's just hitting me. It's hitting me in all of the fucking right ways. So fucking cool. And then dipshit Date is in the piss right behind us. <laughs> oh, it makes me really happy, yeah. Date received everything as well via the device implanted in his eye socket. Anything that wasn't recorded electronically, we shared verbally. And now, you're all up to speed. Everything from six years ago. Everything from this year. Yeah, this is this is like this is nuts. Look at it. Uh, literally all of our pro tags together in one place. It's so cool. After seeing them like separated for like most of the of the uh, of the game, uh, there's something cathartic about seeing all of them in one place now. You know. 
all the information, including Somnia, from top to bottom. So, first thing on the agenda is stopping the Nirvana Initiative. Dude, the sinkers! Fuck, man. That's so cool. When, where, how? We don't know anything about it. Hmm? We should know everything except where. Okay. Tama shared all her data, right? I did receive the information. Can we hear from Marco? <laughs> um, um, uh, I, I, yeah, I received it too. It's pretty cool. You guys did a really good job. <laughs> Thanks, Marco. You're doing a great job, man. Oh, yeah, thank, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I didn't give it a close look. Ryuki, can you tell us more about the Nirvana Initiative? <laughs> I'm going verbal. Dude, Marco moment. Wow. Yeah, I'll explain everything in order. Okay. Ooh. Here's, here's where you get to learn about the Nirvana Initiative in great detail. Um, and I'm glad that they're reminding us about what the Nirvana Initiative uh, is because it's been 15 weeks. First, Terror, Uru, created a video. Yeah, Ryuki's stance here is hilarious. Wait, can, I, I do want to just take another screenshot. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. This is this one's just for me. I don't think this one will, will go in the thread. That one's just for me. He's just standing there. He's like, happy. Happy. Oh, hold on. I have to take this real quick. <laughs> I don't I don't feel anything. Dude, jopping? Which one is crazy, chat? Don't feel anything or dropping? Which one is crazy? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say dropping is crazy. Fuck! God damn it! I, I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, time to time to reset a bunch of times now. Uh, name of special skill is this crazy? No, it's not. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, run. Complained. Brave. Bye bye. Bye bye. Which one do you want? Uh, I want this one. Crazy? That's impish. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Um, okay. Right has got to be the crazy option, right? Fucking fuck you, man. Okay, hold on. Okay, so now we know that that chopping is not the option. I don't feel anything. Okay. All right. Okay. We got it. And now and now this time we got it. Um The torch is lit. A thick pillar. Sand. All the usual shit. You know how it is. Uh, okay, cool. Um, um. Don't worry about me. You should talk to Ryuki. Oh. She's gotten over Ryuki. <laughs> I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would consider that getting over Ryuki. I would say she's more like reeling it in, <laughs> right? Hmm. Um. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> it's 
Ryuki's turn, isn't it? <laughs> Guy whose little head does all the thinking. <laughs> Dude, I love this fucking game so much. <laughs> Ryuki has the talking stick. Oh, fuck, that's so funny. It's Ryuki! Yay! Plays the, 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 the... Wait, hold on. I think I can actually play it. Hold on. I think I, I think I have it. Okay, it's a, it's not exactly it, but... I mean, it's close enough. Uru created three videos. Okay. QR video, Nirvana Trial, and Nirvana X. The QR video was the first. The QR code on the signboard in Jin's body. Yes. That was a link to the video, right? Sure fucking was. Right. So it was first made public six years ago, on February 10th. The motive was... There were stories about people who went missing after watching the video, but... Oh. It was actually the second video that caused people to go missing. Oh, interesting. The Nirvana trial. Yeah, and okay, so what is what's going on with the Nirvana trial? It was uploaded on February 9th. Why did the why did you use that screenshot? Like like a terrifying looking screenshot. Jesus. Back when Uru was still alive. But what for? I think it was a beta version of Nirvana X, the third video. For oh. testing purposes for the main event. Huh. Testing what? There was a code, like BATS 490, in the Nirvana trial video. That code led to the Eastern Cathedral. The coordinates led to the staircase. Yeah, but that door has tons of locks. Right, I remember that. Right, but the staircase had another code. Uh-huh. By solving that, you could collect the numerous keys located all over the city. Oh man, they were doing in-game ARGs. It, wait, an in-game ARG that is inside of the game. Uh, It's like an ARG within a game and then there is an ARG outside of the game. So there's like multiple levels of ARGs happening all at the same time. Dude, I gotta research about about the um, the fucking ARGs to this game because I totally missed out on that, and and how you guys killed Iris somehow, um, which is cool. That's cool. And those who did solve everything would be able to unlock the door to the Eastern Cathedral. Did you notice the box? Did you see it? <laughs> Top five scariest moments. Did you see it? Inside was a device that shot TC Purge. Huh. If you open the box, it triggers. Right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what that was. Okay. And now let's talk about TC Purge. That's the one thing that I'm like, oh shit. Things are gonna go to the things are gonna go to hell with this thing, right? When it enters the brain, it can even overwrite the DNA structure inside neurons. Damn. It can make you see things, make you dance. It makes you do weird things over and over. And it spreads in the air. Oh. It's it's literally Radical Six again, but this but this time it's fun. If this, this virus, virus gets out somehow, the human race is in for a rough trip. Can you picture it? Did you see it? The whole world going crazy, people everywhere doing unpredictable things, crazy things, over and over. Yeah, he did do it again. You know what's crazy? Because I'm assuming that this was penned before COVID hit. This was penned before COVID hit. So, 
he literally did Radical Six twice and then predicted COVID. Like, like it, it just, it just so happened. It just so happened that he did it twice. He finished the story by the end of 2020. Jesus Christ, man. I'll be honest. I contracted TC Perch. Oh, that makes sense. Because I opened the box. Huh. No wonder he was he was acting a certain way. Yeah, that's why there was from from our perspective why he was uh acting um in in a particular way. I wonder I'm assuming that the uh, the TC purge was what was causing the um the uh the glitch the glitch bit that was happening. The, the, both it's of okay. them Ryuki has developed a resistance to it. Both of them fucking just like step back. Holy shit. And he can't spread it either. Huh. Why is that? He can't Having spread. said that, TC Purge is still a problem. That seems a little um convenient, I guess. Microdosing on TC Purge to develop a, a resistance to COVID. Huh. Before the body develops a resistance, it can spread. Not to mention the neurons that are damaged can't be repaired. Huh. That's why Ryuki was acting weird. Is that what it looked like? Oh, man. Oh, oh, brother. When I was infected with TC Perch, my symptoms got worse. Disorientation, short-term memory loss, hallucinations. Oh, brother. He's been seeing hallucinations for six years now. For six years? God, fuck, man. Oh, this poor fucking guy. Jesus Christ. The mental trauma of what happened to his brother. Anyway, those who solved the code and opened the box contracted TC Purge. B BB. Not even like a, like, oh shit, sorry, man. Like, damn, you are cold as fuck. And as a result, they started acting strangely. And now there are people dancing and riding in the streets and a lot of suicides. Ah. Huh. I see. These people would have no motivation to return home. Ryuki uh, likely had hallucinations for a decade now. Jesus, man. That's why so many people went missing. In other words, Uru's experiments were a success. He's dead now, but his plan is still alive. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm guessing his lackeys are carrying out the plan now to raise the curtain on the main event. Oh. Oh, we still got dialogue. It's time for the main event. Jesus, bro. Oh man, I have to tone I have to tone down the thing again. Shit's so loud. I think I know what they're going to do. All right. Turn it up. No, I'm good. They're gonna shoot the rocket somewhere. With TC Purge on the warhead. The rocket will explode. And the virus will spread? Yeah. Most likely, yes. Tons of people will get infected with TC Purge. It will grow in their bodies. And inevitably spread. From one person to another. If we do things that are beyond the comprehension of the designer. And we complete our Sandwiches. Simultaneously, all around the world, bugs will start appearing everywhere. Hmm. This will lead all mankind to reach Moksha, an emancipation from this fictional world. Does she know? But 
is the Nirvana Initiative. Even if this Nirvana thing turns out to be bullshit, the virus itself is a problem. Right. I don't know if it will really cause glitches to appear or anything, but it'll be mass hysteria. I keep having to check myself because I was like, wait, isn't Tokiko somehow alive? And, and then I realized, uh, well, no, because she died in this one. And that the, the way I keep thinking things is is because of the um, the timeline switch. The timeline switch. I'm, I'm all fucked up. That twist literally got me fucked up. So I have to like reposition my brain after like trying to uh, navigate this game within a certain lens. You know what I mean? God, I miss her. There is already an uptick in suicides. Hmm. The final video, Nirvana X, is already public. There's a seven-digit uh -oh. number, which is probably a time and a date. Uh-oh. February 15th, 12 o'clock. Oh, right. I remember that. Noon, today. Iva, what time is it now? 7.55 a.m. We okay. barely have four hours left. I was about... Well, I was going to say, we kind of... We have four hours. I'm sure we could do something. Oh, boy. Where is it going to happen? <laughs> Nine hours? Well, we don't know. My guess is the other letters that were in the video are some kind of code too. Maybe they point to a location. Oh, right. I remember this one. Okay. No. Oh. I converted the letters to numbers and checked the coordinates. It's an area in the Pacific Ocean. No land around. Hmm. I don't think those coordinates are where the plan is happening. Maybe the letters rearrange to something? Then where could it be? Oh, I remember something BB said earlier. The culprit who killed Uru and Tokiko. Maybe they have a clue. Oh! Huh. Right. Well, in that case, there is one person. Oh. Oh? And and you know that shit's about to get real because the music has stopped? I don't know if they're the culprit, but... Uh -huh. They might have some valuable information. Okay. I didn't know where to find them before. But I've got a good idea now. That person... She's... Probably with Shoma. Huh. Whoa! Whoa! Two of them! Oh man, they're all driving. Holy shit! <laughs> the protags! Look at them! I understand. Oh! I'll tell you the truth. That's right, Amame. Right, I... I... Okay. I figured that it was going to be... Uh, someone related to the case, obviously. I mean, they're all related to the case, but I guess uh, Amame was going to be our, our, uh, our thing here. Big sis. Oh man. Amame. The corpse in the freezer at Brahmin. I'm the reason it's there. It's my fault. Hmm. Six years ago, February 11th. My father called me here. Shoma wasn't here. Yo, you seen this shit? It's crazy. Only my father would have a corpse. Mommy told us that Jin's body was hidden under the floor. Oh, God. The same body half that was in the suitcase. Mommy said that she'd take care of it. She brought it again, and they stored it in the freezer at Brahman. Always with the freezer. Genny didn't do anything wrong. I asked him to do it. And Shoma has nothing to do with this. He just found out too. Mommy, that's not what we're here to ask. Right, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, <laughs> Ryuki's bright-ass socks. Also, I just realized that that uh, BB 
actually put on some some like footwear, which is like really funny. Oh yeah, and there's Dante's purple socks. I love that they. That's such a a, a a quick like additional detail that I was not expecting. Um, which is like super interesting. Like that's actually like genuinely interesting. Cause I know in the first game, uh, they did basically like separate models for when characters have their shoes off but like i guess it just I, it never clicked in when i was playing the original game uh and it's only until now that i that i see that they're doing that although i truly don't know why they gave bb the the slippers maybe because it's like you got your dirty ass feet all over the fucking concrete wear these slippers now it's funny we're looking for the person who killed Terror and Tokiko. What? Terror is dead? We didn't have time to explain everything. Because it was the robot! We told them about Terror's identity and the Nirvana Initiative as, as quickly as we could. You can tell us more about what you know at the station. Amame, will you come with us? Oh, shit. No, no! Oh, man. I don't care what you say! You can't take Big Sis away! I agree with Shoma. Oh, man. Oh, oh, this is gonna break my heart, isn't it? I don't want you taking Amame away. What's the problem? We just want to talk. Wait, Amame. Did you kill Terror and Tokiko? Oh, shit! Are they actually going to confirm this? What are you saying? Amami didn't kill anyone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on, we gotta... We gotta click. We gotta click. So many things to click. I like yeah, quiz time. You finished that robot, right? Oh, uh, yeah. You named it Roboji, huh? Yeah, it's the second one, like a second child, so I named him Roboji. Ah. He's much more powerful than before. Also, this dialogue while this is happening is insane. While he's like stanced up. Uh, fucking doing the blushing phase is like insane to me. It can hold so much more weight than the previous model. <laughs> hey, wait a minute! I'm supposed to be defending! Wait a minute! Who cares? <laughs> there it is! I got this fucking series down pat, bro. I fucking got it. Bro, I'm reading ahead. <laughs> Could you people just leave? Oh, fuck. That's funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I love this series so much. Huh? Refrigerator, kitchen. Hey, boys. Are you good? He seems fine now. Oh, sorry. Hold on. I got to take this. Which one do you want? Okay. It's not that one. Superpower. I'm going to say nothing needs to be done, right? Is that crazy? Is that blah, 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 crazy now? Yes. Got it. Got it. Um, we good? The TC Perch? I told you already. I've developed a resistance to it. But your brain's neurons were still affected, right? Yeah, but those symptoms are being held in check with some special medicine. Oh, that's nice. It's not mass produced, so we can't give it to too many people, if that's what you're thinking. Okay. 
Why not? What? What's what's stop? What's stopping us? Okay. okay. I'm not gonna think about it. By the way, it's not mass produced. Well, I mean, why not? Anyways, I'm, gonna, I'm just not gonna talk about it. Did you get rid of the Cleone in the fridge? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> right, right now, man? I know, it's so casual about it, too. It's so casual about it. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, man, that's so funny. Oh, by the way... <laughs> by the way, did you get rid of the Cleone? No. The guy who doesn't put the toilet seat down! <laughs> fucking awesome. Oh, my God, I love this fucking series so much. <laughs> Oh. We don't have much time. We need to do something about Shoma and Genny. Right. That's that's true. Um Okay, hold on. I have I have an idea. Oh wait, hold on. I really need to start doing my my fucking save strat. So we're not like, you know, doing anything uh, that would progress the story. Here, let's see. No way. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, that would progress the story, all right? <laughs> oh fuck. And uh, and this is why this is why I'm glad that I do this. Um 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 okay. <laughs> to arrest Mame. The statute of limitations for abandoning a corpse is three years. She can't be prosecuted for hiding a body six years ago. But... I have a bad feeling. Oh, man. Bad feeling? If she's not guilty of anything, then that's all the more reason you can't take her. Oh, man. I'm not gonna let anyone drag her away. I already lost my dad. If you take big sis, I'm gonna... I'm... When I was in first grade, big sis gave me a radio-controlled toy. That's how I got into building things. Oh man. Also, thank you, uh, devil. Ah! For the follow. Thank you. She took me to robot expos and bought me books and parts. And she's working hard to save money to send me to college. Oh, man. This, this fucking hurts. This hurts so much. These last six years have been hell. It was hard and painful. Sometimes I wanted to die. But she's always cheered me up and supported me. During all of the gene therapy... Big Sis always protected me. Damn. I know, the end of family, dude. Now it's my turn to protect her. She's more important to me than my own life. So, so, if you're gonna take her, you're gonna have to kill me first. Shoma. Jesus. <laughs> God, that line reading just sent, like, shivers up my spine. Holy shit. Fuck, that fucking hurts, man. Do you hate Terror? The man who killed your father? <laughs> Terror's plan is still ongoing. 
The Nirvana Initiative? It's going to bring Nai's madness to the whole world. We need to talk to Mame in order to stop it. Do you want Terror to win? Don't you want to stop his plan? Destroy his ambitions? Isn't that the only way to get closure for your father's death? If you resent Terror, if you want revenge, please, we need your help, Shoma. Damn. Dude. <laughs> yeah, it really is just like vengeance. God fuck, man. The this this dialogue is insanely fucking good. Sorry. I can't let you do that. I came here to protect Amame. Date. If only you didn't find the body in the freezer. I'm trying to tell you we're not here to arrest anyone. But I just can't let you. Again, you're not making any sense. Hold on. Are you hiding something? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fuck, man. Uh-oh. No, no, no. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm actually afraid. Bro, what What the fuck are you hiding, dude? Amame accepted every part of me. She saw me for who I was. It wasn't out of pity or sympathy. Her accepting me came naturally, like it was nothing. I've never met anyone like her. And I need to care for her the way she's cared for me. I promise to protect Amame. So I can't let you. Kenny. That's all the more reason, then. If you really have those feelings for her, Rama. If we do nothing, Terra will accomplish his mission. Oh, I didn't even realize that the characters do like little poses too. Uh, I should be I should be looking around more often, to be honest with you. A terrible virus is going to spread. The world will devolve into chaos. Yeah, he's no dead. No one will be safe. Not even a mame. No. So you need to help us. We need Mame's information to stop this plan. Amame must know something. Are you okay with ruining her future? Don't you want to protect her? Then please. Damn. Oh, this section of the game, dude. Oh, man. Hold on, we're doing another safety save. I think our our progression is the uh, the closet. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure. So, but just in case. Mommy, you know something important, don't you? Yeah. What what do these characters know that we don't at this point? Something about the Nirvana Initiative and Terror. Maybe something about Tokiko. That's what we're here to find out. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, this is fucking... In this is intense. This is so wild. Okay. Really, really quickly, before I progress uh, any more of this story, I'm, I'm actually going to quickly run to the bathroom. Um... I'm not even gonna go to the be right back screen. I'm literally just gonna run. Um, I'll, so I'll be right back. Like I'm literally, I'm literally.
I also got, um, a little snack. Uh, oh, wait, where the hell am I? Where the hell am I? Did I fucking, where the hell did I go again? How do I keep doing this? Oh my god. Oh, oh, there I am. Hi, okay, I'm back, holy shit. I did, I did straight up vanish, but now I'm back, I'm okay. Uh, the feed is going to go away for a minute here. I, oh, wait, nope, never mind, we're good. Hello, Strob Sundays. I'm also having an excellent time. All right. Oh, let's, let's fucking get into it, dude. Let's fucking get into it. Um, well... I know this is a touchy subject, so let me say it. Terror killed Komeji, your father. Damn. It stands to reason that you absolutely despise Terror. Are you saying she killed him? That's ridiculous! Oh, man. The fact that she hasn't said anything is... 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 telling. Okay. Let's talk about six years ago. Six years ago, on February 13th, you saw terror, didn't you, Mame? At Studio Devita? What happened back then? What did he say? You still haven't told us. I looked into her head yesterday, but there was nothing <clears throat> on what happened at Devita. But in the Somnium, Mame said... Nirvana... Collected... Genocide... Which would mean oh. you know something about the Nirvana Initiative. Oh my god, say anything, Amame! Come on! Dude! Five days ago, on February 10th, did you meet with Tokiko? We don't have hard evidence, but a witness saw you. Anyway, Mame headed into Horadori Institute by herself. I saw another person follow her in right after. Oh no. It was Tokiko. Tokiko Shigure, president of Nice Japan. Oh man, come on. Just anything, Amame. Anything. Ryuki looked into Tokiko's head. Three days ago, on February 12th, he saw Tokiko threatening someone. I saw everything. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. Could Tokiko have been threatening you, Amame? Oh, shit. Okay. Well. That, I think, is all of the dialogue. That's that's literally everything. Oh. All right. It's time to progress the story. Oh, this is gonna fucking hurt. No way. A thermite bomb. A what? You're right. It sure is. That little... Yeah, hey, why do you... Shoma, what is this? Why do you have these, man? Oh my god. Oh! It's a bomb. A thermite bomb. Why? Why did you say it like that? <laughs> it's a bomb. It's a bomb. I know that. <laughs> then why did you ask? Shoma! <laughs> Shoma! <laughs> really? He really went, oh, I can't make bombs? Come on. It's a free country, right? Come on. What, I can't make bombs in the in the comfort of my own home? Why is it here? I made it. Oh, damn! He really did make it! Oh, fuck! 
Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god, man! You made it! Thermite reactions are pretty simple. That's... that's actually true. Huh. You can make one easily using common products. Oh, Shoma. But why did you make it? Oh, Shoma. Yeah, why Why did you admit it? Well, to get revenge for my dad. Oh, shit. I wanted to get terror. You were going to use this on him? Yeah. Holy shit, man. But I guess it has no use now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Terror is dead, right? God damn it. Oh, You oh, just made man. the situation so much worse. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's decide what to do about that later. Ryan! Fucking Chongo Show! Ryan, we are knee deep into the Nirvana Initiative spoilers. Thank you for the follow. My dear friends, welcome to the stream. If you don't know who I am, my name is Mar. Uh, thank you for the follows, both of you. Um, I, uh, I really, really, really appreciate it. I'm sure Ryan's... Ryan's chat knows, but, uh, just in case, um, I would like to say we are in deep spoiler territory, and, um, I, I am, oh, man, holy shit, this is, uh, this is looking very, very, very intense, very, very, very intense, um, Today is also 18 plus night, so if you're younger than you're if you're younger than 18, um I uh I please ask you to uh to come back another day. Um I'll be streaming tomorrow. Um technically technically Tuesday evening or Tuesday morning, I should say. But um I can't stay too long but enjoy the end of this bad boy. Oh yeah. Definitely hit me up with a follow if you aren't already. But we are uh knee deep into this fucking video game. Um and so um if you would like to stick around Oh, I would very very much appreciate it. We are this is very 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 intense. Very 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 intense. Um with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to click and we're going to see where this fucking story is going to take us. Let's go. Right. There is a more pressing issue. Oh. Okay. What are we going to do? The two of them aren't going to budge. <sighs> I really don't want to do this. But if we have to use force. You've got some hours uh, left on you, get moving. I don't know if this is in time to be the last stream or not, either way. Oh no, it's 100% the last stream. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how long it's going to take. Um, If this, if this takes nine hours, I will take nine hours to finish this game. If it takes 12 hours, I will take 12 hours to finish this game. It's getting done tonight. For sure. No, you can't do this. Yeah, I won't let you take this. I also six. took a big Eddie. nap today. Shoma, that's enough. Amame. Big sis. Oh, man. It's okay. I'll come back right away. Promise. Are you sure? Yeah. You promise? I promise. Now, Mame. Oh, man. Let's go. Dude, Date, that line reading. 
Holy shit! That line reading! Let's go. Wow. Even he sounds pretty, like, torn up about that. Holy fuck. Oh my god, man. Somnium! 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 Yay! Is he gonna be okay? We left him there. Well, we had to. What? We couldn't just leave the bomb unattended. Oh, yeah. So you left Ryuki to keep an eye on things. The bomb squad should be headed to Shoma's house right now. Somnium! Somnium! It's quite a shock, though. Amame was the one who killed Uru and Tokiko. I never said that. But she's suspicious as all hell, isn't she? <laughs> Regardless of how suspicious she is, she should know something oh my about God, the Bond initiative. When Ryuki sinked into her yesterday, he didn't find anything. Do not worry. I received the Somnium data from Pama. Because we are returning for a second time, we should be able to go deeper than we did previously. Oh, all right. Really? We're ready to go. Say it, Pewter. Say it. Started Say it. it. Oh, come on. Come on, man. I'm sure you already know this, but Say it. Say it. The time limit inside Somnium is Oh my god. All right already. S you say come one on! More time, I'm gonna sock you. No! Please! Okay. Okay. Please! Oh. Let's begin. They won't even let me get the satisfaction of hearing that line one last time. Come on! They won't even let me get the satisfaction. Oh, we're in Sunfish Pocket. Oh my God, you can actually see the uh, the portraits now. I have a moment. That's the TV. Welcome to the quiz show, Faith to Face. Oh, I'd better um. I better get my controller for this one. Because, um, you know, these sections I always find are better controlled with a, with a controller. So. I have a moment. I am your host, Andy's co -Mating. Aw. A quiz show. disappeared oh i don't know anything huh oh what, what the fuck is going on i really don't know oh she is not good mommy mizuki the data we got from tama might come in handy it's from when ryuki synced with amame yeah, her voice acting is super good. Right. When we shared information at the cathedral earlier. I extracted the evidence data that looked promising and converted it to a more usable format. Project this outward and the structure of this Somnium world will waver and unveil hidden information. Oh, that's In other interesting. Words, if we show Mommy the intel we got from Tama, we'll get a reaction. Yes, but not just a Mame. You can use the information to target many things in this Somnium. Oh. So you're saying I can target, like, objects? Correct. If anything looks fishy, I'll try it out. The details are under look. Cool. View the information there. Wow, we've got a new game mechanic this late into the game. That is actually really, really fucking cool. Wow. Yeah, it really is like the first game. That's so cool. Uh, I always, I, I was like thinking like, um, 
I kind of miss the, uh, what do you call it? The interrogation scenes. Because that was, that was the one thing, like, super missing from, uh, from, from the first game. So I'm glad that it's, like, made an appearance here somehow. Um, okay. Let's see. More information we got from Ryuki regarding Mame Sink. Nirvana, collected, genocide. Amame said these words. That has to be about the Nirvana initiative. Most likely. Mame must know something. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay, so they're just telling us, like, hey, take a look at all of these, so... Here, let's According see. According to Tama's info, in the previous sync, there was a quiz battle. This is the first stage, the scavenger quiz. Amame likes music and voices. She collected many different kinds of sounds. Oh! She became highly skilled in gaining information from sounds. Huh, that's interesting. So that might mean that there's information in the sound of Mame Somnium. Oh! So we even have to, like, listen closely, huh? That's interesting. During this sync, we should focus on the sound. Uh, let's see. Right side secret. This is Mame's Somnium from yesterday. I do like VR segments more than uh, the interrogations, but I hope I3 has both. Yes, I, I agree with you. I I, uh, I really, really like both of them, and I like the concept. Or if they do an entirely new thing in the uh, in the third game, it would be uh, it would be super, super fun. <laughs> Excuse me. Ryuki and Tama competed in a quiz battle to get this information. The information is as follows. Amame was often troubled, but when in doubt, she always chose the right option. Ha! Huh? I get it. When in doubt or when needing to hide something, she chose the option on the right. Thusly, all the occult quiz answers were on the right side. So that wasn't just by chance. And one wish is that BB gets to show up in the third game since her existence is a massive spoiler. Yeah. This may be a common rule in Amame Somnium. I wonder how they'll handle that in the in the next game. I wonder. We'll see. Okay. Memory in Wound. This is information Ryuki and Tama acquired playing the Spot the Difference game in Amame Somnium. Amame came across many wounded things. Important things. The heart. Blood. She carries all of that damage inside. All the correct answers were bloodied or otherwise damaged when playing the Spot the Difference game. So we should look out for damaged things during the sink. Yes, let's keep that in mind. Damaged. Hmm. Huh. This is the reason Ryuki decided to sink into Amame. According to the investigation, there was a high likelihood Amame saw terror when she found Komiji's body. But this has not yet been confirmed. That's all of it. Interesting. Looks promising for the investigation. Yes. Let's use this wisely. Now, Iba. Got it. Somnium scan activate. Ah, I'm gonna miss the Somnium scan. I'm gonna miss it so much, dude. <laughs> like, ah. Uh... And even this sound. This sound? We have heard this sound for like pretty much the entirety of Uchikoshi uh Sundays. Like It is it has followed us throughout every fucking seven? Uh-oh. Eight? Oh! Eight fucking uh, mental Eight locks. Mental holy shit. Locks. Yeah, holy shit. More than usual. That shows how strongly she is willing to hide her secret. My god. Yeah, it really is the final boss of Somniums, huh? Let's try talking to her first. Currently, Amame has a secret, which she covers with a lie. In this Somnium, in... Uh, inspecting objects will make evidence appear. Evidence! Uh, you can check obtained evidence 
by pressing right trigger. When checking something, you can select show evidence option to choose evidence from among the options. Ah. Oh, sorry, hold on. I have to take this. Um, I think this one's the crazy option. Yes. Okay. We made it. And now our, I think again, it's like either brave. It was brave or impish, right? To get the, the one that we want. If I recall. Oh, fuck. Oh, the music is all like fucked up now. Oh, man. Yeah, this really is going to be the final boss Somnium, huh? It's a mame. Hi. Ooh. Talk? Amame, can you tell me what you know about the Nirvana Initiative? I don't know. I don't know anything. Braver Impish? Cool. The same answer. It seems suspicious. According to the info Tama gave us, she has to know something. Would you like to show her the evidence? It might cause a reaction. Let's show her some evidence. Okay. When her hidden truth is uncovered, the veil of lies crumble. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's a mame. Oh, there's the option for that. Uh, I guess we'll change to the timey. How about what Amame said in yesterday's sink? Mizuki, your bats, your your backs. Oh my god, your back seating. Why why would you tell me this? Let's confirm the details. This is the information Ryuki got from Amame during yesterday's sink. Nirvana collected genocide. Uh, is what Mame said. She has to be talking about the Nirvana Initiative. Yes, we should show her this. Okay. Here on top of the time spent for selections, every time you use show, time will be depleted. When you are correct uh, with show evidence, the current total spent time will be depleted. Look does not deplete time, so organize your information and choose wisely. Interesting. Okay. Um let's see. Uh oh yeah, it was it was this one. Amame, yesterday you said Nirvana collected genocide. Though it was in a dream. You were talking about the Nirvana initiative, correct? It was just an internet rumor. What site was it on? Oh man. Couponbug.com! Oh. Never mind. I would like to keep questioning her. But I don't think we have anything that can draw more out of her. Let's check other locations. According to Tama. The characteristics we are looking for are something related to sound, something damaged, and right side only. Huh. From a certain time, a mommy blank, the blank, blank, blank. Okay. So something related to sound, something on the right side. Uh, I guess, yeah, uh, those are literally only our, our, our only options here. So there's a Volkman TV and is that a shrimp. What is that? Oh, it's a, a deep photo sea fish. of a deep sea fish. How is it? <laughs> take photo. I'm gonna choose take photo. It seems okay to take, but we shouldn't. Oh. Oh. Oh, we did it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is that part of our clueless? No. Okay interesting i i thought that was that was supposed to be a joke answer but okay uh all right here's something related to sound a volkman a cassette tape player it's the one mame always has on her 
Show evidence, fast forward. Um, Man, the music is so sinister in this one. Uh, I'm gonna press play, just in case. Oh, this song. It was a gift from Gen. Mame. It has affected mm. her emotionally, but she is still not responding. The evidence was related to sound. Why not try it on this? What? The Volkman? Yes. It might trigger a change. This is my favorite Somnium in this game. It's... It is so... There's so much, like, interactivity with this particular Somnium. I really, really, really like it. A Volkman. Uh, it's also just nice because I'm getting all of these, uh, these timings here. So it's, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty good. What information can we get from the Volkman? Need some interesting info. In Mame Somnium, there might be valuable information in the sound. Which, I mean, yeah, that's gotta be it, so... Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Okay, hold on. I'm I'm turning it down again. Genocide. Why? Huh. It's Mame's voice. The sound was distorted in the beginning. I was able to make out some words. Yeah, was it, was it even, was there even a word? Yeah, like, oh no, too much. Oops. Scary. Very, very scary. Sorry, that was a, it was a technical, technical issue there. My bad. Oh! Oh, it disappeared. We're like collecting it. We got the evidence. It should be fine. It's not information she got from the internet. Oh, that's why she didn't respond to it. Let's show Mame again. Okay. I feel like this this part of the Somnium is um is basically teaching us how to do the uh the evidence mechanic. Okay. Um, person discussing. Heard it from someone. The evidence for how she knew was. Oh, not that one. Let's see. I'm gonna say, also my mouse is like popping in the corner there. You see that? Hmm. Memory in wound. Find something damaged in the Somnium, you should inspect it. Uh, right side secret. Oh, this must be it. This must be it. Right there. There we go. Okay. Anane, you heard about the Nirvana initiative from someone. We have an idea of who that person was, but let's set that aside for now. In any case, you couldn't forget what you heard. In your dream yesterday, you said, Nirvana collected genocide. Amame, answer me. What is the Nirvana initiative? I don't know. Oh shit, okay. Intercession between the warp and left. That's when the scene can occur. God, I really, really wish that was not so loud. Huh. 
Find out how nice is involved. Okay. Yeah, you can really hear hear Billy in that one for sure. I mean, if it's if it's not like particularly obvious whose hand that is too, so. Stop. Uh. Oh. Oh wait, that's just like an in, uh insomnia or in um in Ryuki Somnium. He did a similar thing too, right? I don't know anything. What's this? This is Amame's defensive reaction. She really wants to hide something. However, it appears to be permeable. Oh. We are one step closer. We should continue to evaluate how she reacts to get the information we are looking for. It's like the one in Hitomi's house in the first game. Yeah. Let's look around. Looks like a lot changed. Oh. There's we are a... looking for something related to sound, something damaged, and right side only. Mizuki, you have five minutes left. Oh, I see. Okay. Mysterious person. Something damaged, something related to sound. What is this? Oh, this must be damage right here. But before I do that. This is suspicious. Who is it? Inspect or talk? I'm gonna. Let's talk. Who are you? Simulation. Oh. Tell me your name. Simulation. Not gonna answer, huh? Perhaps this individual is a nice devotee. Oh, crap! This is suspicious. Who is it? Okay. Gotta get rid of that two times. Uh. Here, let's Who do Let's just do it again. There we go. All right, that at least got rid of it. It is in pieces, but I can determine that this is some kind of a cult magazine. Oh man. This was not here before. Why is it in pieces? Piece together, read or scatter. Okay. I'm going to I guess the uh, the option is to just piece it together, huh? But I do really, really want to scatter it. Whee! Uh, <laughs> cool. It dodged. Maybe it needs to stay scattered. No, we need a different approach. I just, I love the <laughs> Perhaps scattered can be considered damaged? Oh, something does seem weird here. All right. An occult magazine in multiple... That's actually, I, that's actually fine, because again, it, it got us a timey, which is going to be very, very, very useful for those um, interrogation bits. There we go. Oh, shit. A book on Nai's teachings. Mommy? Do you have some kind of connection with Nice? Oh man, oh no. I read about it online. That is not possible. This information is not available online. So you're lying! Is Amame lying? You're lying! Yes. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh man. What are you hiding from us, Amame? I wonder why the occult magazine turned into that book. Perhaps due to this somnium. Everything is presenting a false appearance, hiding its true identity. A false appearance. Oh no, I'm so fucking scared, dude! Hey Mizuki, doesn't this book look like just the right side? Oh, can we use the evidence? Yeah, let's do it! From a certain time, Amame started having reoccurring dreams. Oh man. Holy fuck. Nice I'm teachings. I'm like actually very right terrified side. to see where this character is going. 
And to think this was such like a, a low key, like unassuming character from the first game. And holy shit, they really ran with her on this one. Hi, Randy. Thank you so much for the uh, 26 months. It says, unfortunately, I'm in a place with super bad Wi-Fi. So it's near impossible for me to, to watch the stream. But I hope you enjoy the end of this insane ass game. Uh, thank you. Thank you very, very much for the 26 months. I, I am having the time of my life. I am having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. Yeah, remember? Remember that, like... In the first game, she was just like a part of a skeleton fetish joke thing. And and now this time, like, again, they're like... They really just ran with her. Yeah, I mean, Faye, Faye has always... Uh, for as long as I've known Faye, she's uh, incredible. An incredible actress. So I'm... I'm uh, very, very happy to see her in this in this game. For sure. For sure. Um, okay. Uh, as a as a wise woman once said, "Pre's evidence, the evidence." Um. Okay. Right side secret. This is the Oh! Truth. Oh shit! It's the statue from from uh Tokiko's room. That seems to be the case. Oh shit. That doll was the one in the Nye's president's office. If a mame knows about it. Mame, did you go to the president's office? Oh. Oh no. She did kill Tokiko. Well, Amame? I uh -oh. always talked about it with Iris. The secret society of knives. I was curious, so I went to seek them out. I mean, she... Also, wow. Holy shit. Dude, Iris is a bad influence. <laughs> Iris is a bad influence, dude. I'm just gonna throw it out there. I I don't think you should you girls should have been like talking about it. <laughs> Their bezies are both occult nerds. Well, I mean I don't know. Yeah, they're both fucked in the head, I guess, huh? That means she could have heard about the Nirvana initiative from Tokiko. Maybe it was so insane to her that it scared her, and she wanted to hide it. <laughs> yeah, there's so many eye characters who <laughs> have, like, bad influences. <laughs> yeah, this is why we don't spread conspiracy theories, folks. If that was the reason, she could have simply told us at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. There's another reason she can't tell us. Huh. From a certain time, Amame started having recurring dreams. The people, the places, and the things. Um, okay. So, here, let's look at our clue list. Right side secret, memory and wound, broken glass By doll. By showing the Nye's book the right side proof, it turned into a glass doll. And it was cracked. This broken doll matches the one in the president's office. Why does Mame know about this? Hmm. Okay, let's see. There's got to be something. No, actually, no. I don't think there's anything with the TV. You have that might about be... four minutes left. That might be a. I want to say a red herring, but here, let's see. Let's check out the elephant trinket. It's an elephant figure, a Mame's personal belonging. Also, I'm going to turn off my air condition because I'm actually really cold right now. One sec. Starting to notice that it's it's getting like a little bit colder. Um, so I'm like, I'm like struggling a little bit. 
Oh, I also did bring a little blankie because I, I feel like we're in it for the uh, for the long haul. You know what I'm saying? I have a uh, next to my couch. I have a uh, a thin blankie that I that I always keep on myself just in case I want to take a little a little cat nap on the uh, on the couch. So let me, uh, hold on, I'm just, eh, okay, there we go. That's Ota's fault too. I, I love, I love being in, in a blankie sometimes. There we go. Uh. Oh, okay, there we go. Sorry, I'm getting comfy right now. I'm, I'm truly, I'm truly living uh, the comfy life. Oh, okay. There we go. Have a good night, Malice Toaster. Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. Pet head. <gasps> this is vital. I need this. I refuse. Oh, come on. I never ask for anything. Please. Please, 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 please. Please. Oh. Oh. Um. All the water in the pond. Drink. Water. Poison. Yes. Impish. <laughs> Well, at least I got a timey for that. <laughs> at least I got a timey for it. This is a, who is it? Oh, show evidence. <laughs> what is the evidence related to this person? Um, I want to say would be this person is it would be better to confirm this with one more piece of evidence oh hmm maybe we don't have all of the evidence just yet I mean there's no back option so maybe hmm uh, if you find something damaged in Somnium, you should inspect it. No, that's not it. Okay. Let's see, nice. By combining the scattered pieces of the occult magazine, the book was torn, however. Only the. Oh, ah, okay. Hmm. Memory in a wound. Uh. Somnium secrets are hidden on the right side. Oh, okay, yeah. So this must be Tokiko. Came into contact with you and subconsciously stored information related to you. If you can't back out, then you have it. I see, I see. Okay, cool. The reason the doll appeared in the Somnium is because Amame went to your so room. So it's, it's Tokiko. And the reason Nai's teachings were found here is because she met you. Which would make you... Tokiko Shigure? Tokiko! The code to the basement is 49010095. Huh? It is Tokiko. Oh! We should ask her what relationship she had with Amame. Yeah, let's show her the evidence. Let's presevidence the evidence! A certain time, uh, the people, what happened? Oh man, okay. Oh god, okay. Um, I'm assuming the hidden elevator leading from the president's office to the basement cathedral. The access code. After showing the blue figure this evidence, they revealed the code. That would mean the blue person is Tokiko, and Mame heard her say it. 
Amame must have gotten it from Tokiko, or was eavesdropping. Either way, she was in the room. The proof is... Mame knows about this. She must have been in Tokiko's room. She also said she was seeking them out because she was curious. There's no solid proof she met with Tokiko yet. The proof for that would be... The teachings. Amame, have you seen a book of Nai's teachings? This is such, like, a cool progression of the interrogation scenes from the first game. I, I am so, like, enamored with how they've, like, combined elements of the first game and, like, implemented it into, like, something new in this one. Like, it's so... It's, like, actually really fucking impressive. Um, I'm very, very, very impressed by this. It's so fucking cool. They only exist in Nye's facilities. I know, I wish it's, it showed up in more than one Somnium. But I kind of love that it it is, like, very, very localized. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a great last... Um, it's a great last Somnium to make a, a good impression on. Um, and then... How can I say it? Um, and then in the next game, if they, if they do, like, if they do the same concept, they can at least spread it throughout the, uh, the rest of the game, right? And the broken glass doll. That was in the Nye's president's office, Tokiko's room. And you knew the access code that only Tokiko should know. What happened between you and Tokiko? Tell me everything, Amame. Oh, man. Well... Oh, I there we go. Everything. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. Oh, no. I can't run from it. I need to do it. Threatened by Tokiko. Yep. Damn. <laughs> God, and we still have six minutes to do all of this? Jesus Christ. Investigate Amame's behavior. All right. A question with no answer has no blank. Even so, blank. I knew it. Amame was being threatened by Tokiko. Stop! Oh. And, and the area gets even bigger. Here we go. Free to free! I don't know! I don't know anything! Wait. Tokiko was murdered. W what are you trying to say? Mame would never do that! Tokiko had some kind of leverage over Amame. Some kind of secret. To keep her quiet. Dude, that would I, be motive. I love this illustration of Tokiko. Holy shit! Dude, if I could get my art style to look like this fucking clean, oh man. That is so fucking cool. She's so bad, I know. She's so fucking bad, dude. No. Oh, and one more thing. Date was explaining this at the Enda household earlier. Amame has motive to kill Terror as well. Her father was killed by Terror. Andy's Komeji. Huh, okay. All right. Time to take a look around. Let's see. Information in sound, right side secret, memory in wound. Uh, what else was given to us here? There's Komeji's outfit. Um, let's see, what is- It is a jacket belonging to Andy's Komeji. Smell? Huh. And then this is the this body is bag. This exactly how he was found. So his body is inside the bag. Uh. Oh, right half. I I just realized. Uh, here let's use a uh a one six. Right side secret, right? I messed up! 
Um, maybe. Let's see, if you find something damaged insomnium, you should inspect it. Let's see. Did you see his murderer? It's a high likelihood that Amami saw terror when she found Komeji's body. There it is. Terror's iron mask. Six years ago, at the studio, I saw them. I was trying to untie Ryuki, and they came in, pushing a stretcher. So I ran. But they caught me. Next thing I knew, I had a gun pointed at me. Oh, oh, more, more changes. Okay. A wrench, headphones. As Ryuki and suspected, Amame had contact with Terror, Uru. At that time, she probably did not realize that inside the body bag was Komeji's corpse. But oh, when Ryuki man. regained consciousness, Amame saw it and... Was in complete shock. She realized the man in the iron mask she saw was the person who killed him. Yes. God. And we... Well, not we, but I assume that, like, she was being, like, mind-controlled or something. No, she was just completely fucked up because she saw her father uh, and her father's murderer. Holy fuck. This poor fucking girl, man. A question with no answer has no right or wrong. Even so, blank. Okay. Oh no, not the times two. Let's see. This is from six years ago. It's the sign that was stabbed into Jin Furroway's body. The QR code leads to the ViewCube video. It was linked to the QR video. Oh God, okay. Uh, we can't use that. Three minutes left, Mizuki. Careful now. Um, is Komeji's outfit headphones? She headphones. Oh man, okay, I don't, I, not a lot of options to get rid of this times two. Wrench? A wrench. See, one that is a 16 second. A TV. Turn on, break? Okay, yeah, it seems like all of our options are, are 16. Let's see, smell, spec touch. What is that in the middle? Uh, oh, Terror's Mask. It's Uru's Iron Mask. Or, yeah, Uru. Put on. Okay, so the only one that I can get rid of, it seems like all of the, uh, the, the best solution for this time is to get rid of it. And the it's gonna be eight, into Jin eight seconds body. into 16, so. Uh, we might as well. Fuck it. It takes me to the QR video page. Yep. That's that's about what we can do. Um It's Uru's break. Uh, let's see. Wow, this is going to be a fucking tough somnium. Holy Show shit. Us headphones. Oh, Shoma's headphones. Uh, we can definitely present some evidence, I think, for this one. Oh, information and sound, right? Yeah. It is. Yeah, it yeah. is the last one. So. I can hear something. Since Shoma's gone, I'm gonna borrow this. I'm sorry. Huh. Shoma's robot. Oh! And she must have uh, used the robot to put um, the uh, the half of, uh, of Jin onto the field. Mame took Shoma's robot with her? I used it to go shopping. Hmm. I don't believe you. That's it. I don't believe you. 
Ooh, it's getting bigger. Holy shit. Oh! The center circle at the stadium. It is highly likely that it was that monowheel robot that carried Uru's body there. Right, but without using the slicer, it's impossible. Mame didn't know that the slicer was in the basement of Horidori Institute. Unless she did. Unless she absolutely did. I don't know about that. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Uh... I did see the terror, the half of the terror mask here. That's a, that's a right side, right? The iron mask. It's broken in half, down the middle. It is the left side. Oh. Or, depending on how you look at it, the right side of the wearer. That's what I'm thinking. Indeed. Let's call it the right eye side. Let's, uh... I think we should present some fucking evidence here. Right side secret. There it is, perfect. This is the statue at Horadori Institute? Yep, she knew about it. She knew that there was a fucking uh, secret room. Yep, and then, and then the code. Oh shit! Nothing looks off about it at first glance, but there's got to be something. Huh? We should search this place. Oh wait, that. Oh shit! Dude, this the cinematography? I thought I heard something. Oh, a mommy was there. Oh, fuck. I think you're just hearing things. She was here at the same time. Uh-oh. It is a little past 12 a.m. on the 13th. This is the conversation that was held in the basement of Horadori Institute. Oh, no, a mommy. So, what we were hearing was Mame? If she was not present, this conversation would not have played. Oh, Mame, no. Mame knew how to get to the basement. Oh, girl. I suppose she was headed there on that day, too. But she heard your voices and scrambled to hide. Why? I think you know exactly That's why. That's where left half was, correct? Yup. Oh man, oh this this is fucking painful. Are you accusing me? Yep. All right, the entire sunfish pocket is now engulfed. We have this much proof. I think you have an idea of what Amame did. God. <laughs> Mama, you are not beating the allegations. Mizuki. Hey, Mizuki. Oh no. Oh, oh, yeah. it hurts. Oh no, Mizuki! Oh, her fucking voice, her her fucking line reading on that. Yeah. Oh. Mizuki, you're an abyss investigator. You need to face the truth. I know. I know. Oh god. I'll do this right. A question with no answer has no right or wrong. Even so, blank still dwells on blank. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. So... Oh, wait. Li we can literally... Ah, uh, I, I wonder if we have to, like, do it in order. There's more information to share. Oh, I think we just put in. We just put it, we put it all in. Yep. We don't have to do it in order, we just... Amame, 
You killed Uru to get revenge for your father, correct? Also, I think we won't have to do all of the mental locks because uh, I think that, what was it? Something was said about like having the truth will basically crumble all of the lies. So it'll probably unlock a bunch of uh, of mental locks, um, Ace Attorney style. That's my prediction, at least. But we'll see. Let's let's see what happens. But Tokiko saw you and blackmailed you. You killed her to keep her quiet. Then you left Tokiko's right half in the president's office, and the left half remained in the basement of Horadori Institute. <laughs> You're not so smart. So many mistakes. Huh. The tonal shift. What the fuck? The tonal shift. We need to carry it. Oh no. Killed Uru. And, and the music, and the music changed, dude. A question with no answer has no right or wrong. Even so, blank still dwells on what could have been. Yup, there's the truth. Uh-oh. All right, the evil voice is setting in. All right, we're going full Dio. M Mommy, what's wrong? Oh no. Yeah, literally the breakdown. They're doing the anime style breakdown. We're wrong, right? You didn't kill anyone, did you? Oh, oh, Mizuki. You can fucking hear the desperation in her voice. Please tell me you didn't do it. Shut up. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Mommy... What would you have done? Can you honestly say you wouldn't do the same? Really? You always make the right decision? Jesus... You don't know anything! Don't talk to me like you understand! Oh, man... Oh, she's... she's fucked up. Yup. This place is... And the nice music is here. Mommy? The Enda household. I'm sorry. We're getting a divorce. Oh, man. What are we going to do then? I hate to ask you to do this, but you need to choose which of us you'd like to stay with. You're making her choose? You want me to choose like right now? What the fuck? I'm sorry. It's all your daddy's fault. I wasn't making money. I caused trouble for your mother. I'm really sorry. Which is worse to lose, a father or mother? Oh, oh, a mommy. What? Which is worse to lose, the father or mother? Okay, the fact that she's like, um, the fact that she's kind of interacting with us in the Somnium is, is kind of nuts, right? I suppose she's asking you to answer the question like she had to. Sounds familiar. Uh, wait, do I remember? I, I I'm going to be honest with y'all and I, I don't particularly remember. Huh? Oh, uh oh, I guess I chose to go with mom. Uh, oh, oh. But if I chose dad? 
I'm going with you, Dad. You need my help, so I need to look after you. Thank you, Amame. I'm so glad to hear that. If I chose my dad, I wonder how my future would have been different. Huh. Real. I'm going with Mom. Mom works really hard. She needs my help. That's true, isn't it? You need to take care of your mom. I love your comedy, Dad. I'm always on your side. God, the fact that it's like... It's all within, like... These... These... This fucking family. Like, the, the dynamic between this is like... Oh... Man, it hurts. It hurts. Thank you. Daddy's gonna do his best. Just you watch. Yep, and like I predicted, like I predicted, we've unveiled the truth and all the lies fall. I think from here on out, everything will be okay uh in terms of of uh what do you call it the uh, the somnium in terms of this this situation now nah, this is fucked this is fucked answer a mame dwells on what could have been She must feel guilt for her decision, but she did nothing wrong. It's true. I can understand that would bother her. What's next? I I love that this is all. Is that a contest? That's amazing, Shoma. I love this is this is all like. Um, just all memories now. Holy shit. This is so, this is like so intense too. The, the energy of this Somnium is very, very intense. It was always your dream to make a robot. Good job. Yeah, thank you. It'll be a good memory. This might be my last time. Last time? Why? What? I used so much money to make that robot. Oh. Dad wanted a new outfit for work, but he's been putting it off. I can't be asking for stuff for my robots. I see. Hmm. If I work after school and on weekends, I can make like a hundred thousand yen a month, maybe. Oh, and I guess that leads her to working at Sunfish. With that money, I can buy robot parts and a new outfit for Dad. You're here for the interview, right? You want to work the night shift? I was I was about to say that's not Renju, is it? I I don't I think it's just it's just some some manager. It's just some manager that Renju hired, probably. Yes. I want to make a lot of money. How old are you? Oh. 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 If you're in high school, I can't make you work late. Huh? Be truthful and be poor. Or lie and make money. Which would you choose? Oh, man. Okay. What I thought was... I was about to say the retcon is worked its way into the story, which is fucking insane. Holy shit. That's a fucking really, that's a really good retcon 
uh, to work its way into the story. Holy fuck, man. Oh my God. Another question. I lied in order to work. Yep. But if I didn't, I see. Okay. The um, <laughs> the lighting in this particular environment is good, except it does make Amame's lips look very strange. Um, I think it's just something. It's something with with the way that it interacts with the uh with the shader i've 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 encountered that before in unity um it's it's very very it's just the way that the shadow plays around with i think because like the lighting is is uh it's kind of coming from all around so it's a little it's a little finicky or not it doesn't look like it's coming from all around but um yeah it's it's a little uh it's a little strange looking in this scene Oh, the other jobs were too low paying, but I have some free time, so I'll come home and eat dinner. If we cook at home, it would save money, right? You don't have to do that. Oh, man. But I think dad would be happier about seeing you than the money. Oh, Amame, I didn't know you were here. Welcome home, dad. If I saw my dad more. This... God, this hurts. The fact that this is all like, it's all it's all family like dynamic stuff, and it's so like, it's so tragic. Like it really is all fucking tragedy. Holy shit. But I have noticed his problems. Oh man. It's okay. I'm twenty years old. You look so young. Well, the more popular you are, the more you get paid, so good luck. Okay, thank you. Oh, man. Chose the lie, yep. So this next part of the Somnium is, is gonna test my, my remembering skills, which to be honest is, I mean, you guys have proven time and time again that my memory is very, very bad. It is, it is legitimately a problem. Um, one that I've lamented on in real life. So it's, it's going to be a little troublesome, but we'll, uh, we'll see. There are some things that I do remember, like the, um, you know, the fact that they retconned her age. Um, but the, uh, the father mother question, I, I don't remember. Do you recognize them yet? Um. Hmm. A little part of me was like, wait, do these parallel... Do these parallel, um, like, Uru's thing? Or maybe, or maybe not. I don't know. She wanted to work, even if it meant lying about her age. No, okay. No, she needed to work. She really cares about her family. Oh. Oh, Amame. Sorry to call you so late. It's fine. I just finished work. Are you okay? Huh. What? I was watching that one show on my phone. Faith to Face. It got... pretty crazy. Hmm. Right. That. Uh, I'm okay. I... did see half a corpse, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. You sound... upset. Should I come see you? You want me to be with you, right? That's why you called. No, that's not it. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. You be careful too, 
It can be dangerous out there at night. Huh. Oh no, man. I'm gonna go see Dad. Oh God. I need to support him. Mommy, what should I do? I'm scared. Dude, Iris cameo. Hi, Iris. What's up? Oh, Iris, you were there too, right? Yeah. Yeah. I saw the dead body. So can we... Can we meet right now? Now? Please? I want you to be here. I'm... I'm... Oh, man. Oh. And I have... I have a feeling... She went to Iris. Decision what time. What would you do if your best friend and your family asked for help at the same time? You could only choose one. Yep. I chose my best friend. Oh no. But if I went to go see my dad. Iris, I'm really sorry, but I need to go see someone. He needs my help. I need to be there for him. Oh, not the. Oh, wait. You're right. You're right. Uh, okay. I'll be fine. I understand. I'm sorry to ask you for such a weird thing out of the blue. I can stay on the line, though. I'll be listening. But they did say that there was... They Mommy, said what? Thank you. They said that there was, like, no right or wrong answer, right? Hmm. If I went to see Dad... Maybe he wouldn't have died. Yeah. I know. Okay, I'll be right there. Iris, where are you now? Thanks, Mommy. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Jesus. Chose the best friend. Yeah, I I think I, I I agree with you. It's it's nice that like in this game we get to we get to see Iris react to all the like fucked up things that are happening. Um but yeah, we didn't really get that particular interaction in the first game and arguably uh iris does more in that game right so not even arguably she does more in that game so it's a little uh how can i say it it like i it, i wish it could have been better on that front but eh, what can you do i know the the va work again Th this this game has such incredible direction. It really, really, really does. Choose with a, with an exclamation point. Amame regrets this too. I'd like to think because Iris is putting on a front for Date because she's scared of losing him. But I think it's for pacing. Yeah. Mame. A little bit of column A, column B, I would say. Iris wasn't quite herself in the in the in half of AI one. That's true. The book. I don't want to read this. Dude, Tokiko is so fucking bad. This world is only a simulation. Ah! Uh, you could have been saved by this truth, but... Oh, well. Oh, she refused the book. I'm going to tell you what I told you in the basement again. 
I wish they had put some physics, like some proper like gravity physics on Amame's pigtails, because they are kind of just like they are kind of just like pointing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a very very simple setting on on Unity. <laughs> you can literally just 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 bring it up a little bit. She uses hair gel. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Bro, I put in the uh, the hair physics. That's how you know. I put in the hair physics. I saw everything that you did. If you don't want me to reveal what I know, do as I say. Oh no. What are you going to make me do? On the night of the 12th, I will use the slicer to take my own life. Oh shit. Okay, so she didn't kill Tokiko. Tokiko legitimately did just kill herself. And I think Amame is literally just, um, like, assisting her with it. That's fucking wild. What? No. Tokiko killed herself? Holy shit. Afterward. I want you to take my right half to the president's office. Damn. Leave my body on the desk. Use the hidden elevator when coming here. Huh. I will explain how to use it later. I will tell you about the master key and access code. Why do I... That's not all. There is more I need you to do. I know, this is so fucking much. I'm like processing so much right now. You know what will happen if you decline, don't you? She's so bad. Which do you choose? Have your biggest secret spilled? Or be part of some dangerous plan? Technically not assisted suicide, but she was complicit with the suicide. That's what we mean by assisted. It, again, it's, it's semantics. You know what I mean? It's semantics. Oh, I think we all know where this is going. I had to obey. Yeah. I had to do what she said. I understand. Does the questioning ring the bells? <laughs> You've heard all these questions before. Where did I hear all these questions before? I literally do not remember. Complicit through blackmail, yes. Do you want me to say? Uh, yeah, sure. What do you mean, really? I just told you how bad my memory is. I just told you, it's been 15 weeks, guys. It's been 15 weeks. You you literally have to be nice to me. Amame's last Somnium, which he spins on the chair. Oh, right. Tap the sign? <laughs> True, I will tap the sign. Also, um, I'll also tap. I'm normal. I can't run from it. I need to do it. Why are you throw why are you throwing things at me? What? <laughs> yeah, not being to me is or not being uh, nice to me is a bannable offense. Like straight up. <laughs> I have timed somebody out for like a an entire week for not being nice to me. <laughs> and I'll do it again! Choose! 
Choose! Choose! You can be mean, but only once? No, you can be mean none times. Be nice. Period. Oh. This is it. This is it, Luigi. Oh, hello. Uru Somizuki. Hi, Uru. Yes. This world is an imperfect one. I was put through much hardship. But it's all a simulation after all. As long as I can reach Moksha, all will be well. The teachings of Nyes are absolute, as is the prophecy. Holy shit, man. Oh my god. Hey, can I ask one thing? Hey. Yes. Are you really terror? <laughs> yes, I am. What of it? <laughs> Die! <laughs> Do you remember what happened on February 13th, six years ago? Of course. I will never forget. That was the fateful day I met you. Holy shit. You were a witness to history. You are worthy to know our ideals. Which is why I invited you here. Enough about the past. Let's talk about the future. Huh. A ViewCube video will soon be made public. Nirvana X. Many people will watch it. Those who see it will collect in a predetermined location. Why? The first step for all mankind to reach Moksha. Dude. His his face is it's very very Ryuki smile, right? Like, I, uh, does anyone else see that? Ryuki had a very similar smile thing going on. Oh, I want to share the excitement with as many people as possible. At this important. I know the place. fact that the uh, the portrait is looking at you. The viewer is really fucking freaky. Holy shit. The intersection between the warp and weft. That's where the scene can occur. And the Nirvana initiative will become reality. I know what he did. Oh, oh, Amame. I saw what he did. He came to the studio with a corpse on a stretcher. Girl? Kill. <laughs> this is magnificent. Don't you think so? Why? 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 Yeah, she snapped. Like, you can even hear it in the fucking... in the line reading. She fucking snapped. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Oh, oops. Why do you just laugh about it? Why? 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 Honor of the man you killed is right here. Right in front of you. He killed my dad. All for some stupid teachings and prophecy. He ruined Shoma's life and mine. It's all his fault. All of it. Oh my god. Someone important was hurt in front of me. Make the person apologize or get revenge. With saying this with her normal ass face is like Oh, it adds fucking me up. Holy shit. <laughs> it, like literally is like looking at this going la 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 like the face says la 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 and then the face uh the the dialogue is i'm gonna fucking kill him like right like holy shit i promise you revenge there we go you it's all your fault
I know the wrench. The wrench? Wow. Oh, man. I'm going to make you suffer the same pain. Holy fuck! Holy shit! Oh my god! Like, even the line reading is so raw! Regardless of the motive, Amame committed a serious crime. That cannot be overlooked. Oh no. I know! But this is just too much. If she never got involved, it wouldn't have happened. If she only really she is. She chose her father over her mother. Like a victim if of circumstance. Only she saw him more. Oh. He might still be alive. Damn, if Iva. She never ran into him again. If she didn't follow him, she may not have killed Uru. Jesus. If that didn't happen, Tokiko wouldn't have used her. But there are no ifs in this world. You can agonize over it all you want, but you cannot go back and change your path. It really is. Yeah, that they're really. Is the truth of this existence. They really are pulling the the. The life is simply unfair. I can hear the fucking themes. I can I can hear the fucking uh what do you call it? The the motifs in the uh, the music right now. Holy fuck. But that's that's what's so good about that. The fact that Iba says that th this is the path that you've chosen and there are no redos in a game that is traditionally based on on visual novels and the entirety of visual novels is gimmick being like um that it's all about pathways and and uh uh like choosing different decisions that will influence a story like it's sick as fuck it's sick it's really 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 good Yeah, this whole game is about accepting reality. And that's fucking awesome. That's fucking awesome. Thinks about the VLR epilogue. <laughs> I, I don't want to think about it. I'm good. I did it! Wow. That was a, a first try Somnium. I, I did not have to, uh, to reset. I did not have to reset. I'm actually very happy about that. Oh, oh man. Hi, Date. Dude, the downer ending? The downer ending? Are we, are we ending it on the downer? Hi, boss. Let me just look at this just for a minute. Just for like a minute or two minutes or like a ten or... Hi, Pewter! What's good? 
Mame, I think I understand. Uro Samazuki, Terror, was killed by... You, Mame. And Tokiko wasn't killed. She set herself up on the slicer and took her own life. But you still did something real bad. But I'm still not clear on some things. Oh, man. Will you talk to us? Sorry, I have to take this again. <laughs> oh my god, I have to turn off the fucking notification. I'm gonna go insane. <laughs> I'm gonna go fucking crazy. I have to turn off the notification. What do you think of mermaids? How ironic that we are, like... <laughs> that we are fucking dealing with this, with this character on this fucking thing. Oh my god, man. What's impish? I'm gonna say slimy. That's loving. No. Okay, not great, but... <laughs> Mizuki can't help being an iPad kid. Oh, man. Holy fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and say that there are no side funny side dialogue options here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a whim and just say nah on that one. Um hey guys. Uh Amame's brainwaves are normal. Okay. There's nothing wrong with her. Hey. Date. Wow. No, no, like, funny little, little nickname for this one. Talk to Amame. Okay. I'm gonna talk to Boss, if that's okay with you. I know Amame is your friend. I understand that it's hard to interrogate her, but it's an important part of your job. Damn. You need to learn to set aside your emotions. Don't worry about me. Wow, th this is fucking real, man. This shit is fucking real. <sighs> okay. Let's let's get to it. I don't know. She didn't tell me. Huh. On February 10th, I knocked out Uru and put him on the slicing machine. Damn, how how can there be more to this game? Like I wonder, okay, I'm wondering if if we're if this is the end end, but like it probably isn't, right? Hmm. After the machine stopped, I sensed someone behind me. Took I saw oh, everything. My bad. I'm gonna auto it. Shall we make a deal? I will give you some commands. And you will follow them. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. Her first order was to move the right half of the body. You got a few hours? Okay. Cool. It was on the night of the 12th that I moved her. I went to the basement of Horidori Institute and found Tokiko's body there. Just like she told me. She specified that I move the body to the president's office. She told me, put the right half of the body on the desk and about how to get inside the room. She gave me the master key to the staircase as well. And how to use the, the hidden master elevator keys to the or office. that's a lot of locks. Oh. Right. Huh. So he must have spotted... Or wait, no. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Well... I've documented what you did, and gave it to one of my most trusted subordinates. If you stray from my commands even slightly, 
That evidence will be sent to the police. I see. Huh. Okay. About Tokiko's left half. She didn't give me any orders about the left half, so I just left it on the slicer. I was curious, though, so I did take a look. Take a look? Oh, that's why she was at, at Horidori. Because I... I guess she was curious? Hmm. Or maybe... I, I wonder if she was, like, going back just to see, like, what was going to happen to that half of the body. I guess we'll never know. Hmm. I don't know. I carried it. I borrowed the robot Shoma made. The one with one wheel. Yep. That... Tokiko I'm pretty sure that's... That's, and that's, you know, why I sent you the message plainly on obvious. Suzuki. Because Tokiko told me to. I sent the message from the phone she gave me. What about Uru's right half on the ritual platform at the cathedral? I didn't move the body. It was Tokiko. I don't know why she did that. I'm guessing she wanted to hide the right half of the body for some reason. There's still... I, I'm like... There's still so many, like, mysteries up in the air here. Like, it's pretty fucking wild. Like, uh, basically everything that Tokiko is doing is like... I... I don't understand why or how she did certain things. And I guess we'll find out in the next couple hours how, how things are going to go. What does all this mean? Bibi. Tokiko forced Amame to send the message, so it would be Mizuki who found Uru's left half. And for an unknown reason, she hid the right half. I don't get it. Hmm. Yeah, and why did you meet with Uru? Five days ago, on February 10th, I got a call from Uru, telling me he wanted to meet me at Horidori Institute. He called himself Terror. Six years ago, I met Terror at Studio Devita, so I knew it was him. Terror was the one who killed your father, Yonaharu Enda. So, you met him with the intention of killing him? Well, that explains why you didn't talk to the police. I don't know. I don't know what got into me. I knew I hated him, but... I don't think I wanted to kill him. I wanted to hear what he had to say. Hmm. God, th there's so much. Yeah, I mean, you... <laughs> she did do the right thing. It is just, you know... It is just, you know, mur you can get arrested for murder. Is the I thing think he wanted to brag about his plan. He had a smug look on his face when he was explaining it to me. The Nirvana Initiative? But well, why you, Mame? Mizuki, do you remember Uru's diary? February 13th. I met the person of my destiny. On that day, at the west door of Studio Devita, Uru cornered Amame. They were face to face, close enough to touch. It is possible that... Uru oh. fixated on Amame. Oh. Damn. Wow. That's... Made it a crime. That's heavy. That's fucking... That's... Yeah, that's like... That's gross and incredibly fucking heavy. Holy shit. A crime that I can never take back. I can't reflect, repent, or apologize. Nothing will fix what I did, no matter what my reasons were. I killed a human being. But... I couldn't forgive him for what he did! That man who killed my father! All for some plan! What's that about anyway? Some stupid plan? That's why my father had to die. Damn. It's fucking Mame, real. I understand how you feel, but think about how Shoma and Geni are going to take this. I know. I know that. I know that they trusted me. I know that I betrayed them. Thinking about them hurts so much. My chest feels like it's going to explode. The guilt. And 
Komeiji, too. I'm sure he didn't want you to avenge his death. He says fuck, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everyone. I'm so sorry. It it fucks me up. It fucks me up that like a mame is just a victim of of circumstance. Like like anyone in her position like it's it's literally like it's completely understandable you know what i mean it's completely understandable she it's a chain of victims exactly like fuck man yeah and she's she's young like she's still like oh my god it's fucking Fucking insane. I feel so bad for this girl. Jesus. <laughs> After she regained her composure, we asked Mame about the Nirvana Initiative. Oh boy, yeah, we still have uh, TC Purge to deal with, huh? Um, but she told me what we saw in Somnium was the full extent of what she knew. She had no more information to add. It's almost 11, not much time left. I literally forgot about the virus. Yeah, we still have a whole virus deal to to deal with like that whole thing that's all going on um yeah hey guys uh <laughs> we still have you know radical seven that needs that's going to happen that needs to uh to get addressed damn it what do we do we need to stay calm keep a level head and think dude this is the old guard here. The old guard. So wild seeing them in a room again. Can I ask a stupid question? Why did terror slice people in half? <laughs> the fucking crew. Why does that even matter at this point? Just think about it. Why? Because the slicer was in the basement? Hmm. Yeah, but that's not the reason. There are plenty of other ways to kill. Uru despised Jin and Jakara because they took his organs. Right. So he wanted to kill them in the cruelest way he could think of. But why kill Komeiji the same way? Because he took something important from Uru. Six years ago, on February 11th, Komeiji took the corpse from the rooftop amusement park in his suitcase. Right. Jin's left half. Right. Left. <laughs> even, even Dante, even Dante is, is in on the bit now too. And that must have angered him. Maybe. But that amount of anger would be nothing compared to what he felt for Jin and Chikara. I recall something Tokiko said. What you call the HB case mm -hmm. is but a small part of the plan. Huh. That's exactly what I'm talking about. The three of them were sliced in half as part of the plan. There must be some kind of meaning behind the bodies being cut in half and left in specific places. Let's see. The right half of Jin Furaway's body was the one that fell from the ceiling of Devita, right? Okay. His left half was found at Misaton Rooftop Amusement Park, like we said earlier. Chikara Horadori's right half was found in a Sekiba High Classroom. And his left half was found at Yoyagi Park. 
Andy's Komeji's right half was found at Studio Dvita, just like Jin's. And his left half was also the same as Jin's, on the stage at the rooftop amusement park. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder why. Why put Komeji's body in the same places? The location must have been important somehow. I don't see it. <laughs> I'm like trying to figure it out. I don't see it. Jin Furoe's body was disturbed and removed from the scene by Yonaharu Enda, aka Andy's Komeji. There must be some kind of significance to replacing the body at that location, this time using Komeji's. I don't follow. What does it mean? Chakras, Chakras are, points. are points. By definition, by definition a, point a point cannot be reduced further. further. It cannot be severed from itself. Hmm, okay. So the chakras will remain, tethered between the left and right sides of the body, like a string. The intersection between the warp and weft, that's where the scene can occur. Hmm. Well, that would mean the Nirvana Initiative is happening at... In between all of that? What? Oh, God! <laughs> this map will assist you. Uh, uses to infer where the plan is going to take place. When you figure out the location, close the map and tell everyone. Okay. Um. Let's see. So we need to... Intersection between the warp and the weft, that's where the seam can occur. Um, Andy's Komeji's right half was found at Studio Divida, just like Jin's. His left half was also the same place as Jin on the stage at the rooftop of the amusement park. Um, right half was at Studio Divida, and the left half was at the rooftop. Oh, oops. Uh,. So the left half was at Studio Divida, which is right here. And then uh, the right half, what did I fucking say? Uh, was on stage at the rooftop at Misaton. Oh, God. So Studio Divida, which is right here. And then uh, Misaton. Which is right here. Okay, well, that's in the complete fucking opposite direction. Studio Divida. And then Misatan. There's only one location that's, like, completely in between all of that. And that is... The stadium? The stadium? Oh, we can check. Oh, I see. This map is to assist with your deduction. When you find the location, close the map and tell everyone. I see. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's... What, like, why do I have a feeling that it's literally just the stadium? Uh, let me check the log again. Let's see. One that fell from ceiling. Left half was a Misaton. Chikara Horidori's right half was found at Sekiba High, uh, high uh, Classroom. And the left half was found at Yoyagi. Right half in Sekiba High. And the left half was in Yoyagi. So Yoyagi. And okay, so it is, I'm pretty sure it is just the stadium. Let's see. Um, I just want to make sure. Sekiba, hi. Yep, it's right at the fucking stadium. Okay. Cool. Good to, good to know that I got it. Oh, hey. Are, are we just gonna... <laughs> There's options for everyone? There's options for everyone? Hold on. Hold on. Look at Pewter. 
He's kind of he's kind of slaying though a little bit. He is kind of slaying. The gigantic. <laughs> I know the sister ship of the Titanic. Wait, no, that sank already. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um. Okay. Abyss HQ, Central Hospital. I love, okay. Does everyone have, oh yeah, everyone has a, uh, a different option. Oh, that's fucking great. That's fucking great. All right, well, <sighs> let's get to work. I'm all for them shooting a rocket there. <laughs> <laughs> I hate those guys. <laughs> the line reading, dude. The line reading. I hate those guys. <laughs> That's so funny. Hold on. I have to take this. Um, impish, impish, impish. Niall. Yes! Okay. We're so close. We're so close. You said you were turning that off? I can't say no to that little face. Come on! You think so? Mm, I doubt it. Oh. Kumakuras! Moma Kumakura, the chairman. He might not look like it, but he follows a moral code. I can't imagine he would work with terror. That's true. That is true. Boss's residence? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Are you trying to destroy my house? <laughs> yeah. Your room already looks like a rocket went off in there, Mama. Mama! Aww! <laughs> Cute! Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> I love that! Mama! Mama? Mama! <laughs> that's awesome! I told you not to call me that at work. <laughs> that's so cute! Oh my god! This game makes me smile so big. Sorry, old habits. Aww, they love each other. <laughs> Dude, Mizuki looking at this being like, <laughs> I'm gonna use this. <laughs> um, okay. Ikume oh, Shrine? Why the shrine? I don't think so. It's fun. You wash your belly button there. Ayuin, our special place. <laughs> Our special if you dare place. soil that place, I'm gonna cut him into a dozen pieces. Hell yeah! Well, I guess he's already in two pieces. More pieces! Uh, Misaton. On the night of the 13th, a rocket was shot off the rooftop of Misaton. But Terror said that was just a rehearsal. Does that school even have any place that could hide a rocket? I haven't really been going to school, so I don't know. That's true. Um, I think Date is the only one. Yeah, Date is the one with the, the correct answer. So, uh, let's choose Central mm -hmm. Hospital. Why would it be at a hospital? Hi, Buter. Is there logic behind your reasoning? Hell no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I guess it makes sense to shoot it from the roof of that building. But Insomnium, Uru said. The first step for all mankind to reach Moksha. I want to share the excitement with as many people as possible. I don't think that place fits the description. That's true. Uh, Abyss HQ? Uh, Abyss HQ? It, you mean here? I haven't seen any rockets around here. Well, except for Nate's. <laughs> Sound the alarms! <laughs> Sound the alarms!
dude. The true blowjob brother. It was straight up jorking it. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I just had to. <laughs> I just realized Mizuki had to hear that. <laughs> Mizuki had to fucking hear that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh fuck, that's so funny. Holy shit. Yeah, jury work hours? Damn. Damn, these boys these boys getting it together. Damn. <laughs> they are down terrible. <laughs> Yeah, he can't settle down because he's too addicted to gay sex. Um, I know, Mizuki, the fact that I, the fact that Mizuki had no reaction is like really, really, really funny to me. Uh, she's probably just like, okay, all right, whatever. <laughs> Matsushi the diner, dude. The Nirvana initiative is happening there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's not a lunch special. <laughs> okay. Yoyagi Park? Huh? You think so? No. I don't think that has anything to do with warp and weft or whatever. <laughs> the man completely clueless. <laughs> I don't even know what a weft is, man. Uh. Dante Residence. My place. <laughs> the fucking line reading on that. My place. Why, why did he say that? My place. Let's go, Mizuki. <laughs> oh, oh, Dante. Oh my God, I missed him so much. I love him. I gotta save my porno mags from going up in flames! Yeah! <laughs> I love that. That's the one thing. That's the one thing he is fucking worried about so much. Oh my god. <laughs> such a, he's such a piece of shit. I love him so much. I gotta save my porno mags from going up in flames! I told you, I already got rid of those. All right. Ah, well, we had our fun. Let's get down to business, shall we? Yep. 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 The warp and the weft. Wow, this looks just like Jesus. Yeah, that makes sense. We have our answer. Right. Left. The rocket carrying TC Purge. It will be launched from... That's right. The stadium. It all comes back to the stadium, baby. It all comes back. Dude, the, the fucking... The, the vehicles? Holy shit! Think we can take them? Oh, I'm, I'm getting my controller. Hold on. I feel like something bad is about to happen. Oh man, everyone is here. Do you like QTEs? I think I'm gonna have to enjoy some QTEs. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be loud. Oh boy. Terror. Uru Samazuki. There was a uh, uh, a funny sound effect that was uh, just uh, redeemed. Check this out. That's Uru. Is 
There was a code in the Nirvana X video that indicated the time and place of this plan. We were never able to crack it, but it probably would have led us here. Really? Hmm. Yeah, terror is really difficult to understand. He's he's got um he's got uh 9990 vibes, so you know. <laughs> I know, thank God for the log, huh? The plan was probably to have everyone who cracked the code assemble here. Nirvana. Very very zero core. Collected. Genocide. Currently, the stadium is surrounded by riot police. Barriers have been erected over 500 yards out in every direction. Even the police and National Guard are not permitted in this no-go zone. It should help mitigate the spread of TC Purge. Guess that's why no one's here. Holy shit. pieces are in place y'all holy shit we're really really at the ending here now holy fuck hey how much longer are we gonna play this game yeah, we need to do something about the rocket. But... Hmm... Where is it? I was thinking it was in that, like, that little light holder thing. I attempted to scan the area with x-ray, but I did not find anything. I guess we'll have to look harder. The rocket has to be around here somewhere. Should we get them to help? They seem like they could use something to do. Uh-uh. Oh, boy. Iba, what time is it now? 11.20 a.m. 40 minutes till noon. It's a good thing that Terror had enough time to, uh... to know when exactly the talk in his recording. Oh boy. All right. Leave the people to me. I'll get them all at once. Are you sure, Mizuki? Like, this is a lot of people. This is a lot of people, man. Like, uh, I don't know. You two, go look for the rocket. Huh? What are you talking about? Well, Date is blind in one eye, and Bibi, you're... Don't worry about my heart. I'll be fine. But... Enough talk. Let's get going. Yeah, let's get groping. SHUT UP! What? I, I mean, let's get going. Mizuki, please allow me to terminate Date after all this is over. Yes! I love him. I hate him. I love him. Not if I do it first. I love him. I hate him. I love him. Dude, the dual, the dual fucking, the dual pipe. Die. 
That's so sick, dude. Holy shit. That's awesome. Oh, man. Let's go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I just I just realized why they they made three definitive groups. <laughs> People getting thrown is so funny. Holy shit. Bonk. Don't just stand there. Thanks, baby. Is your heart okay? I told you. I'm fine. Okay. Let's go. Oh, the animation is so good. <laughs> the animation in this is so good now. All right. Oh boy. Uh oh. Sniper! X ray activate. Damn. I'll assist. And. Bah! Nice shot! Whoa! <laughs> the jump. I. <laughs> Animation's so funny. <laughs> that animation's really good. Bam, baby! Woo! The shockwave? Go, BB, go! I love showing off. Oh no! Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry. Ooh, you got you sloppy. Back. But I can't. I'm not saying it for your sake. It's for Mizuki. Please don't die for Mizuki's sake. Oh. Well, I guess technically you're also Mizuki, but. <laughs> Anyway, heal up here. <laughs> well, I I guess you're Mizuki, but like, I mean, listen, you get it. Anyways, I gotta do this shit now. Fucking awesome. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, he's getting his ass beat! Hey, he's old, huh? Date? Run, Mizuki! You're stronger than all of us. You can take care of yourself. Are you gonna go help Date? Without me, he's ineffective. <gasps> Whoa! He or else. Got it. Leave this to me. Go, Iba, go! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! The, the, the reunion! The reunion! I'm so uh, happy. It is so nice to be home. Why'd you come back? To retrieve my stamp collection. I do not <laughs> want to have to start over. <laughs> it appears that you require assistance. Dude, no this is so awesome! <laughs> your hand. Not what I could use. Is your eye. Understood. Oh my god! I, I, you, I love them! I love them so much! Six o'clock, Dante! Oh, got it. <laughs> Fuck, they're so cool! They're so cool! I love them so much! God, this is such a great cutscene. Oh, 
Oh. Bye, bitch! <laughs> Later! <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Folks, that's our protagonist. These are our protagonists. That was fucking brilliant. That was awesome. Where's the rocket? Dude, feels good to see Dante without the uh, the eye patch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh boy. The rocket? That is not a mere rocket. What the fuck? How the fuck are we supposed to stop that? It's a goddamn ballistic missile. Oh man. No, they got they all got their revolvers out. What the fuck? They're a force field? I'm not going through. Oh, he thought of everything, huh? Okay. Complete. What Terror said is true. Then what do we do? Let me finish. Terror specified metallic objects. Therefore... Does anyone have a wooden bullet? If you use your body... Wait! We can get through. Correct. Oh. So we're just gonna climb on? Enough. Bibi and I should be able to destroy the rocket with our bare hands. No way. No fucking way. Yeah. He did kick down that tree at the shrine. Let's go. Aw, oh, the little the little eye one uh throwback there. Oh my you god! Can't be serious. There's more of them. Holy shit. Why? Insulation. They are all wearing insulated suits. Oh, shit. What if BB and I hit him? Okay. Iba, how much time do we have? 20 minutes. Huh? Wait, what? 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 What did I recolored? Huh? We're running out of time. I don't. Huh? I I'm like wait I don't understand. Recoded? What do they mean by this? I actually don't understand that. Huh. Yeah, I don't. I really don't know what he meant by that. To get close to the rocket, we need to do something about these guys. But stun bullets won't work, right? We'll have to use brute force. I agree. Sorry, people, but... Huh? What are you going to do? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to break their bones. Holy shit! Okay, BB. Uh... Okay. Dante doesn't have a cool lead pipe. What? I switched them to real ones. Don't worry, I'm only gonna shoot their limbs. Oh man. Uh 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 oh. What's this? I've seen this before. It's optical camouflage. But it's okay. If you use thermo mode, you and Dante can. As for the other oh. Mizuki, 
Oh I'll boy. Be fine. I'll think of something. Something. It's fine. Let's go. Oh, no oh, no. Let's go. <laughs> oh, she's just swinging at nothing. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm waiting for the Ryuki like the Ryuki rescue. Oh no, she doesn't look so good. Oh no. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit! Oh my 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 fucking my QDEs aren't working. Oh, oh no, oh no! The QTEs don't work without the eyeball? Oh shit. Oh shit! Oh my god! Uh oh, uh oh. Get rid of them. Roger that. Here he comes. Here comes our boy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's fucking go. Give Do you want to take ibuprofen? Please don't show off. Yuki. Tama. You guys, you took way too long. What the hell were you doing until now? Sorry, the riot police stopped us. Oh we man. The with... Fucking awesome. Holy shit, Iris is here. <laughs> Why is Ota here? Dude, the fucking gang. Guys, you're here too? Dude, everyone is here! I guess he's the only driver, huh? BB and Date are still fighting. Ota, Iris, and Kizzy are in the armored car running amok. They got pulled over and got off, leaving MoMA behind. Oh! <laughs> MoMA got left behind! That's so He's not, he's not gonna participate in this particular finale, okay? And... Dude, he came in with the key! All the friends we made along the way stand together tall with the power um, of friendship. I can explain. Okay. To protect Amame. To avenge my father. We won't let terror win. We're gonna ruin his stupid plan. So, yeah. <laughs> Lien with literally no gusto. Uh, okay, I'm glad you're all here, but Shoma too? What? Are you saying I can't help? Well... If you think that, you're mistaken. Huh? He has the most powerful weapon here. Robots! You mean the detonator. Oh shit, I guess you're right. But I I hope you're not gonna get into the crowd of all the people with the weapons. It has a fingerprint lock, so only I can use it. Cool. The detonator? For Yep, the thermite bomb. Mizuki, think about it. Do you think destroying the rocket will really stop the plan? I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Even if it's prevented from taking off, I'm sure Terra rigged it to explode. Which would still spread TC Purge. The wind would carry it. And ultimately, the damage would be the same. Hmm. There would just be fewer initial infections. So what's your plan? That's where the thermite comes in. Oh? 
A thermite reaction can create temperatures up to 3,000 degrees. Oh, true. Thus burning up the fucking uh, TC Purge. TC Purge would get burned up in something that hot. It's the only way to stop it from spreading. <laughs> Ryuki, why do you... Why do you look like that? Why you got the scary face on? Isn't the thermite bomb made of metal? How is it going to get past the wall? Don't worry. That reflecting wall must be controlled from the inside somehow. We just gotta get in and break whatever device controls it. Hell yeah! And that will stop it from working? Yes! Probably! Hopefully. Hopefully! I knew, I knew you would do this, so, uh, fuck off. <laughs> you guys are really stupid. I, I knew that you would, I knew that you would bring up the bombs. So I, I made a different bomb that would counteract your bomb. <laughs> you guys are so dumb. Also, I made like 50 videos. So like, I, you know, I just wanted to cover all my bases really. Um, actually. <laughs> it's really, he really made the video. It's like, there are 10 minutes left. You look so stupid right now. I'm dead. And you look so dumb. Okay. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right, Zero. <laughs> it's like not that funny. <laughs> Hi, Iba. I love Iva's little propeller. I'm home. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, Iva, what are you doing? Get over here, you're gonna get caught. <laughs> Nobody saw that, right? Nobody saw that. Thermal mode running on all cylinders. I can see it all. Indeed. So, why did you come back? <laughs> Date fell asleep. Date rejected me. Oh. What? I don't need you. What? R really? Go help Mizuki. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. We know what you're doing, Date. Oh. That guy. We're running out of time, everyone. I don't think any of you can see the enemies except Ryuki. But if you apply enough force, you can break the camouflage function. So I'm gonna lead the way. Follow your lead and beat up anyone we see, huh? Wallop them after you make them visible. But not you, Shoma. Huh? Huh? Why was that so, like, loud? Shoma, you need to stay back. If they get to you, we won't be able to use the thermites. Fine. Rain code moment? Why, does rain code have moments like that where the volume gets really loud? Okay. You all ready? Yeah. Let's go! I'll need your help. Constantly, it's the effort noises? Jesus. Okay. You got it. For the future of mankind. Yeah. Dude, this shit's so anime. <laughs> this shit's so fucking anime, dude. I love it. Yeah. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! You didn't see it, but I like literally like flexed. <laughs> They're just hanging back. Oh, there's Moma. Moma's chilling. Moma, Moma is just like, eh, I'm, I'm good. I, hey, listen, I already went through this. I already went through this. This ain't my game, so I'm, I'm chilling. I'm mad chilling right yeah. now. Let's go. Dude. 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 Dude.
dude, the fucking... The fucking army, like, run through. I love this fucking game. You know Uchi Koshi always wanted to make a, uh, a scene like this. You know they always wanted to do something like this. Holy shit. I need I be crimes will never be, never be forgiven. What the hell are you talking about, Ryuki? You know I've already forgiven you. Mr. Dante. Oh no. Th thank you. No, Ryuki, don't die on me. A hero of justice can't die. That has always been the rule. Dude, he's not dead. Ryuki, he's not dead, right? On. No way. Ryuki! Ryuki! This is the moment where Ryan pulled up the MS Paint. Dude! <laughs> Ryuki! Mizuki, we don't have time. Take care of Ryuki later. Damn! Oh, dude, it's the music. Oh, shit. I had to parse that for a second. It's the music! Aw. I haven't heard this one in a while. Five minutes. Hurry. Why does it seem like she's always getting further away? Nice. There we go. <laughs> it's a very Monty Python. Quiet! I know, I know. Mizuki, go on ahead. We'll handle things here. The blowjob brothers, dude. Huh? What are what they? The, what the hell? Right, let's go. What? Oh! Oh shit! Oh! Whoa! What? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, man. Dude! I'm... I'm scared? I'm scared? I was, I was about to say, the Nirvana Super Soldier? I wonder if this is any character we know. Oh. Nice. No, I think they just had at least one, at least one super soldier. They had at least one super soldier. <sighs> he died again. <laughs> uh, yeah, what was that guy's deal? Is that it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's too late. Oh, shit.
Dude, it, the plan is working? Holy fuck. Oh no. How? It's okay. We can still make it. Huh? Uh-oh. You're not gonna you're not gonna sacrifice yourself for the greater good, right, BB? What are you going to do? Do you even need to ask? BB, you're not gonna die for the sake of, of everyone, right? Dude, the Toria. <laughs> Holy shit! Come on. Uh-oh, you gotta jump. You gotta jump. Dude, the second, this is fucking awesome. All right, awesome. All right, good, good, good. We're all good. Got it. Oh my god, that was a fucking You know what that was? That was the uh the 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 Sonic Unleashed like uh, button mash moment. <laughs> Shoma, now! Detonate it! Fucking awesome! That was, oh my god, what a fucking finale! Yeah, the, the Sonic Forces button mash? Well, like, Sonic Unleashed was like, what was it? It felt ridiculous. It was, uh, it was like something like 50 button mashes to, uh, to get that last boss. Oh my god. Cool. Aww. You stupid. Oh, hi. Hi, Tokiko. Success. Why? What? Why did, why did that happen? Thanks, Mizuki. Same to you, Mizuki. Ah, <sighs> jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is so... <laughs> this is weird. Look at this, look at this running animation! <laughs> look at... <laughs> Ken's fucking running animation, dude! That is like maybe my my favorite part of that. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, what about Ryuki? He's totally fine, right? I bet he's totally fine. He's not dead. They would never make a new character just to kill him off. Cool. Well, I'm glad everything worked out. And we did it! We saved the city. Good job, you two. Now you get to click so much? Yay! Yay! How long has it been? A week now. I know. I'm still feeling all tingly about it, too. I love clicking! It'll wear off in six months or so. <laughs> okay, six months? Come on. Hold on, I have to take this. Um, God, that 
that ending was so insane. That ending was fucking crazy. What is the most impish out of all of this? Would you say graveyard? Graveyard or ruins? I'm gonna say graveyard. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go graveyard. God, God damn it. Um, okay. Real quick, I am gonna go to the bathroom and I'm actually gonna grab some, uh, some food really quick. Um, and then we're gonna get back to, um, to this, uh, the epilogue of this game. We've got so much clicking to do. I mean, I'm assuming we're going to be watching or like going to every location that we've been to just like in the last game. So we've got so much to do. <laughs> so I will be right back.
Hello. I'm back. What's good? Um, I got myself. Oh, wait, hold on. I almost forgot. I got a, I have a little leftover pizza. And uh, I I thought I had my, thought I had my pills here, um, but, I don't know, I thought I, oh, it's right here, okay, I gotta take my, my, uh, my cheese pills for, um, what I like to call having a fighting chance, um, but, you know, that's just, that's just how it is. On this bitch of an earth. Let's see, we're gonna take four of these motherfuckers so I don't, I don't shit my pants while I, uh, play the rest of this game. All right, hold on. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. The the cheese pills have been taken, so so I can uh, now continue the game without any fears, without any potential fears. So let's uh let's continue, shall we? Hold on, we got so many things to click on. It's an ab roller thingy. <laughs> At least that's what I thought it was. Turns out it's just a red lantern. If this world really was a simulation, maybe it's like a Matryoshka doll. True. You're right. Wait, hold on. I have to park auto. Someone created this world in a world created by someone else. You mean like that? Do you believe what Tokiko said? No. No. Just... <laughs> just, you know... She laid the seeds down. She laid the, she laid the, you know, um, is what it looks like, but it's actually a mysterious organism that flew down from outer space. They mainly eat insects to survive. I know the, the, the dead look in Mizuki's eye when, uh, when she said that. It's a chair. There are a bunch of bags on the grid shaped racks. Um, Date likes these. <laughs> I'm getting annoyed just thinking about it. It's a shelf. There's, uh, oh, D oh yeah, Date uh, is apparently a balloon enthusiast. Saw a bunch of them in his desk drawer. What? What? Huh? Oh, oh, wait. I, I just understood. Um, I just understood what they meant. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't question it. Oh, I don't need to question. It. I knew exactly what was what was meant. Uh, which is the largest known star? Eh, wrong. It's me. True. Cause I'm a huge star. That was a joke. The answer is under your feet. Because Earth is also a star. <laughs> okay, Mizuki. <laughs> There's a nonsensical poster on the wall. There are stars on the wall. Uh, there's an air conditioner. The double helix of DNA is torn apart. There's no way that was supposed to be a hint for the case or something. <laughs> no, I think you're you're thinking too much about it. There's actually a cricket inside that potted plant. Well, it was there. I haven't seen it lately. Oh, it's dead. It's dead now. Anyway, it is a shame. What? What? Yeah. About what? About what? Wait, what's wrong? Wait, what What do you mean? What do you mean it's a shame? What are you talking about? What's wrong? What? Should we open one in celebration? Yeah! Yay! Yay! Yeah. No fair. Oh. 
You can't drink. That's so funny. Wine bottles on display. Oh, we already knew that. Um, <laughs> there are files, documents, cassava farm pamphlets, those sorts of things. Okay. Mario, what do you got to say about this, bud? I hate how when I buy something online, I get web ads for it. So true. So true, bestie. Um, oh. The cabinet. Yeah, I'd say that's about my chest size. Okay. Not even close. You're just knocking yourself. <laughs> that's true. That is so true. Yes. I would say that is about my chest size. Okay, Iba. Here, Iba is bugging out. I am not. Shout out to Mario. <laughs> nice members, shady scientists, mafiosos. We really did bring in a huge haul. Good work, team. <laughs> so funny. We really did it. There's a big catch flag on the wall. Um, let's see. Happy the birthday. The Nirvana Initiative was scheduled to be on Tokiko's birthday. Seems so. Wait, really? I guess I didn't catch that part. Interesting. Huh. Um, okay, so bookshelf. I've always wondered this. Why is there a darts machine in here? Boss likes stabbing holes with pointy things. Do you want to go back in the cage? Uh, I'm sorry. Remember when Boss swatted you? That was in a different timeline. Ah, oh, it's fine. What's, you know, what's water under the bridge? It's fine. It didn't even happen. It didn't even happen in this timeline. It's fine. It's totally fine. Mm hmm. Wait, oh wait. I was about to say, where's the mouse? But that's not in this office. That's in that's in MoMA's office. Turn over the rug. There's some squid hidden under the rug. Oh. Computer, that reminds me of your collar. <laughs> yeah. I can kill a man with this edge. Okay. <laughs> what did they mean by this? <laughs> Ow the edge? Are you edgy? All right. Let's go to the mountains. Yay! Yeah. Let's go. Pewter, can you book some tickets to Nepal? What? Are you going to climb Everest? Oh, They sound legit like they wanted to do that. Like, actually. Skis. Hey, boss. Can I borrow this? No. If you use it, it'll come back flatter than a tortilla. That's true. Girls trip, girls trip. Having fun. Uh, stationary that bike. looks like a stationary bike, but it's actually a coffee grinder. I made it myself. These two are weird. <laughs> this is full of weirdos. Dude, I want to meet both of you. I want to meet more weirdos. I want to meet more weirdos. More, more, more. The model on this poster is kind of average, honestly. I'm cuter. I'm cuter. I'm cuter. I'm cuter. I'm cuter. I'm cuter. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> he is cuter. He is cuter. That's not true. Boss is the cutest one. Heh. <laughs> cuter. You ever leave any of your boyfriends looking like that? Absolutely not. I meant the facial expression. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Still absolutely not. 
Holy shit, man. What did she mean by that? Oh, I think she meant like gobs of cum. 18 plus stream, by the way. It's bad luck to throw out a Christmas tree early. Oh yeah? What happens? The ghost of Christmas past shows up and throws chestnuts at you. That's really? scary. <laughs> BB believes this. BB fucking believes that the entire way through. Nice, nice pin, perp. Good pin. Iba, what's your favorite shogi piece? Hmm, the jeweled general? Because it reminds you of jewel beetles? Because it reminds you of bejeweled? All right, let's all go to the beach. Beach episode! Yeah! yeah. It's winter. Oh, never mind. Beach episode! They can handle it. Beach! Let's go to the beach, I beach! I gloves. I can guess why. Wait, why? I Wait, really? Dude, a Tommy trip? Let's Public go. Public baths often have Mount Fuji painted on the walls. Mount Fuji is volcanic. Oh, Eruptions. I guess, yeah, because she's a gold. Mizuki, are you thinking something perverted right now? I literally didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, I love clicking on shit. There's a map on the wall. Um, let's see. G Grandpa? Please, rest in peace. <laughs> okay. Hey, Bibi, where did you get your mask? I found it in her closet. She used it without permission. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. I didn't, um, I didn't realize it's literally just boss's mask. That's really, really funny. I love you all. I hope our love continues to be long and intertwined like soba noodles. What is she going on about? She's passionate about food. Is she good? <laughs> she. The answer is yeah, she is good. That was kind of like, it just like dropped in. She just dropped that shit. Oh, a broken clock. Um, I think, I think that's everything. I think I've clicked on just about everything here. Oh Why wait, do we pumpkin. Call pumpkins Jack. Yeah, what if that's a bill? Dude, pumpkin bill? I'm down. I think Yeah, we've gotten everything. I'm pretty sure. Oh wait, hold on. Computer, you're going commando? I'm over here. What? What? That does they don't even look remotely the anyways. Which you want to be friend? Uh, jellyfish is impish. God damn it. Oh, this is a losing battle. This is a losing battle. We're, we're fucked. It's not, it's just not going to happen. I think we're not going to get that final, uh, eyeball -y. All right, let's uh, let's talk to some characters, shall we? I think I've clicked on literally everything. Okay. <laughs> um. Don't worry about me. We've talked a lot over the last week. We stayed up in bed for hours talking. Oh. I guess so. Uh, what about you, Pewter? About Tama. I wonder what she's doing about now. Well, I'll let it be. Huh? What? Ta Tama? Huh? Are we is she good? She's good, right? 
He's an AI ball, just like Iva and Tama. He's shy, so he doesn't talk much. He opens up to me sometimes. He's just introverted. Aw. I... I want to see Marco so bad. I want to see them. I want to say hi to Marco. Hi, <laughs> everybody. It's me, Marco. Did you enjoy the... Did you enjoy the show? It was really fun, right? Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it was pretty good. Yeah, thanks for playing I, the Somnia Files Nirvana Initiative. I hope, I hope you, I hope you have a good time. We'll see you in the third game. Okay, thank you, Marco. Thank you. Okay, bye. I love you. Oh, that. That's a you little parasocial, Marco. Recover the memory, but... The days I spent with Iva, we at least got that. That data has been re-uploaded and re-implemented. I now have memory of that time. Cool. Hi, Bosh. Let us know what's going on. Raise my pay! Why? Well... Why? Isn't it obvious we were able to solve the case because I worked really, really hard? Oh, patting yourself on the back, huh? So uncool. Uncool. <laughs> Not as uncool as your underwear. My underwear has nothing to do with it. And excuse you, my underwear is really cute. I want to see. Okay, Pewter, come on. <laughs> Oh, grow up. I didn't mean it like that. It's just for my future reference. I see. Okay. All right, Pewter. All right, man. Fair enough. Uh, about BB's adoption. Why were you hiding her? You could have just told me. In retrospect, yeah. But there was a reason I couldn't tell you. If I told you that, I would have to tell you everything. Not to mention, Mizuki is my secret weapon. She's like my personal ninja. But Ryuki knew about BB, right? Yeah. I didn't want him to find out, but... He saw us. Mama and I were shopping at the supermarket. Oh! I told you not to call me that. He's re he cares? really? I already know. Mama, huh? Are you jealous, Mizuki? N no. That's not it. Oh, oh, dude, that is actually kind of a really sad line. Oh, I do love that. The reason that Ryuki knows about about um, BB and, and boss is because they saw them at the supermarket. <laughs> like, literally, that's the only reason that is the in-universe explanation, which is really, really, really funny. I, I fucking love that. <laughs> That's super, super funny. All right, about Ryuki. He's gone. Don't let it Where? eat you forever. There was nothing you could he's just, do. He's just, an, he's just at a Tommy, right? I wanted to ask mean? about my pay. This again? But... Well, I do have to praise you for a job well done. So I have a special present for you both. Money? A present? Money? It was left at a special place. You should find it. A special place? Money? Your friends should know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're planning, but... I guess it's not a bad idea to see everyone again. Well then? Yeah, let's get going. Aw! Wait, are we playing as both of them now? It better be money. I would love some money. <laughs> One of your friends has your check in an envelope. <laughs> oh, it's actually less less places that uh that I thought we were going to do. Um all right, well, let's head over to Misaton then. Aw, I love seeing them ride together. <laughs> Go get paid. Shoma, um... It's okay. You don't have to beat around the bush. I thought long and hard about how to feel about my sister. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't sad. But I can't be down forever. 
Wow, he is, um, he's taking that pretty well. Damn. Oh, this poor kid. Like this, oh, I feel so bad. I can see the cityscape out the window. Um, hi, BB. 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 That's such a cute, cute name for a character. I know it's, um, I know it's a nickname, but BB is so fun. All right. Uh, have you heard from boss? Boss? No, I haven't. Hmm. Okay. Oh, really? Hmm. About Nirvana X, though. Oh, the number code? I know how to solve it. First, change the letters to numbers. A is one, B is two, C is three, and so on. Oh! I'm using that cipher. From there, solve it the same way as the BATS 490 code. Zigzag from the top left and go from top to bottom. Oh! oh. It's the same as before. Post and rain dig. Hora ints undig. <laughs> the puzzle of the pieces of paper in the balloons <laughs> was solved in a similar manner. Three, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Wait, can we hear? Th I just, I just. <laughs> Post and rain dig. And then just, I would just, like, just angrily. Hora ints undig. <laughs> One three so nine funny. seven one four five. What does that mean? The numbers start with thirty five and one thirty nine, right? Which means mm -hmm. they're probably coordinates in Tokyo. So in other words, north thirty five point six seven seven eight, east one thirty nine point seven one four five. Oh, those coordinates point to. God, he's so smart. Yeah. The stadium. The stadium. So the Nirvana X code is. On February 15th, 12 o'clock. Come to the stadium. That was the message. Yep, that's right. Wow. I, th that's the thing, I could have solved it, but I uh, am not smart. Um, oh well. Uh, the reason I couldn't solve the puzzle uh, a week ago is because my memory from six years ago, the piece of paper in the balloon was forgotten. Had I remembered, true. Start over. Yeah, okay. Uh, next. I'm sure you know already, but she's at the detention center. I've gone oh, to see her man. every day with Genny, but we can't oh. really talk much. She's always crying. Yeah. I but feel her so lawyer bad. said that due to the circumstances, her sentence might not be too long. The person that Amame killed was trying to brainwash all of mankind. Some people even think she's a hero. Free her! Free her! Hashtag free Amame. Hashtag free Amame. Oh, man. I think about it a lot. Six years ago, my dad took Jin's body from the amusement park. If only I had noticed back then, maybe none of this would have happened. Have you heard of the multiverse theory? There are multiple oh, dude, universes. Dude. So that means there's a universe that's just like ours. We get one last Uchikoshi moment. We get one Have last the Uchikoshi theory? Uchikoshi moment. Ah, oh, dude. I am so, I'm so, so, so happy. Literally one more for the road. Ah. Oh. But with a slightly different history. That's the idea. If that were true, maybe dad is out there somewhere in another universe. Man, that fucking hurts. Man, that fucking hurts. Holy fuck. 
Holy fuck. Ow, dude. Jesus. Dude, look at it. Look at that fucking... Look at all those goddamn X's in there. One, two, three, four. God damn. I love this fucking game. Yeah, that's what I think. Andy's Kumeji lives on happily somewhere. Yeah, I think you're right. Huh. Parallel worlds, yeah, exactly. Anyway, I'm going to continue to live my life with Big Sis. I'm going to work hard to become a robot developer. Cool! Aww. And I'll continue to support her until the day someone else who can comes along. I'm rooting for you. Good luck. God, these these kids are so they're so sweet. Like man. Oh, I'm really going to miss this series. All right, let's go to Brahmin. Brahmin time. This kid will be an AI9. Kenny, you opened back up, huh? Yeah, I can't let this affect me forever. Oh, poor Gen. All right, let's start clicking. Click, 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 click. Uh, click. So all sorts of posters. Uh, mostly alcoholic bevs. It's a counter. There's a liquor bottle. Uh. Wait, hold on. Oh, oh. That's the kitchen and no extra dialogue. The freezer door. That accursed door. Yeah, at least he could use his freezer again. He doesn't have to go all the way out to the uh, to the docks anymore. He could just he could just put whatever he wants in there uh, without any fear of uh you know like a dead body. A house plant. Uh, have you heard from Boss? Oh, uh, she had a message for you. Horizontal oh. is darkness multiplied by light. Dude, Kingdom I don't Hearts. understand it, but that's what she told me to tell you. Dude, Kingdom Hearts! No way! Horizontal is darkness multiplied by light, huh? I'll understand that in AI3. Um... How did, yeah, how did you end up at the stadium? After you took Amame, Shoma and I stayed with Ryuki at the house. The bomb squad came and started to inspect the thermite bomb. And that's when we got a call. Ryuki was told that the Nirvana initiative was going to take place at the stadium. From there, oh. he must have made a plan. In order to prevent the spread of TC Purge, we needed to burn it. So, we grabbed the thermite bomb, punched our way through the bomb squad, and headed to the stadium. Oh, okay, cool. All right, that that seems uh about right. Jenny, you knew that Mame killed Uru, didn't you? Are you going to arrest me for cooperating with a murderer? I can't. It's not a crime just to know. Unless you actively try to protect them. It's this, it's it's decidedly a really big crime. <laughs> Um, but that's fine. That's totally fine. In the end, I couldn't protect her. It's frustrating feeling so powerless. And I know not everyone would want to hear this, but I don't even think Amame should have been arrested. Her actions were totally justifiable. Yes. Her father was killed in such a brutal way. I agree. Not to mention Terror was planning a genocide. Yep, What's I agree. With I agree with you. Like that. Yep. I can't believe she's being punished for it. Yep. I will continue to wait for Amame until the day she sits in that seat and smiles at me. She would be sad if she came back and the place was all run down. So I'm going to work hard to keep this place running. Dude, Amame uh, sinker, I3, let's get it. 
Dude, let's just hire all of the new the new folks as sinkers. Let's 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 get them in. All right. Oh, we get to say hi to the uh, to the Sagons. Let's go say hi. Silly squad. Ah, oh, there it is! There it is! That's so funny. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, oh, that made me fucking. I just, I like literally popped off so fucking bad. I popped off. I like legit, like, had to like run around my. I had to run around my fucking apartment for that. Oh, my God, fuck. That's so fucking funny. I love this fucking game. I love this game. <laughs> I want to live here. No, I actually don't. Decidedly, actually, I don't want to oh, live here. Shoebox smells good. Meow. <laughs> smells like a puppy on a rainy day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> oh my god oh fuck holy shit dude i'm gonna throw up that was fucking awesome <laughs> oh oh the one-two punch of these of these fucking lines oh fuck <laughs> Oh, this is the best game ever. This is so... This is so good. Oh my... <laughs> oh, oh man. I, I like need to hear that again. Oh, this fucking game turns me into a fucking feral, feral puppy. Speaking of puppy... The shoebox smells good. Meow. I need, I like need, I need that meow. I, I need that meow so bad. <laughs> They're doing pet play? No, you can't, you can't call this pet play, man. It smells like a puppy on a rainy day. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait for, for to hear Greg Chun just say the words. Mm, I'm such a yawny little bunny. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna fucking cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh my god, fuck. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking cry. <sighs> Look at his face, dude. Look at his face. Oh. 
is my favorite character. I love him so much. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Fuck. Oh, we need to move on because I'm going to fucking cry. I'm going to fucking cry. Miss Sagan, may I pour tea on him, please? <laughs> she said it so politely. Yes, but wait until it cools down a bit first. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Fuck. This image is driving me insane. This is it? Not now! Not now! This one. Die. Oh. There, hold on. Can we at least, can we at least get one? Oh wait, no, that's actually what it, oh, I've gotten my impish and my crazy mixed up. Okay, hold on. I've I've gotten my my uh impish and my crazy mixed up once again. Oh, oh my god, man. Uh bitter. Fucking god fucking damn it. Mar, do you want some great news? Sure, I love news. How many legs do you like? Six. I'm crazy. <clears throat> oh my god. Mm. Okay. Uh, why was I born into this world? Shut up! <laughs> Fine. Um. Supercharger? There we go. Okay, we're good. When you beat the game, it deletes the timer permanently, so you can answer non-stop. <clears throat> Wait, what timer? What timer? What are you talking about? For questions. Wait, what? Between answering questions? Time? Are we talking about the eyeball -y? Oh, oh, that time! Oh, yeah, I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't. Um, I wasn't paying attention to that. It didn't even. I thought you were talking about like in between questions. I was like, wait, what? Um, or not? Sorry, not in between questions. Like, <clears throat> like literally the time it takes to press the button. Is what I meant. Um, anyways. I, I'm here to click on shit. Can you shut the fuck up and be nice to me? Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Thank you. No, because you didn't get me beef jerky. You messaged me when I was out of the store. I posted that picture after I left. Man, I'll just go to the fucking, I'll go to no frills. I'll just get you beef jerky there. I just, I'll just go to the fucking, I'll go to no frills. I'll buy you a fucking beef jerky if you want it so bad. I don't need to go to the to the jerky shack to fucking jerk off, okay? I'll just go I'll go to no frills. I'll go to fucking Metro No wait, we can't go to Metro right now. We'll go um Uh what's another Walmart. I'll go to Walmart. Did you guys see? I it literally it's called the jerky the jerky shack. Um anyways. Iris looks fucked up. <laughs> she looks fucked up because she's watching this happen right now. She looks fucked up. 
I don't fucking want Walmart jerky. It's literally the same thing. It's literally, it's, ex it's the exact same fuck. It's all Jack links. What do you mean you don't want Walmart? If I, if I bought you jerky and I, and I told you, and I told you that it was from Bass Pro Fishing and I bought it at Walmart, you would be none the wiser. You would literally be none the wiser. It would, it would make zero difference in the, in the, the fucking, in the, the span of it all. In the, uh, in, in the, the concept of, of beef jerky. It's all the same jerky. They're all jerky. What's this? I don't know. My sound system? Uh oh, don't say it. Yeah, a sound system. A sounding system. Meow. I... I, is he going to do this the entire time? <laughs> is he going to do this the entire fucking time? Oh, oh my God. How do they tolerate him? I truly don't have an answer for you. I love him. It is very difficult. <laughs> Oh my god. Hmm. Are there any bugs? <laughs> she wants bugs. You give her bugs now! Now! You give her bugs. Steam? Steam coming out of the tea. God, I like I like Hitomi because she loves tea. And I also like tea. It's that picture you drew when you were a kid. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> hey, what? Who's that guy on the right <laughs> in that picture? Who is that guy? <laughs> Those flowers bloomed this year too, huh? Huh? Yeah, they bloom during winter. They call it the miracle flower. Yeah, who is? Who is? Wait, who is that guy? Anyways, now nah, don't worry about it. I guess I'm sure it's fine and normal. I like Hitomi because she's kind of crazy, but nice. Is she crazy? I don't, I don't really, she doesn't, she doesn't like hit me as like a crazy person or like she doesn't, she doesn't like put her finger to her head and go like blah, 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 I crazy now. You know what I mean? She's insane. Is she? She is calm, but you know, she's a freak underneath. God. D dude, I've been waiting for this all fucking, f all fucking 15 weeks of this. I'm so happy we actually got it. Why, why is he here? <laughs> well, that he's been like this all week. <laughs> Look at his hand! <laughs> Look at his hand! <laughs> oh, oh my God, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to be the non-problematic Date. <laughs> I want to be the normal Date. I see. Oh, oh my god, fuck. I have a headache from laughing so hard. I legit gave myself a headache because I, I laughed way too hard. Yeah, how did you get to the stadium? How did you get there? At Matsushita Diner. Oh, okay. Out of nowhere, Ota rushed in and said, We're going to save humanity. Oh, you fucking loser. And well, I thought that sounded kind of fun. <laughs> She's so stupid. <laughs> She's so dumb. She's so stupid. I. She's great. She's great. But she's so dumb. She's so real. She's so me. She has not matured. Oh, absolutely. 
<laughs> She's, she is like, oh, we're gonna save humanity? Okay, la la, sounds fun. Eggplant, eggplant. Fun. <laughs> Have you heard from boss? Oh, um, yeah. Vertical is male multiplied by female. What? What did she mean by this? I don't know what that means, but that's what she said. Oh, okay. Vertical is male multiplied by female? Huh? Sounds meow and right erotic. Shut up, man. I just love that his face is, <laughs> is just constantly this. Is that the only thing you think about? Iris. You know Mizuki like wants to be like, what the fuck are you doing? But she's being, she respects Hitomi so much. She respects Hitomi so much that the only thing that she can conjure up is the fucking ellipses. That is the only thing that, that she can just say in this moment. Oh God. This, this might be my favorite room line of dialogue I've ever fucking seen in my entire life. Um, I'm trying to, what the fuck? Oh, it's the microwave. Why is there like, there's like a little like hitbox here. That's a, that's a little weird. I know we should make Date eat poisonous mushrooms. Yes. Sorry, we don't have any in the fridge. Oh, okay. Aw, oh, darn. Why was she so casual about that? <laughs> she was just so casual. I was like, oh yeah, sorry. We don't, we don't um, have that one. Anyways. <laughs> oh my God. Hmm? What is it? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Hitomi is Iris's mother, as well as Mizuki's elementary school teacher. And Date is Mizuki's adoptive father. Hitomi and Date are hitting on each other right now in front of Mizuki. How to describe wh what she's going through, or <laughs> how to describe what she's going through? Disgusting? Unbearable? Nothing she can do, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh man. There's a cushion. Meow. <laughs> yeah, is this how they flirt? Damn. Damn. And that's that's how it is. <laughs> I need to I I got a lot to learn. Hmm. Don't state the obvious. <gasps> a cushion. Oh, oh man. Oh man. That one, that one was e bad even for you, Date. That was bad even for you. Dude, shut up. <laughs> that, and that's the Mizuki we know and love. <laughs> Dude, shut up. Um, okay. I think we've gotten just about everything. Um. Yep. <laughs> hey, BB, you seeing this shit? Oh boy. Did you get the fan? I did get the fan, yes. Um there was no dialogue for that one. Um Um about Ryuki. Please don't talk about him. Damn. Why? Cause he's like he's just he's just on vacation or what? Please. Damn. Um, Date. Meow. 
I'm full. Meow, meow. I'm not full. I'm hungry. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, I'm full. I have a permission to shoot. Granted. Even BB is like, what? What the fuck? Huh? Date. If that were the case, I wouldn't be here, meow. <laughs> he's, he's, he's using meow as a suffix, dude. <laughs> they're using, they're using meow as a suffix. Oh my god, that's so fucking funny. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, this. This one might be the funniest character in all of in all of video games. He he might just be the funniest motherfucker ever invented. You know the Nirvana trial code? <laughs> Wait. Is is this what is this a is this a a moment? Is this a momo? Everyone who solved it is being quarantined right now. Oh, okay. No, never mind. We're good. A vaccine has been developed. Quarantining procedures should adequately solve the problem. Oh, see, it's, I told, it was that easy. It's that easy. We got, we got the, we got the vaccine. It's totally fine now. Any damaged neurons in the brain should be repairable with nanomachines. Aha, see? Nanomachines. Hello, Plus Mecha. What's up? However, such a treatment is not simple or easy. Oh, true. If the rocket had launched, the country's health infrastructure would have collapsed and caused complete chaos. Anyway, it's one big happy ending. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing his mouth morph into the kitty cat smile is is fucking insane. It is it, it, it might be the most insane thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I, I, I'm, I'm witnessing real cat boyification in real time. And I love it. Wait, I want, can I, wait, I just realized I'm going to match Date. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, dude. Let's go. Meow, meow. I think we're interrupting something here. You're not interrupting anything. Oh man, that line reading, dude. <laughs> Help me. Help me. <laughs> you know, you know in her head she's just going, "Help! Help me." <laughs> <laughs> Iris, blink once if you need help. Blink twice if you need more help. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Fuck. That's so funny. Uh, <laughs> uh. Let's go, BB. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Take me with you. <laughs> Take me with you. I don't want to be here. <laughs> oh my god, man. And thus, thus ends one of the best fucking scenes I've ever seen in my life. Thank you, Combotron, for the raid. Hello. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, uh, I hope you had a wonderful stream. Uh, we are in deep I, the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative ending spoilers. So, if you don't want to get spoiled on the ending of this game, 
then then you might wanna you might wanna walk away. Just walk away. There's so much danger in here. Walk away. Um, but seriously though, thank you very, very much, uh, Combotron, for the for the raid. I really appreciate that, man. <laughs> I hope Iris has amazing soundproof headphones. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, I think I know who we're gonna say hi to. Yeah! Oh, Mizuki. Quartz. How are you? Can you not call me that? Oh. Ah, oh, come on. You used to like that name. I think it's a cool name personally, too, so... <laughs> Um, okay. Let's start clicking. Let's start clicking. Big, big sis. Do you remember pushing me in that pond? Huh? Of course. When you're feeling down, you should clean your heart. Do you remember your wise words? Mm-hmm. It takes me back. Uh, cool. A pond with a huge fountain. It's Kizzy and BB's pond. Ah. I love that that um Mizuki is like that's their pond. That's that's their pond. <laughs> just like just like giving that to them. Very cute. <clears throat> um <laughs> Clean Your Heart shoves you in the pond. There will be a cutscene of Kingdom Hearts, uh them doing that. I, I'm calling it now. It's a fountain. Um, let's see. Hi, BB. Machine room, concrete bench. Uh, I think that is, yeah, that's all the clickables. There's not much in terms of, of clickables around this area, so that's not too bad. Well, you know, like I said, we take what we can get. Um, oh, sorry. Hold on. Okay, what is the crazy... This has got to be the crazy one, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, what was, what was BB's job? I only stole from people who made dirty money. Or else Quartz wouldn't approve. Huh? And Quartz would donate her share to orphanages all over the country. Oh, so they were like... They were like a, a Robin Hood situation. Cool. So you were like bandits of justice. How amazing. Yeah. That might be overstating it. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> uh, how did you end up at the stadium? Ugh. That. I contacted Leon. I thought he could help. And Kizuno was listening in on the conversation. So. And she had a big fucking gun. Dude, I'm like thinking back on that moment. And I love that MoMA just sat there and was like. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just let it happen. He didn't do jack shit in that entire fucking finale, which is awesome. Yes, I asked if there was any way I could help. Um, if you want help with the eyeballies I can provide, I spent ages logging those questions and answers. Oh, uh, okay. We will put an end to Tara's plan. I kind of like that I'm guessing it, so it's fine. I could not simply stay put there. I'll let you know if I need help. Considering the circumstances, it makes sense that Leon wouldn't decline. Thwarting Terror's plan. I am sure he wanted Kizuna present to witness his heroism. I started to think of a plan. I wanted to take Kizzy there, but she had to be safe, no matter what. And that's when I remembered the armored vehicle. I knew it was at the Kumakuras. Oh, yeah, I guess they just have that, huh? So I called MoMA and asked if I could borrow it. MoMA said, Sounds, Sounds like, like fun. fun. How about I tag, I tag along? along. <laughs> oh, man, like gathering party members for an RPG. 
And as for who's driving, I know a guy. So you contacted Ota. Huh. That explains Ota. I see. <laughs> what? You literally have... You're like the head of a fucking... Like... Uh... Yasuka gang. You could have chosen literally everyone from that gang. And you chose Ota? All right, man. Yeah, man. Sure, dude. Oh, boy. Huh? Why do you ask? I'm just curious. Late that night, I went to the basement of Horadori Institute. With Quartz. He's a meat shield. Damn. But there was nothing there. It was just an empty space. The slicer was hidden under the floor, and there was no door going to Ulu's room. There might have been a way in, but we didn't have time to look. Is Matsushita Diner a laundering front? Wow! <laughs> that's a that's a very, very interesting theory, actually. I actually don't mind that. I, d I don't mind that particular take. Um, that's cool. Yeah. Right after we got down there, we heard footsteps. We ran out of Horidori Institute after getting up the stairs. Huh. All right. Well, Kizzy. <laughs> we're we're just gonna we're just gonna you know address it, right? That's got to be the last one. That's my that's my reward to myself. What happened to running away together? We canceled. Wow, you guys are canceled. Wow. What did you guys say? Oh my god. Crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> They're problematic. Why? My father accepted our relationship. Ah, cool. How did that get there? Seriously? You know how the press began to report on our deeds at the stadium? We agreed to some interviews. And that's where we just came out and said it. Kizzy and I are together. And so, my father can no longer deny our relationship. The two of them were partially responsible for saving humanity. That's true. They canceled her dad. Oh, that's true. He does deserve canceling. There's no way he could force them to break up now. I'm happy for you. Congrats, you two. Yeah, thanks to you both. I am very grateful. Aww. Um, have you heard from boss? Yes, I did hear something. What? What? How many messages did you give to, to, or I guess, well, because we're doing the, the scavenger hunt. Okay. I, I guess I just realized. She wanted me to tell you. Light is 25.5. Okay, hold on. I'm going to write that down. This will, trust me, trust me, bro. This will become relevant. This will be plot relevant. Trust me, bro. Hmm. Well, we need to get going now. Okay. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye, little big sis and big big sis. <laughs> there's, there's, Kizuna, there's gotta be a better way. There's gotta be a better way to say all that. You're gonna stick with that, huh? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, what I was shooting at the stadium? It was loaded with rubber bullets. Oh. I could never intentionally kill someone. I do love how she just said, Come and get it, motherfuckers! You're so nice, Kizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I do... Okay. Man. I do love... I do love these two. Fuck, man. I really fell for it. I really fell for it. Fuck me, man. I'm a fucking... 
I'm a I'm an idiot. I'm a sucker. Such a I'm, dude. I got fucking like, what's the word? Uh, I got egg on my face. They are cute. Like, come on. Ah, <sighs> all right. Next up, who are we saying hi to next? Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Oh no. Oh man. Kagami! Oh my god! Oh my god! But the beacon of light! Oh my god! How do I how do I crop him out? I finally have an Oric Calcum trident! Shut up. Who cares? For your business. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, Mizuki is just the owner of this. Oh god. There's two two characters that I hate in the same place. Oh god, no. Oh, right. You own this place. Thanks, chump. Ha <laughs> ha Wait, that's actually really good. <laughs> Dude. <sighs> Don't you do like a friend discount? Nope. Not for you. Matter of fact, we jack up the prices specifically for Ota. <laughs> nope. Nope. That's not fair, Mizuki. I always give you free food at the Matsushita Diner, don't I? Yeah, free pickles. Wow. Stingy motherfucker. Cheapskate. Yup. The Maid Cafe Sunfish Pocket was originally run by Mizuki's adoptive father, Renju Orkiura. Uh, due to certain events six years ago, certain events, Mizuki has taken over. Why are we just talking about this now? We already knew this. Oh man, all right, we got a lot to click on, don't we? All right, well. Ota, can you get in there? Please, please get in there. Why? Let me roll you around down a hill. A very steep hill called a cliff. I'm going to stab you with the trident. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was so, that was so direct. I like Mizuki is so subtle. Like, can you get in the barrel? Oh man, I love BB so much. I'm gonna stab you with the trident. You sound like you would actually do it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh wait, is uh, is Gordon back there? What is this? Sea food. Oh, that's when you get one of the mermaids. And she chews oysters with her mouth open for you. Uh, what the fuck? Mizuki, you should rethink being an owner. Uh, yeah, that's... I don't... Um, yeah, I don't know if I particularly approve of that one, Mizuki. With that being said... Oh. Aw. I don't think we're gonna get our our uh, our Gordon Ramsay uh, cameo. Oh, that looks like a flotation device, but it's actually a. It's a flotation device. <laughs> Didn't even give him any room to talk. Holy shit! What? It's a lifesaver. I'm the owner. I know what it is. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Literally gave him no room. Like not a not a single single fucking joke for Ota. Good. Um oh there it is, kitchen window. Oh. <laughs> okay. Someone is yelling in the kitchen. Um 
All right, let's see. I need to change that soon. We've been using the same picture for a while to cut costs. Oh, wait, really? That's actually kind of funny. Just using the same damn picture for God knows how long. Uh, let's see. Wooden oh, box. I want to stuff Date in a wooden box and light it on fire. Oh. What prompted this? <laughs> Literally nothing. She just she just thinks about this like 24-7. She murders Date in her mind at least 20, 20 times a day. <laughs> She's doing image training. Oh man. Oh, if only that jellyfish was Tessa. What? What are you even picturing right now? Bro, are you good? Like, bro, are, this guy is not even here. Like, like, look at him. Look at him. He's, wh what is he cooking? Well, I guess nothing. Even though he is a cook, he's a cook. He is a cook, technically. Oh, oh, Kinesa. Uh, oh, the cash register. Wow, I, I'm surprised that you can click on that for no reason. All right, well, let's get the, uh, let's get the bullshit out of the way. Taxi driver. Hmm, you don't recognize moi? Ugh, I hate him. I recognize you very well. Why? You're the lady from Lemniscate. Me? <laughs> I am but a humble taxi driver. Ugh. I visit there often to escort the talent. Yeah, why are you here? I am a customer. Oh, uh, well, yeah, you know what? That's kind of a dumb question, I guess. The old hag at Matsushita Diner told me about this place. Oh my god, you're still ragging on Ota's mom? Like, come on, man. Holy shit. He's such a dickhead. Ugh. Man, I hate this guy so much. Hey, that's my mom. There he is. Mayumi. Oh, you're the only good thing about Ota. Oh, is that right? Mm, the old hag recently concluded a job interview here. Stop calling her an old hag. Hold up. Job interview? Indeed. As a mermaid? Hey, hey yo. Hey, hey yo. That would be the case. Hey, yo! Huh. Mom. <laughs> he is rethinking. This is the shakeup we need. Get fucked, Ota. Oh, that perky mermaid tushy. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. Shh. Oh my god! He's so gross! Oh my god! Ew, bro! Can we kill him? It's chaos in here! <laughs> Dude, Iba. I love Iba so much. I love Iba! Oh my god. <laughs> this place fucking sucks! I think Mizuki should close this place down. Oh, but how can I say no to my best friend? Um. Wow, you surprised me. Mizuki, what are you doing here? I own the place. Really? <laughs> really? What are you doing here? Well, uh, um. Oh, that's cool. I just realized the inspector has previously met both of them in, in both playthroughs. That's kind of fun. I wanted to investigate the day-to-day -day lives of young women. Oh, okay, man. No, that is like not the... No, you can't just be saying that, to be honest with you. As an inspector? I need to know what's in. It's an important part of being an inspector. I feel like I said this before. Oh, man. 
I'm gonna miss this game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss it. Oh, you don't have to say it. His name is Sutsugumushi. No! <laughs> no! Yeah! We did it! <laughs> cool! Oh, man. I love, I love that we got a, an achievement for that. Cool! Wait, what does it say? All's right with the world? Um, here, let's see. Informant, persons. Collect all persons files. We got that one. There it is. Chat with the inspector during Ryuki chapter 0, 4, and 5, and Mizuki chapter 0, 2, 4, and egg, an epilogue. I almost said egg, egg epilogue. Like an egg. Hey, stop it. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop it. It's rude to ask someone their name so many times. No, it's not. Not, not for you. Encantado de conocerte. <laughs> he just bust this out? <laughs> he just bust this out? Damn! I didn't know you knew uh I didn't know you knew multiple languages, Inspector. Holy shit. Me llamo Kagami. <laughs> awesome! Holy shit! Awesome! Me gustan las tetas grandes. Wow, it's Spanish. I want to say multiple languages. Anyways. I know his name already. I don't think I need to ask again. I know his name already. I probably don't need to ask. His name was stolen by a wicked witch. I'll ask him again. His name was... I recall it was six letters. It began with Ka. Six letters... Ka. I know. Your name is... Oh, oh man. I'm so scared. It's gonna... Are they gonna get it? Kaniza! Yeah! That's enough. Have mercy. <laughs> oh, man. Nothing. All right, there we go. And we're back. And we're back. Wow, that's the last thing we get to we get to say to Kaniza. That's the last thing. Oh, I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna miss him so much. Dude, all these characters make me so fucking happy. Except for you, you piece of shit. Um about that armored vehicle. It's a long story, so I'll cut right to it. So there we were. The five of us in the truck heading to the stadium. Oh god. <laughs> Reminding me that he wanted to be a, a novel writer. Ugh. Ota, Iris, Kizzy, Moma, and Leon, right? And we saw those three being held up by the riot police. Or I guess those four. Ryuki, Geni, Shoma, and Roboji. They said they were headed to the stadium too. So we let them hop in the back. Then we drove right through the barricade and saved the day. Okay. Um, about Mame. This might make you kind of angry, but I think Mame is a hero. No, why would that make us angry? We are like, we're all in agreement. She is a hero. Think about it. Uru, the culprit of the HB case, brutally killed three people. No, like you're this is it's it's a good take, but it's cold. This is not a hot take. Not to mention he tried to brainwash all of mankind. And Ma may punish that evildoer. I can't condemn her for that. What is it, Mizuki? Well, I don't mean to defend what Uru did, but he was held captive underground since the age of six. 
They took half his organs from him, forcibly. When you take that into account... True. Perhaps Chikara was the worst person. That is true! Here's the way I see it. Evil is created from a greater evil. Mm-hmm. Ah. It is our mission to destroy the root of all evil. Doesn't look like our mission's gonna end anytime soon. That is... That is just life, isn't it? Oh, that is just life. Makes me tired the more I think about it, so I think I'm just not gonna think about it. Yeah, she gave me a message for you. Oh? Female is 6.607. Um, I'm gonna remember that. Female is 6.607. What were- I should've- I probably should've written down the other fucking two things. What, what was it? Like... Does anyone- <laughs> Does anyone remember the other two? Cause I don't- I don't remember it off the top of my head. I'm fucked. Horizontal is dark times light. And then... I wasn't thinking! We're in the epilogue! And then something about... Uh... Male-female... Thing... Um... Does the log have it? Nope. It doesn't. Yeah, it, seeing Dante go nya made me, uh, go fucking insane, so... I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but there it is. What could that mean? I'm not gonna help you cheat. It, I, it was literally said out loud. What do you mean cheat? All right, well, I'll just guess it. For now. We got the info, so let's go somewhere else. Yeah, good idea. All right. Oh God, we gotta go to the Kumakuras, huh? Oh, God. All right. Here we go. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's here. Wait. Actually, it's a good thing. It's a good thing we're here. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's you guys. Oh, oh God. Moma. <laughs> why, why do you have that on? <laughs> Momo, why do you have that on? Did anyone actually remember it? I, I, I am legit asking if anyone remembered it. What's up with your voice? Oh, God. It's a Vochlojo. Vochocho? Oh, yeah, I guess Mizuki didn't, didn't, wasn't actually the one who saw that. Um, oh, well. It stands for Voice Changing Lock Choker. I borrowed it from MoMA six years ago, but I don't use it anymore, so I returned it. Awful honorable of you. Never thought I'd get it back. Oh, God. Uh, all right, well, let's get to work. Oh, wait, hold on. Tiger rug. No, I'm not stiff right now. <laughs> Do, re, mi. So fa. So fa. Yay! We get it. We get it. We got the we got the sofa in. God, how many takes of the sofa bit did they do? Moma, you have such big lanterns. I'm so happy she's here. I'm so happy. Moma is keeping quiet. <laughs> I'm surprised that he didn't respond to that. Shinpei decided to chime in. Do you like my lanterns too? Oh, you've got big lanterns yourself. <laughs> I do. Hey, <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh my god, man. Hey, <laughs> I, I do. <laughs> oh, you 
you boys are Lynn turning me on. Gosh, she's so... Oh, man. What? 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 <laughs> oh my god, man. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I fucking love this game so much. Oh. There's a piece of paper with some general principles written on it. It says, Thank you for reading all this flavor text. Aww. Aww. <laughs> That's cute. I I love that. I genuinely love that so much. Next month's plans are laid out on a whiteboard. 20th, flower viewing. Aw, cute. There's a partition. We got the desk, uh, locker, chair, door. Uh, there's a lanterns. Uh, oh, wait. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. Yes! Yes! We got it. Squeak, squeak. Keyboard for the PC. There's a chairman desk. We got the. Supposedly, six years ago, someone hacked that. So they upped the security. Who could have hacked it? Uh, no one knows. There's no, there's literally no way to find out. Hi, BB. BB. BB moment. How's your kid? Thankfully, my kid's doing good. My marriage was annulled and I don't have custody. Oh. But every birthday, I get a few pictures sent to me. Nowadays, seeing those pictures is what keeps me working hard every day. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't make me cry, idiot. <laughs> Mizuki got nothing to say. What what about the other guy? Where's that guy? Oh, you talking about Dokta? He contracted DC Perch. Yeah. He's being quarantined in the hospital right now. I'm sure it'll be fine. I hear they were able to get rid of the virus, but it's going to be some time until he gets his head back in line. Uh, and did you go back to the gang? Yeah, six years ago. I shot my gun at Sunfish Pocket. I was in prison for a little bit, but I served my sentence. Now I'm out. What about your directing job? I can't go back to that. It's not easy for a convicted felon to get a job. <laughs> Dude... Kyle Hayward's line readings in this, I, I don't know what's with it, but it's it it's making me laugh so, so much. It's, it's probably just cause like I don't I don't hear Kyle Habert do a lot of like New York accents, so it's kind of really funny to me. It's not easy for a convicted felon to get a job. <laughs> it's not easy for a convicted felon to get a job. I don't I don't know why that line reading's so funny. So I came back here and begged for another shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, hi, Ritzka. Hey. Oh my God, bestie. Bestie. Uh oh. <laughs> what are you doing here? I was checking some job hunting websites and I saw this place. Oh man. So now I work here Fridays. Oh, I guess I, I just realized, I guess it's a Friday, huh? Oh, <laughs> don't worry. I'm still working at Lemnus Gate, but they won't make me full time ever. <laughs> Saying this directly to Mizuki's face. It's really funny. Isn't that right, Miss President? Yup, yup. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't handle the personnel stuff. That's so funny. What's your job here? Um, making tea, answering the phone, slicking up the gats. Oh, oh man. So old school. 
Did I hear something about oil and guns? She's also in charge of puff puffing. What? 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 What is that? Uh, uh oh, don't say it. Don't say it. A reception is. Oh wait, they actually didn't say it. Huh. Well, all I'm saying is that it should have been me. Um, can I have that ring? What? Why would I do that? Just look at BB. Her outfit is in shambles. <laughs> Completely tripless. It just looks so bad. <laughs> that is, that is the most exacerbated I've ever heard Mizuki. I've ever, ever heard her. Just look at BB. Her outfit is in shambles. <laughs> I want to buy her new clothes, please. Leave me alone. I like my clothes. You don't even have shoes on, BB. You're, you got nothing. Dripless. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> is MOBA okay? Are you good, bro? What is this? That made me cry. Beautiful sisterly love. Hey, you guys are all right. Take that ball the dragon is holding. It's solid gold. Uh, I can't take that. Oh. Don't worry about it. Quartz made me a hell of a lot of cash back in the day. Oh, yeah, I... Huh. Hmm. Stop calling me that. What? What's happening? Oh. Hey, Mizuki. Did you just take the ball? Uh, oh. <laughs> Wait, Mizuki, wh why? <laughs> You're a president! You're a CEO of, of a company! I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, Mizuki. You're already so rich. Oh, man. I, I, I don't even think... Yeah, I think it's, like, gone. Like, it's literally not on the dragon anymore. It's really funny. Um... Anyways, why do you, why the fuck do you have that fucking thing on you? Eh, no reason. Just fucking around with it. I guess so, huh? He was saying, Mama, I love you. Marry me. Gag. <laughs> oh, God. Jinpei, get your knife ready. You're cutting off your finger. N no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Baby would. He said it like a oh, fucking baby would. No. <laughs> no. Oh my god. I actually, I actually need to um take an Advil because my head fucking hurts from laughing so hard. It's I'm actually fucked up. This, this game has given me psychic damage. <laughs> no. Yeah, that boss lady sent word. She told me you two'd be coming. Oh, wait, hold she on. She said to tell you this. Darkness is 5.479. Oh, God. Okay. Hold on. Darkness is 5.479. Got it. All right. No idea what it means. Why? I just realized it's like the second half. So the second half of this of this game, I feel like Mo. Did they just like stop using Moma's VA? Like what? What happened? I, I guess okay. Hold on. Let me let me keep going through on on this one. I suppose. Hold on. He's had lines. I mean, I know he's had lines, but it feels like it feels like they. Uh, I don't know. They just stopped using. It. Like he didn't talk at all during the um, during the ep or not the epilogue. The um, the uh, the big fight. Ritsu, it's time for the puff puff. Roger that. The uh. usual. 
Ritsu is probably the receptionist. Her name is Ritsuko. Okay. He did to Kizzy when she had the gun? Oh, I guess I just missed that. There was so much happening in that cutscene. There was, there was just so much happening in that cutscene. I just never noticed, I suppose. I was, I was too enamored. Uh, I was too enamored with, uh, with like just everything that was going on. <laughs> it was, it was, I felt like I was, I was like hypnotized. I was in a fucking spell. Please no. <laughs> P please no. All right, Nomai. Can you close your eyes for me? <laughs> Got it. Like this? What? What are, what are we fucking doing? Now, hold still. Okay. R Ritsu, come on. hi -ya! Oh. What the fuck? Noma, are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Uh, huh? Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God, man. This game is the most insane game I've ever fucking seen in my entire life. Same fucking gag, huh? Smooth sensation. Oh, Lord. I'm addicted to this feeling. The voice is the only thing salvaging this from being the most perverted thing I have ever seen. <laughs> oh, oh, Iba. No, I think the voice makes it worse. Let's go, BB. I think, yeah, I think we're done here. Please, let's. Let's, let's, let's go. We gotta go. Wow. I, hey man, I gotta, I gotta go. All right, later. <laughs> the voice thing is making it worse. I, I don't know, man. Oh my God, it's him! Oh. So you two are sisters, huh? Yeah. It makes sense and all, but boy, is it ever surprising. The only people who know about the cloning are members of Abyss. To others, Mizuki Kuranushi and Mizuki Date are just sisters. Cool. I don't know why we had to point that one out, but okay. I've got a silkworm video. Wanna watch it? <laughs> and and here comes a uh, a certified Iba moment. They're so cute. Yes. Yes. I'm busy right now. Maybe some other time. Uh, <laughs> Come on, let Iva, let Iva have some fun. Come on. Nope. Okay, we need something impish. What ocean current do you like? Uh, I don't know which one is impish. So, uh, I'm gonna say Gulf Stream. Golf stream. Ah, damn it! I made it. I made it crazy. Oh well. Uh, the, oh. the eyelids of a girl with sexy eyes. Huh. Huh. Uh, there's some books. That's a suspicious book. The spine says a solemn silence and beauty undone to time's se seance. Uh, that's a beer tap. Oh, wait. It's the last time we get to count all the bottles. There are bottle, bottles lined up on the counter. Let's count how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did you count the number of bottles? Did you get the right, right answer? There's also gin. I don't get that one. I think those are alcohols. It, uh, well, I know gin is, but I don't know what rye is. Anyways. That one's kind of a miss, fellas. 
Get them next time. You heat up some anchovies and garlic and some olive oil, and... That's Banyakoda, not Bar Counter. Ah, that takes me back. Huh. Also, uh... Iba must be so happy to be able to talk to, like, two people at the same time, not just, like, one. <laughs> Not just one person. That's got to be fun, right? Two of them. Just like how there's two of us. Oh! I get it. How did she know? There's a menu of recommended dishes on the blackboard. Oh, that's it. Okay. Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. We did it! The mention, we did it! <gasps> no way! <laughs> cool! They're making a movie? Dude, I'm watching that movie. I'm watching that movie. Wow, they actually said it with their mouths. Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, next movie night? Dude, let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Uh, let's see. Abel? I'm a little sad we don't get to go to Lemniscate. Um, considering, uh, Iba's, uh, what's the word? Um sort of affection for bugs, so we don't get to see uh, a last little bug thing. Uh, and then that's it. That's, that's all of our clickables for now. Let's, uh, let's go talk to Mamoru. Your? Mamoru. Why, who are you guys? What? Another, another Kyle Habert role. You know me? Weren't you Tokiko's secretary and bodyguard? Oh, we got, uh, we got some more, um, some more Chivos for that one. The more, uh, the information Ryuki got in his investigation has already been transmitted. Uh, we know about Mamoru, uh, what he was doing and yeah, where. Yeah, was. And then this happened and I got fired. Oh. Poor guy. The Subversive Activities Prevention Act shut my down for good. Subversive Activities Prevention? Which gives me more time for day drinking. Oh, man. Poor, poor fucking guy. I, like, genuinely feel bad for him. That's two jobs! That is two jobs! That Mamoru has been fired from. Oh, man. Shut up. You don't get to say if I'm drunk enough or not. <laughs> I'm a heavyweight. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're a lightweight emotionally. What? What did you say? Hey, Mamoru, honey. Maybe you're right. My heart can't take. I drink so I don't have to face reality sober. <gasps> Holy shit, dude. Oh man. We got we gotta get this guy some therapy. Holy fuck, man. Jesus Christ! I saw the president's body. That image is burned into my mind. I can't unsee it. Oh my god! We seriously need I I don't think you should be in this line of work, dude. I, I, we gotta get you into, like, something else. Holy fuck. How pathetic is that? It's okay, Mamoru. Everyone has a weakness. I think humans are one of the weakest animals. We aren't covered in thick fur. We don't have hides. We can't take heat. We can't take cold. Even the littlest tree branch can scratch us and make us bleed. Really, we're the only animals like that. How did we even make it this far as a species? I think it's because we're weak. Our weakness forced us to work together. We made tools, hunted, and fought in packs. 
That's how we survived. This is this is so wonderfully sweet. I I think I think Mizuki picked up on how much this affected Mamoru. Cause like for all intents and purposes, like Mamoru truly loved his job. He truly enjoyed being with Tokiko. So like um I think when he saw that he was like super super fucking shaken up. Um and then and then on top of that got fucking fired from the from the job. Um so I yeah, for sure. Mamoru likes protecting people. For sure. He's a he's a good person. He's a good He's a good person. He's a good character. Um and really just another another individual in this in this fucking world that got the the shit end of the stick. Um I feel I feel very 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 bad for for Mamoru, but Mizuki picked up on that. And uh and man, she's got she got some fucking great words. That's really 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 good. If humans were strong independently, things would have been different. We might not have made it. We could have gone extinct like Neanderthals. So you're saying our weakness is central to who we are? Our weaknesses mean that we have to support each other and put aside our differences. Yeah. That's why I'll never tolerate people who oppress others. Humanity is rooted in weakness. To deny that is like denying humanity as a whole. But the sad thing is, there are so many people who do. And it ends up hurting others. LGBTQ plus people, people with disabilities, people persecuted because of their race or religion. If I had wings, I'd fly around the whole world, give all those people a hug and tell them it's gonna be okay. I, I love this. I fucking love Mizuki, dude. She's so cool. And then grab my iron pipe and beat the crap out of those bastards who tormented them. Yeah, this is very, very, uh, very low key and Uchikoshi moment. Like in, in a way that I'm, I can tell this is Uchikoshi talking through a character. I can, I can very, very, very much tell. It's really, really good. I'll defend and protect minorities everywhere. I'm not gonna let any kind of backwards thinking, macho, prejudicial bullshit slide. I love it. Let me give you eight million yen. Oh. <laughs> okay, mama. Me, and for me? And for me too? <laughs> the ally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Memoru. Mama, more and more boobs. More, more boobs. No, I meant to say more boobs. He seems to be getting extremely emotional. More, more boobs. Not that you could tell by the way he looks. That was that was a great, great line of dialogue. I, I love that. I fucking love that. All right, it's mama time. I want a drink. Oh wait, hold on. A can of Alfrey, not even poured into a glass. Just the clap, just the the can with no glass, mama. Bit lazy. You're already drinking a cream soda. Oh, that's true. Oh my God, it. We literally are just drinking a cream soda. No, not this drink. No alcohol for you. You're only 18. I'm good then, right? I'm 24. Nope. I know you came here on your motorbike. <laughs> Have some Alfrey instead. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, any information? Uh, I'd love to hear some info. You solved the case already, but you're still hungry for more, hmm? Well, I do have some very valuable information. Six years ago, on February 15th, Uru contacted Sojima, oh. the former politician. Right. Why do you suppose he did that? Hmm? Because so was his father. Wait, what? 
Huh? Huh? Wait, what? 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 An illegitimate love child. Another what? Well, not. Well, I. What? <laughs> she took the baby to Iowa and committed suicide. What the fuck? Why? Dude! <laughs> What the fuck? The, this guy fucking sucks. Oh my god, man. Uru is a year younger than Saito, by the way. So, so was fucking women three months after Saito was born. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All of I, the Somnium Files continuity occurred because so can't stop breeding. Oh my fucking god. We gotta stop this guy. Literally cut this man's dick off. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, man. Oh. <laughs> oh! Well, it's just a rumor. There's no proof. Okay, it's just a rumor. But that would explain a lot, wouldn't it? I think we should still cut off his dick. The old dick twist. Off of his body. I'm guessing Uru wanted to meet him. The man who threw him and his mother away like garbage. That was where his tragedy began, after all. If so hadn't neglected them, Uru never would have been given up for adoption. That's literally the most insane thing I've ever heard. Where is So now? Yeah, let's see. Where is this, this evil motherfucker? I don't know. He's not at his manor. He disappeared about two weeks ago. Maybe he fled the country. Oh, probably. Fled the country? Why? He's a cunning old man. I'm sure he sensed something coming. He must have thought the authorities would eventually connect him to terror. Huh. So, he decided to leave before it was too late. Um... Have you heard from boss? Boss as in your boss? Yes. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Boss left us a present somewhere, but we don't know where it is. She said something about asking our friends. I see. Then why don't I ask the mighty Milky Balls? <laughs> Could have cut off his dick for I3. I hope so. Yeah. Good idea. Okay, then. Milky White Orbs of Power. Who among their friends and acquaintances has the biggest you-know-what. That is... Lynn, of course. Okay. Who cares? Who cares? That's what I thought. Hmm? Uh, uh. We're just, are, we, are we just gonna... Are we just going to... We're just not gonna... We're just gonna, we're just not gonna, hello? BB? BB, the BB's reaction to that is so funny. It's so funny, dude. Holy shit. Oh man. Oh, oh Mizuki. Oh Mizuki. Silly girl. We'll put that aside for now. <laughs> well, that just happened. Can we put it aside forever? <clears throat> okay. Time to get serious now. Oh, balls. The great and powerful. Please find something for me. Where is the present that boss has hidden? Oh, here we go. Go to Nice. The hidden secret can be found there. Oh. Okay. So, how about it? Go to Nyes. The secret is there? That has nothing to do with Boss's task. I am sure Mama is only stringing together random thoughts. I think Mama can access the fields. But... I think she's got it down pat. The fields, baby. Mama, we're gonna get going. Already? 
I wanted to talk more about Lian's you know what. Uh, I'm good. We'll save that for some other time. Yeah. Oh, sure thing. Gotta go. Come back again whenever. I'll be waiting. <laughs> I'll see you in two years. Probably. Mama is polishing her crystal balls. That's so true. That's so true. All right. Oh. I guess we're, uh, I guess we're gonna go to Iowan. Bye, Mama. We love you. Bye. Oh, hey. Oh, the nurse is here, too. Mr. Oh, Chieda. Uh... Nice to see you. Oh, Mizuki Kuranushi. Please don't call me that. I'm supposed to be called Big Sis. It would be a little strange to call you that. Do you remember me too? Of course I do. You were only three when the Okiura family took you in. I never thought that girl was really you. <laughs> Damn. Both of you have grown so much. You two used to cry and cry. Now you're both police officers. Let's not call it that. I'm proud that you've grown up to be such good people. Oh, man. You're still kind of a piece of shit dad, but it is nice that you care about them. See, that's the thing about Richie is that Richie is, like, complicated. Right? Like... You two used to play make-believe in that castle all the time. He's such a... He's such a complicated character. You know what I mean? He's, what I like about Richie is that, like, um, he is, uh, morally gray. He's, like, a very, very gray character, for sure. Like, I don't know. I, I just, I just, uh, I love that. <laughs> Life is simply unfair. Who is king, me or Bibi? You two always fought over it. You split your kingdom up. Mizuki, you were only three, but you never gave up being king. Oh, I don't even know how many times that castle was destroyed. But oh. it never destroyed your relationship. Even after your kingdom was split, you were back together playing in no time. Oh, that's such a sweet memory, oh, too. The tree. I remember thinking that was the tallest place in the world. I remember climbing it with you on my back. That sounds dangerous. What if I fell? You did. Plenty of times. Oh. <laughs> okay. But you were never seriously injured. Just last week, you might have even survived without a parachute. No way. Dude, Mizuki is so fucking overpowered. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't remember it too well, but Iowan's dormitory feels nostalgic. Uh, let's see. Wait, was it always protruding from the ground like that? You two pushed it in the ground, but we pulled it back out. <laughs> These were two very, very powerful babies. Holy shit. Dear God, that must have been a fucking, like, a, a nightmare to deal with. At least you two didn't ruin the garden. Just the garden, huh? Meaning everywhere else got... <laughs> all fucked up. I remember always pulling that thing out of the ground. Yeah, these are these really are like the <laughs> boss babies for real. Oh, okay, hold on. Uh, impish, impish, impish. Slimy has got to be impish. Fucking shit. It, at least if it was if it was uh brave or impish, but even the brave I didn't get that one. Uh, let's see. You said slimy last time? I don't, I'm not gonna fucking remember shit. Uh, yeah. I wonder. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing here? I kind of just wanted to be here. <laughs> the developers didn't know where they could place me. <laughs> if, 
they really, they really went that way. Screw it. This is my last chance. I want some more screen time. Yep. <laughs> They're literally just saying that. They're literally just saying, oh my God, we don't know where to put her. We actually don't know where to put her. We want more screen time for this character. She's awesome. What, what are you talking about? Dude, she knows. Mom, mom, are you watching? Look at me. <laughs> dude, dude, she knows. She knows she's in a game. It actually worked. This is the one person where TC Purge is like actually like totally fine. <laughs> and so she knows she's in a video game. I'm an I the Somnia Files, Mom! Hi! Hi, Mom! Maybe she's contracted TC Purge. Oh my god, I actually that's so funny. I predicted it. I knew I knew BB would say we that. We should let the authorities know. It's a nurse. I oh my god, that I that's so fucking funny. She knows! She's in a video game! I, it, that is genuinely one of the funniest lines of dialogue ever. Mom, mom, are you watching? Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> That's really funny. Yes, that was me. I didn't have proof, but I suspected that they were doing morally questionable research there and that you two were subject to it. I wasn't ignoring the signs. I only noticed it a few years after you two came here. They acted on it right away. I went straight to the police. They told me they couldn't do anything without proof. So I leaked the information to the press, which led to the Institute being closed. I did it for the two of you. But didn't you help Aww. it reopen? I'm having trouble following your logic. Yes, that. I spoke to your cohort, Ryuki, about this. Oh? Human experimentation is intolerable. But the other research being done at Horidori Institute was extremely valuable and had a bright future. Uh, is it worth it when your fucking lead person is a piece of shit? Like, there hello? There were many hardworking people there that had nothing to do with what was happening behind the scenes. And at that point, the two of you were no longer affiliated with Horidori Institute. Which is why I provided the money for the reopening. I did it so I could keep an eye on them and prevent them from continuing their illicit research. You did a dog shit terrible job, Richie. You fucked up bad. Uh, somebody was asking if I, if I did the sandbox. I did not. I remember you two digging a 10 foot hole there. What the fuck? But with your hands? What the fuck? These girls are crazy. They're crazy. Um, okay, yeah, I think that's pretty much all the, the dialogue here. You don't know? It's called purge, DNA treatment. Oh! This is not the same as TC purge, of course. TC Purge was a virus that was created using Purge technology. Mm-hmm. Even now, I don't think financing Horidori Institute was a mistake. They were able to create the technology for Purge. That technology can save countless lives, including yours. What? Last year, we developed a revolutionary genome editing method we call Purge. With this, genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat. For example, severe congenital heart diseases are now curable. Huh. Interesting. Baby, that's great news. Your illness can be cured. Cool. Okay. I guess something good actually came out of that then. Oh. <coughs> good. What is it? Well, um, it's just so much to process. <laughs> I'm happy for you, BB. Yeah. Huh. Mr. Chieda? Oh. She... I did... Something glitched out there. Do you see that? Such a complex story. TC Purge was created using Purge technology. Richie didn't invest in Horidori Institute, 
it would have never have happened. At the same time, Mizuki Kuranushi, uh, Kuranushi's heart condition wouldn't have been treated. The technology itself is neither good or evil. It's dependent on the person who uses it. Guess I can comment on moral issues every now and then. <laughs> um. Mr. Chieda, thank you. Oh yeah, the game glitched. It didn't do the uh, the thank you bit there. Um, interesting. Okay. You were both bundles of energy, I'll tell you that much. You ripped the swing right off its chains. Holy shit. And Mizuki, you tore the pipes off the jungle gym and played Cat's Cradle with them. Whenever you did something bad, myself and the other staff scolded you. Oh. You would both cry and literally run through walls. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was about to say, very, very cartoon fucking energy going on. I'm sure oh you can still god. see the damage in some of them, but whatever you did, no one was upset with you. Um, I like how with Richie, he's more used to calling BB Mizuki because he raised her for many years, yeah. After you cried, you would both have such bright smiles it made everyone else smile too. <laughs> Sounds like us. Yes, I remember them well. I I love this so much. God. Your smiles haven't changed a bit. Man, <sighs> Richie is such a shitty dad. But God, he he does genuinely like care about his kids. And like, oh man, it's so complicated. Oh, I love it. I love complicated characters like this. I love it when characters have depth and and like it's just gray. Like this character is a morally gray character. And he doesn't like he doesn't like fucking um, Lien, but like, oh man, it, it's so, yeah, there's so much nuance to this character. I love it so much. I love it so fucking much. All right, let's talk about it. Please don't ask me about that. I've already told Kizuna everything. I guess he doesn't want to talk about their relationship. Guess not. Hmm. Interesting. Or, yeah, I'm just not gonna talk about it. It's a nurse. You're from Your Boss? adoptive mother. She gave me a message. Oh, okay. Male is 5.4. Male is 5.4. <laughs> Chieda. Crazy that this game now. made me empathize uh, sympathize with a uh, with a character named Rich Cheddar. Yeah. Come back again soon. And please continue to keep an eye on Kizuna. We will. Yeah, of course. Oh. All right. Well, we visited every location. There's only one place left to go. Nice Japan. All right. How are we still bothering me? How are we allowed in here? I know what you're thinking. What Mama said, right? Go to Nice. The hidden secrets can be found there. Yeah, how is this place not torn down already? Well, what's the last secret? I guess the only thing left is Tokiko. Why did she kill herself? Yeah. Why did she order Amame to do those things? Taking Jin's left half to the stadium. And taking her own body to the president's office, too. Yeah. We have no idea. Why did Tokiko do all that? Oh, there she is. Throw him up! It Dude, last Tokiko time! Sandra. The last time we get to throw it the fuck up! 
This was among the data that was sent to me by Tana. Welcome. I apologize, but I am currently unavailable. If you do not mind, if it's no trouble, would you guide me to Moksha? What? Huh. That's... Different. I will tell you a number. It is a crucial figure that can create a scene in this false world. It is called the Nil Number. Hmm. The Nil Number. Why does that sound so familiar? The Nil Number. Are you prepared? Please take note of it. Okay. Four, four, nine, two, zero, one, four, nine, two, zero, one, zero, forty nine, twenty, ten. Huh. Okay. And now. Wait, didn't the nil number come up in in a uh, in zero escape as well? Okay. I don't think so. I think I'm just getting I yeah, I'm getting wires crossed then. I will look forward to the day we meet again. Also, I love I love this fucking like wiggly ass like numbers here. But I am not talking about them, of course. Ryuki. No. Not Ryuki either. Oh, she's talking to us. Holy shit. But you. She's literally talking to us. Holy fuck. She's so cool, man. The one listening to me now. Oh, man. Yes, the Freyer. You. That. I, I love that so much. She heard that I miss her. I miss you, Togiko. I love you. Call me. Now. Throw him the fuck up. Dude, that's wild. That's fucking wild. Anytime the game talks to like me directly, I'm always like, oh, oh. the stadium. Yeah, get, getting what those shivers. What? You mean you don't get it, BB? Boss's present is probably here. Why do you think that? It always comes back to the stadium. Remember what Iris said. Vertical is male multiplied by female. There we go. Vertical is male multiplied by female. Hmm. Does that mean... Hold on. I am very, very... Let's see. Vertical equals male, which male equals uh, 5.4. Uh, which is then multiplied by female, which is 6.607. Uh, the sum of that is, hold on, let me take my calculator. Let's take out the old trusty calculator. So that's... 5.4 times 6.607, which, uh, the, uh, the, the multiplication of that is 35, 35.6778. Hmm. I wonder... 
Do I already have a number that's related to that? No. Light is 25.5. Darkness is 5.479. Horror is... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No. That... Okay. I just realized. That would mean vertical. That would mean vertical equals... 35.6778 uh whereas horizontal is dark which is uh darkness is 5.4479 so 5.4479 times uh light which is 25.5 which the multiplication of that 25.5 uh is 138.92145 so uh that would be horizontal so uh Vertical equals 35.6778. Horizontal equals 138.92145. Cool. Now, insert the numbers that Mr. Chieda and Ota gave us. Male is 5.4. Yep. Female is 6.607. 5.4 times 6.607 equals 35.6778. They're just gonna let they're just gonna let the fucking eyeball do the work. What and we we're not gonna fucking solve it? We're not gonna solve the fucking puzzle. I literally I they literally solve it for me? I'm fucking pissed. That's the vertical coordinate. Come on. The horizontal. Horizontal is darkness multiplied by light. Darkness is 5.479. I wish anyone but MoMA would tell me that. Light is 25.5. 5.479 times 25.5 equals 139.7145. Oh, did I mistype something? Oh, I absolutely did. I accidentally, uh, typoed. I was like, wait, um, <laughs> in my, in my calculations, uh, I put in 138.92145, um, but I accidentally added an additional four to, to the dark, um, coordinate. So mine came out a little bit different. So, you know what? I'm glad that the game did it for me. So never mind. Never mind. My bad. Okay. Okay. Those numbers, 35.6778 and 139.7145. Don't they sound familiar? Oh. Oh, yeah. North 35.6778. Ah. 139.7145. I see. So those were coordinates. I see. The vertical and horizontal were referring to coordinates. Which is here. The present must be here somewhere in the stadium. But... But where? What? What? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> okay. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> Wow, that is a big it looks present. Pretty big. It is somewhat unnerving. Yeah. Not something that would make a kid cheer with joy. It's Ryuki. He's in the box. I'm okay, everybody. Don't worry about it. Anyway, why don't you open it? Okay. It's scary. <laughs> It's scary. It's scary. <laughs> it's fine. It will not explode. Are you sure? This is boss we're talking about. 
Well, I suppose I can't be sure. I know. X-ray. Oh, you're cheating. <laughs> that was such a that was such a fucking real real scream. I knew it! I'm fucking I'm the best! I'm so awesome! It took you long enough? I was suffocating in there. I fucking win! <laughs> Yay! My boy's alive! I'm so happy. Dude, he's here! He's okay! <laughs> yeah, how did you fit in that, bro? Ryuki. You made it! Ryuki? Ryuki! And I'm here too. Tama's doing okay. Aw. Tama, your body. You're healed? I'm perfectly fine. Well, not perfect. His wounds still haven't healed. Oh, man. But I feel no pain at all. That's also probably not true. Because I got you hopped up on painkillers. Oh. <laughs> you need to go back to the hospital. <coughs> That's so funny. It's fine. Aw, he's okay. Oh, dude, my little scrunkly. It's not fine. <laughs> Bro, go back to the hospital. I had to do it. Boss gave me a call. Hey, Ryuki. I hear you can walk now. I have a favor to ask you. I want to set up a little surprise for those two. And if you say no, I'm demoting you. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, okay, so he had no choice, really. Good luck. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. How mean. She's the devil. But... But... I'm glad you're okay, Ryuki. Oh. You seem to be doing well. Yes. Congratulations, Ryuki. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm sorry we made you worry. <laughs> you two are like... A married couple. <laughs> well... You can't be serious. <laughs> oh, man. All right, everyone. Listen oh, up. What? What the... Fuck! What? Where the fuck are you? Ki Ki huh? Kizuna? What? Are there more people in the box? Oh hi! <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna do the dance, aren't we? Let's celebrate Ryuki's full recovery. It's not a full recovery. <laughs> I'm, I'm still so fucked up. <laughs> Let's celebrate him getting back to absolutely normal. Oh my god, everything fucking hurts. <laughs> oh fuck, ow. <laughs> anyway, we have anyway. a special dance for you. Please watch us. Anyway. <laughs> oh god. Fuck. That's so funny. Oh, man. All right, everybody. Just like the first game, we're ending it with a big old dance. Let's get it. Start the music. Yay. <laughs> dance party. Oh, this time it's a full motion video. Fucking, here we go again. God. 
That's so, it's so funny. But you know what? It was a, it was a, a good idea that was so good. We'll do it one more time. More characters? More? Here they come? Damn, that robot's got moves. Dude, break it down, bro! Let's go! Dude, Dante finally gets it! Gets the party down. Greg gets the sing, dude. So silly. Yay! Dude, even Richie is getting in on the action. <laughs> look at look at Richie go, dude. Oh my god. No wonder it's a fucking full motion video. No wonder it's a full motion video. They had to get all the effects in. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, they did break Hitomi's arm again, huh? This, the, these lyrics are insane. <laughs> Dude, if every video game ended with a dance number like this, it, it, it would be a perfect world. I need, I need literally every video game to have a musical ending where every cast ever sings a song. If, if rain code doesn't end exactly like this, uh, I'm gonna smash my laptop in pieces. Dude. I can't believe Uchi Koji Sunday is over, but I'm so happy I was here to see it. Thank you, Demon of Flight, for the 17 months. I'm... Seashell by the seashore! What the fuck? What the <laughs> Who's saying that? Is that... Was that Ryuki? <laughs> Was that Ryuki that said that? Toy boy, toy boy, toy boy, toy boy, toy boy. I am, wow, that is actually really hard to say. Holy shit. Oh man. Unlocked eyeballies function. Wait time for question is now zero seconds. In picture book, play with eyeballies that you met in the past function. Give answers to questions from now on too. Oh man. That was 
quite the experience, y'all. That, that was fantastic from start to finish. What is, what is this last one? What is that? Huh. Oh, man. Holy, holy shit. <laughs> Char, I, I'm going to apologize in advance. I, I'm not going to answer Discord because I am exhausted and I have a really, really big headache. I've got a very, very big headache. You aren't done? What are you talking about? Okay, hold on. What? Okay. What do you mean I'm not done? You're not done the game. What are you talking about? I just finished it. No, you didn't. Hey, what's that fucking number you got? What do you mean? Did you ever... You got a number. You haven't done anything with it yet. Oh, shit. You're talking about the nil number. Yeah, you're not done. Okay, we're... Wait, hold I'm guessing up. you probably don't remember, but you first heard about the nil number during Ryan's stream when he got a dialogue that you missed. Oh. Do you Wait remember what scene that was? Hold on. I I am This is information overload. Okay, stop yelling. Um Hold on, we gotta we gotta go back to fucking the flowchart, huh? The nil number. Holy shit. Where did we find the nil number? Uh I'm trying to see. You loaded the wrong save. Oh. It doesn't matter. You can do this in any save. Oh. But yeah, this is your save from before the ending, but it, it doesn't matter. Okay. I'll just I'll load up the auto save, it's fine. I, I, it's cause I, I'm used to the, uh, to the manual save. Oh yeah. Um, all right. Let's see. Goodbye, little big sis and big big sis. Okay. All right. So here we are. Uh, let's see the nil number. Where did we see the nil number? Where did we see the nil number? If you don't remember, I can just tell you which, uh, where you need to go. Wait, hold on. Give me a moment. Okay. It was Ryan's first stream. He was before, uh, it was earlier than where you were when he started. It was Ryan's first stream? Yes. Hmm. Wait, maybe if I... I'm like, I, I just switched the flow chart, so I'm like, hmm. The nil number, where did we fucking find that? I am trying to remember, but I am suffering from a fucking ginormous headache right now. Um, and, uh, you still got it. it I, I think it'll definitely be less than an hour. It is not a very long portion of game, but you still have some video game left. Okay. Yeah, okay, just tell me. I okay, it is the first time. time, uh, it is the first time you meet Tokiko. So it is the first day in the game, uh, chapter one, Ryuki's side, the first time you see mm. Tokiko after Chikara's Somnium. Right. You need to okay. go into this chapter. Okay. Uh, let's see. President's office. You I think it's, and it's just straight up. Yeah. yeah, it's just straight up Japan. Nice Japan, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, we're gonna fucking do this. Um. Wait, hold on. Just so that you could get proper. Oh. 
All right. This stream is actually going to be nine hours. Um, I mean, we might it would just only exactly hit nine hours. It, it I mean, it, I, it would. Uh, how can I say it? It would be appropriate to finish at around the nine hour mark. I'm the okay. You just need to get through all these. Nice you just zoom through it. Tokiko Shigure. I apologize for visiting so late at night. I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department. You're so fucking bad, dude. Fuck. Mister, <laughs> you can visit. Mamaru, my secretary, has already informed me. I hear you've come to ask about Jin Furaway's murder. Furaway? <laughs> I won't hurt. Um, alright. You, uh, you can hold the fast forward button at any point. Wait, hold on, wing sync real quick. You know I got that MF thing on me. What is going on here? She knows. Maybe she's not thinking about anything at all. <laughs> literally, no, no brain. <laughs> like no, literally, just is nothing. Blank. Maybe she reached a state of selflessness. Huh. Judging by the way you ask. I don't like it when when I hit the skip button and like the entire environment just goes silent except for the music. Considering the <laughs> fact that you It's like I it's scary. Do you mean I don't mean anything. Chikara is I had a very hard time finding the place. Anyway, I was surprised. That's crazy, me too, bro. This is a common misconception, but not Not a cult. The Definitely not a cult. The war... Throw him up. Hand sign is supposed to be a symbol. And Fucking... you thought the before was the last time. Throw them the fuck up. Okay. Uh, you do need to click on the Nye symbol in the back, I believe, to progress the scene. That's the Nye. Nani will mean to have Nani. So insane. Did you know laws in, in other words? Hold on, I just need Nizel to. Laws means the nine X's of the. I just need to hear the uh, Banjo Kazooie style uh, dialogue real quick. Oh fuck, never mind. <laughs> By the way, would you mind if I asked you a question? Oh fuck, this is it, isn't it? What is it? Are you perhaps a Freyer? Freyer? Frey, Frey. I thought I heard some that somewhere before. I am asking the person within you. Okay, yeah, here we are. What? I will ask you one more time. Are you a Freyer? Yes. Hey, you Yuki. As I thought. Then you've realized this world is fictional. Am I oh, correct? Oh fuck. Oh fuck, here we go. Yup. Ryuki, what's gotten into you? Then please tell me the nil number. If you truly are a Freya, you should know it. This number is personalized by every save file of this game. Really? Yes, that you can is... you cannot search your own online. The only way to get this number is to finish the game. That is actually fucking awesome. That is such a cool detail. Holy shit. Okay, have fun. I'm leaving you alone. Bye. Bye. Oh fuck, guys. Ryuki chapter diverge. Holy shit. Okay, dude, I have chills. I got fucking chills right now. Oh, here we go. Bro, you sound like terror. That's a, that's a Ryuki moment. That's a Ryuki moment if I've ever seen it. What? Oh man. Oh man. Oh, his eye! His eye is fucking. It's. Tama shut off! Uh 
Uh oh. Tama. Tama. Oh man, we are, we are, dude. We're out. We're in the video game, dude. We're in the video game. AI function offline. Self repair program activated. <laughs> Dude, the music is like all fucked up. Everything is like insane sounding. Holy shit. Mamoru is like completely T posed in the ground. Holy shit, dude. Um. Dude, even his his like character model, like his face is just not there anymore. Tokiko's secretary, Mamoru, or not? Dude, I, I love this. I love everything about this. Holy shit. This is so good. Thank you. Oh, man. Why are you surprised? Dude, even the, the font is like completely different. Oh. Let me show you the real world. She's so fucking cool. <laughs> I am the space. Oh, oh, and she's gone. Oh, maybe is that why she Tokiko said to find me? That's why she asked for half of her body to be placed on the table. Hmm. Where could she be? I'm assuming the other half is where we left it. Um, in Horidori. Oh shit, we're playing third person, dude. Oh fuck, okay. All right, here we go. She did not say find, mo find me, but okay, Ryuki. Oh, man. Oh, and the world glitched out? I actually can't tell if that was the game or if, or something's going on with my laptop. Dude, we're at... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Everywhere has the fucking... The footstep noise. The, the like, concrete noise. Even the, uh, the water. Like, the water effect doesn't work with that. Oh. 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 Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, everything is all fucking broken. We literally... We literally are... We're about to do some Unity shit, aren't we? Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. This is... This is so good. This is so fucking good. Dude, I love, I love that, like, one of the, like, this area is, like, Z fighting here. This is so fucking cool. There we go. Hi, Tokiko. I hope we get some, like, unity jokes. I would be happy with that. She is. <laughs> yeah, this game sucks. It doesn't even work. This is the true world. Oh, you're normal here. Do you understand? Oh. Can we look back? No. This is so sick. This is so fucking sick. I love this. Is it because you cannot comprehend it logically? But you have already transcended the logic of causality. Dude, it's... It's playing the theme. How did you know about the nil number? Uh, 
Because I love it. I love it when Uchikoshi does this shit. I love it when he just fucks with the player. I love it when he just says shit that basically acknowledges that the game is a game. And that, like, yeah, meta narrative bullshit is the strongest suit of Uchikoshi. It, it makes me so fucking happy. And what's crazy is that there is a version of Ryuki where things are just normal and it's totally fine. It's totally fine. But this is a version of Ryuki that acknowledges that Ryuki is in the fucking game. I mean, it literally all started with morphogenetic fields, right? I cannot think of a better ending to Uchikoshi Sunday than what we are witnessing right now. This entire fucking bit is the Uchikoshi moment. My hologram only discusses that fact six years into the future. And it is not Ryuki who will be told. The two Mizukis, we will tell them the nil number. Oh. But for some reason, you already knew. Why is that? Can you explain? Well... Ryuki can. Or sorry, Ryuki can't, but we can. This is a logical paradox. This is an enormous scene in the structure of this world. Oh, man. This, yeah, this is like the epitome of Uchikoshi. This is everything that... That 999, VLR, ZTD, I, the Somnium Files, have built towards. This is everything all in one. It has been rent, and the reality beneath has been exposed. It's been rent? The musical? Huh. Do you recall what I told you? If you tear at the seams of a cloth, it will unravel, and a hole will be created. This is the result. We are in that hole now. In an empty space, torn into the false world itself. Dude, this shit is so fucking cool. Even... isn't... Is, is it just me, or is the, the cursor even, like, a different color? It's, like, all green. Oh, wait, hold on. Cool, I can still do this, so, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. Fuck. Wait, hold on. Uh, Brave? Wait. Hold on. Oh, man. We need the Ritsuko eyeball-y. Do we, do we even try? Let's see. How many legs do you like? Got it. How should I call on a UFO? Uh... Wait, uh, it's either brave or impish. Let's see. Uh, look up at the sky. Okay. What fish do you like? Fugu, is that brave? Yes. How do you like eating your jellyfish? What's brave? Pickled? Fuck. How should I fish? Uh, this one. Brave? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whale brave? No! Uh-oh, uh-oh. What do you think of mermaids? Uh, get excited? We did it! We did it! We finally got it! 
Oh, man. We did it! It looks awesome! Oh, man. It all... See, it all worked out. All right, let's... Let's see our... Wow! S3! We... We... That is... That is our last sinker class level up. Is S3. That's awesome. That's really, really, really good. Oh, man. Gotcha, gotcha. Dude, it took 15 weeks, but we finally got everything. It took 15 weeks, but we got all of the eyeballies, and I'm very, very, very proud of that. Despair bear. Yeah, I'm not gonna look at that. Um oh yeah. Oh holy shit, hello? Lee? Thank you so much for the raid. Hello. Oh my god. Cops gotta poop. Hi everybody. Um oh my god, we are in such a fucking deep territory on I the Somnium Files. Hi, Lee. Thank you so much for the raid. Um, I uh, I really, really, really appreciate it. For the folks who don't know, uh, my name is Markatoto. I'm a little pink VTuber fella. Um, we are playing I the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. This is literally one of the last bits in the entire fucking game. So, um. If you don't want to get spoiled, then, uh, please, before you go, uh, hit your boy up with a follow. I'm always streaming. I'm always doing this thing. Thank you, Spooky Scientist TF2, for the follow. Lee, I really, really, really appreciate it. I hope you have a, uh, I hope you had a, a, a wonderful stream. I, what was, what was Lee playing? Thank you, Lost Gamer, for the follow. Um... What was Lee playing? I have no clue what this is. It does not look I would play it. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk? Fuck yeah, man. Dude, that that game is one of the fucking best games of all time. It's so good. And I and I and I saw that they did the uh they have a multiplayer mod now. Dude, I'm getting that shit all over. I'm getting that shit all over. As soon as as soon as I hack into it, it's so over, dude. It's gonna be sick. It's great. We need more BRC content. Hey, I I mean I played the game like last week, and uh, I want to mod my character into that game. So I, you know if that happens, I'll play more. I'll play more on the channel. But um, you gotta hit me with that follow though. And we'll see. We'll see. You gotta hit me with that follow and then and we'll do some more BRC, baby. Dude. That game's so good. I've literally I've literally been like thinking about it like all week. I've been listening to the fucking OST on on uh, on Spotify. It's been so so good. Also, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. But enough about BRC. Again, I'm gonna head back into my game. Again, we are in major, major spoiler territory for I the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Um, and I will get back to uh, to the game here because uh, we're literally at the end game. It's the most insane shit I've ever seen in my entire life. So, all right, here we go. Oh? Oh, you're just not gonna you're not gonna fucking answer our questions, huh? You're you're done answering our questions? You asked me three questions. Yeah? All of yeah. them have the same answer. In order to experience this moment now, we did this. Huh. Although I suppose it is more accurate to say what we are about to experience. Okay. What the, the fuck? intersection between the warp and weft. 
That's where the scene can occur. You shape like Mewtwo? Now, like, don't, like, you can't just, like, say that, to be honest. You can't just say that. Like, come on. Intersection between the warp and the Everything left. Everything happened to make this happen. I'm assuming that's the warp and the left is the intersections here. And what is about to happen. The reality is, this world will eventually collapse. I have reached Moksha. Huh. Thanks to you. Further explanation is unnecessary. I will not allow you to call this charity, but... I will grant you one of two options. Ryuki is about to return to the original world. Oh, she's talking to us. She's leaving Ryuki in our care, dude. What the fuck? When that happens, you can share this information with him. Or not share this information with him. Oh, shit. Which do you choose? I leave that decision to you. Oh, oh man. What the fuck? Do we tell him or do we not tell him? Yeah, do we fuck him up for the rest of his life or? Hmm. I, yeah, it's kind of cruel to say that your entire life is a lie. Even I wasn't that cruel to, to my characters in Undertale. Right? Like, I, I don't... Can you save first? That's a great fucking idea. That is a great fucking idea. What's a little... What's a little time manipulation, huh? All right. I see. Not sharing returns the game to normal. I see. Interesting. Ryuki will be returned to the original world. With the knowledge of these past few days and what will happen six years from now. As a result, history will change. Not even I know if this will bring you true happiness, but I will respect your decision. Huh. Be seeing you until we meet again. Call me, Tokigo. Tokigo, call me. Tokigo. Goodbye, Freya. No, wait, come back. Please, please, please. Throw him the fuck up! Oh, oh. I need every single person in chat to throw him up. Dude, where'd she go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ryuki is now all-knowing. Ryuki, are you okay? No. What about Tokiko? I have no idea. I was out cold. Mamoru, where's Tokiko? Huh. She was just here earlier. Hmm. I explained to Tama how I met Tokiko outside the president's office. So Tama is... Are you stupid or something? It's just one of your typical episodes. Oh no. Episodes. Oh no. I mean, it is an episode of this... <laughs> this visual novel. Yeah, your hallucinations. I think you need to get some sleep. Oh, oh no. Yeah, she's gone forever. She literally just like disappeared. All of this happened more or less. Two out of 15. Oh. Six years later. Oh, so the normal timeline happens. 
It's cold. Ah. Oh. Mr. Date. Wait, hold on. Where... Where are we? Where the hell are we on the flowchart? Oh, two out of five is US style date. Oh, shit. Oh, oops. Um. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Flashing images warning, by the way. Um, also, thank you for the uh, for the follow. Etri the tree. Thank you. Um. Oh, wait, that's where we are right now. We're literally outside of the fucking, uh, the fucking timeline. Yeah, there it is. Oh my God. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, we literally broke the game. Yeah, look, the cursor is back to normal. The cursor is back to being the uh, the regular color. So does the green cursor refer to us, the player, or am I or am I fucking reaching for that one? Huh. Yeah, I guess I guess it's implied to, huh? All right, about the HB case. What, is the cold getting to your brain or something? You solved the HB case six years ago. Oh, okay, so this is, again, another completely different timeline. We literally know exactly what the fuck happened, so it's like, boom, they're done. HB case solved. We're, we're normal. Uh, thank you, Galaxy Voided, for the follow. Thank you. You found Terror, Urosomizuki, in the basement of Horidori Institute. I bet he's in his holding cell right now, cursing your name. The case is still in the courts, but there's no doubt he's going to get hit hard with the sentencing. No one but him knows the whole story, but he definitely cut Jin and Chikara in half. Wow. Huh. Huh? Why are you asking about Tokiko? She disappeared six years ago. She's been missing. Dude, it's Mr. Date. His left eye is wrapped up. And then, wow, I guess all that, like, character building just didn't happen in this timeline. It's a completely different timeline. Uh, we don't get to meet BB. We, we don't get to see Mizuki, like, grow up. Like, it's... It kind of, it kind of breaks my heart, to be honest. Like... I bet this Date still got amnesia. I'm here to investigate a case. A case? <laughs> Guess I've got to tell you everything now. Huh. Six years ago, you solved the HB case and got promoted. Oh, is he, is he Date superior now? Now you're second in command at Abyss. Wow. You're always at your desk now, so you don't really know what it's like out there anymore. Holy shit. Yeah, he's he's Dante Superior now. That's so weird. Hey, I'm gonna get going now. That's super weird. You should know reality still exists out there. I know. But it's this reality that kind of makes me sad, you know? The fact that we get to see it kind of makes me sad. See ya. Oh, it's you, Mr. Ryuki. Oh, since we solved it early, that means Komeiji lives. I totally forgot about that. Aww. K Komeiji? Long time no see, Ryuki. Shoma. Wow, they're, yeah, they're here. They're just alive. Yeah, what are you guys just doing here? Walk with Dad. It's... Hmm. It's like, despite everything, it's still very bittersweet to see this, but also... Yeah, Mame never kills terror. Mame lives a, a normal life. Um... 
I'm like trying to think. I, I hope, I hope Mizuki gets to meet BB. That would be the one thing that I, um, that I think I would miss from this timeline, you know? Yeah, this feels very set unsettling and very scary, but yeah, I mean, it's just another possibility, right? A another look into another, another world. Is it sad because you never saw any of this? It's sad because the implications of this world are so drastically different from what we have seen. We kind of just... Imagine waking up from a six-year coma and the entire world passes by without you knowing, you know? Accepting that the world is fake to Ryuki. It's true. I, I think it's just because, like, the way that I'm shaken up so much about it is that, like, we were the first-hand witness to seeing all of the characters progress, um, with us. And now that, you know, there's so many unknowns, it, it it's not that the, it's not that what we saw was worthless. But, you know, I put a lot of work into that, into that reality. I put a lot of work into it. So, a part of me is, is also, like, a little sad that I didn't get to see it in this timeline, you know? It feels good walking in snow, you know? If that makes sense. It's not that it's worthless. It's, it's more that... Um, I'm sad that I didn't get to see it, you know? It's really, really good. There's a, an empty phantom limb feeling that I get from this ending. I love how this is like tonally the inverse of the I one true ending. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about my body. I can't really put it into words, but I think I've come to accept it. It's not like a disease or something, and it doesn't cause me any pain. Plus, I don't think I've completely stopped aging. I'm growing a little bit. Maybe I'll live to be 600 years old. <laughs> oh, oh man. Trust me, kid, you don't want to you don't want to live to that long. I'm a thousand and something at this point. I don't really need to be that that old <laughs> to be honest with you. If you really think hard about it, it is pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy without thinking hard about it. Shoma. <laughs> You're alive! Hmm? What do you mean? I'm not a ghost. See? My legs are right here. Well, they are short. To think my only son insulting me like this. I... <sighs> I love Komeji, man. I I love him so much. It is wonderful to see him again after being missing for like the vast majority of the game. I I love him so much. You should consider yourself lucky I don't have a short temper. <laughs> Tama reaction? <laughs> Tama reaction? <laughs> oh, we love to hear. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. That's an odd way of phrasing it. Though, it's true, I was removed from the world outside. Huh? Because six years ago, you opened the freezer at Brahmin, Mr. Ryuki. I got sent to prison for illegally disposing of a dead body. But I finished my sentence long ago. Now I work at a tofu factory, and I still do my comedy act on the side. Aww. That's... that's great. I'm... I'm glad. Boy, now that I look back on it, what was I thinking? Dude... 
Working at a tofu factory. That's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be a very interesting job. Like legit thinking about it. Tofu is such an, a very, very interesting product. I don't necessarily like eating tofu. Like sometimes. Sometimes tofu is good. Sometimes it isn't. But, but tofu, like as a concept, it is such a very, very interesting product. I'd love to see how it's made. You know what I mean? I'd love to see an episode of how it's made with Komeji at the tofu factory. Yeah, oh my God. No excuse. <sighs> I Dude. caused so much trouble for Shoma and Amame. I forgot that my lights turn off automatically at 5 a.m. And it scared the shit out of me. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Fuck. I, I literally scared myself. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm actually glad you arrested me back then. It literally, like... How can I say it? I programmed it to do that. Yeah, Tokiko got me. If I was never caught, things might have turned out worse. I can only thank you. We're about to reach that nine-hour mark, by the way. Now we're gonna excuse ourselves. Bye, Ryuki. Bye. Bye, guys. Who else is at the park? Shuma. Amame is here, too. <laughs> oh, my God. It was a step too late. <laughs> Jeez, everybody's at the park today, huh? Even Genny is here. I was going to ask what they wanted to eat for dinner. Mame. And again. I didn't think I would meet my savior here. Today is going to be a good day. Aw. Hi, Mame. Uh, how are you? Huh? What is it? You look like you've seen a ghost. More like I've seen a killer. Are you talking about a Mame? Damn, bro, you, why do you gotta say it out loud like that? Well, she did slice it right down the middle. Okay, come on, man. The lobster we got at the store. Okay, come on now. This version of Amame doesn't have that. Dude, it is... It, I'm gonna be honest, this, this Ryuki is so interesting. So often in 999... I'm going to make the comparison because 999 is reliant on multiple characters having the ability to access the morphogenetic field. It is very, very, very interesting that Ryuki is the only character who has gained an ability to look into the other histories and is the only person that is aware of that. Um, also, congratulations, all of us. We have now made it to nine hours. We did it. We did it. This Ryuki is like a Kani if nobody ever figured it out. Yeah, exactly. Because you asked me to, Genny. I am sleeping. Me too. My head fucking hurts. It is, it is in pain right now, but I'm going to trudge on through. We're almost, we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Ryuki, in this timeline, Amame didn't kill anyone. Tama, is Tama saying that because she also knows or is she like playing along with, or she thinks she's playing along with Ryuki here? Yeah, Ryuki is the only one to have clear full knowledge. To have to have clear full knowledge. Um as opposed to like characters sharing that ability, right? Which I think is really, really, really fucking cool. As you saw earlier, Komeji is alive and well. There is no reason for a mom made to kill Terror. Hmm. Not to mention Terror himself, Uruso Mizuki, has been in prison for the last six years. Yeah, it does sound like she believes us. Maybe it's because we, like, 
we were our our record was so proven true by everything that Tama had no choice but to believe us. Interesting. Uh, well, just to get this out there, I don't completely believe in this other timeline thing you're talking about. Never mind, I'm fucking wrong. I'm just humoring you. Okay, Tama. Like, be- like, literally be nice to us. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, come on, man. Savior? Uh, are you serious? I'm talking about six years ago. You covered up what I did with Jin's left half. Not too long after we moved the body to the freezer, you found it there. Mama and I didn't even get a slap on the wrist. Right, Komeiji was the only one convicted of disposing of the corpse. Damn. He never mentioned Mame's name during the trial. Well, we're gonna get going. Ryuki, come by the restaurant soon. Oh, have a good night. Thank you for, for coming through. Thank you for coming to the last Uchikoshi Sunday. For now. See you next time. I'll be waiting at Brahmin too. Bye for now. Hey there, Mr. Ryuki. Fucking everyone is here? Oh, and then in this timeline, Kizuna gets Kizuna. to walk. Huh? Why are you so shocked, Ryuki? Did Ryuki... I guess he just, like, woke up, like, six, six years after with just... Like, all the knowledge. Or, like, it feels like somebody else was piloting Ryuki. Huh. Did Dizzy's beauty startle you? <laughs> Everyone's at the park. He knows what you know, but that doesn't mean he didn't physically live it. Interesting. Is it... Is it because... We're... I'm, I'm not gonna say the word piloting, but for lack of a better term, we're piloting Ryuki in this present moment, and so Ryuki is about uh, in tune with the player. Yeah, we're ratatouing him, which is why he's like, huh, what? My legs? Hey, why are you looking at Kizzy's legs? Okay. Don't get any ideas, man. N no, that's not it. If what you said is true, Ryuki, six years ago, on February 15th, an explosion destroyed the cathedral. But in this timeline, that obviously never happened. Huh, interesting. Kizuna is standing. I, I'm not used to this particular character model standing. It's, it's a little, um... I'm just not used to it. Why? <laughs> well, this place is special for me and Kizzy. So we went on a date. A date, huh? You two seem happy. Hell yeah. I am very thankful. Hmm. By the way, Ryuki, I saw Mizuki in courts earlier. I think they're oh! looking for you. They are here, and... And they know each other. For me. They had a message for you. They wanted you to meet them somewhere. Where? It's nearby. Yes, the stadium. Oh. Interesting. Wait, why are we going back to the stadium? Hello. Hey guys, What? what's up? Why do I feel like something is about to happen? Huh. Oh, yes. Um, we wanted to ask you something. Does seeing the stadium evoke any emotions? Huh. Like what? I feel like we fought together here. Oh, man. 
We're literally evoking the fucking... We're literally evoking the, the morphogenetic field, dude. Today, on February 15th. We're actually evoking the fucking fields. I think you were there too, Ryuki. So I thought you might know something. Bibi. I decided to use the name Mizuki Date uses for her. Hey, Aiba, what's up? Huh? What about Aiba? I am right here, in Mizuki's left eye socket. Once I decided to join Abyss, I got my left eye removed. Uh, Willy-nilly? Okay. And I was installed there. So Mr. Date doesn't have you? I go back sometimes. Like having two lovers. Don't say that, Tama. Please do not make it weird. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, it's because she never lost it. So he just wanted to take it out. Huh. You're just that popular. Yeah, you have a way of attracting all the weirdos. <laughs> Thomas says this, looks at herself. Who are you calling a weirdo? Hey, Tama. Is it really okay to leave things like this? What do you mean? Homeji is alive, Kizuna still has her legs, Mommy didn't kill anyone, and she's living her best life. Isn't this the ultimate happy ending? I guess so, yeah. But it feels... I don't know. I guess unearned? Is is the, the feeling that I'm getting? Yeah, that's all true, but... Hmm... Oh, oh, there's Tokiko. The boundary that divides the real and unreal is ambiguous. Okay. It's all like a butterfly dream. Perhaps you are that butterfly, fluttering as the wind carries you through the air. Hey, Mizuki, Bibi, you're, you're, you can hear that, right? It's not just me. Throw him up. Oh, there she goes. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wow. 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 Oh, wow. Holy shit. The way that ends... The way that ends gave me fucking chills. Holy shit. Oh my god. And that's it. Look at that. All right. What is third class cabin? Okay. All right. Oh my god. Good choice. Dude. There has never been a more perfect way to end this fucking series of mine. The last one the last Uchi Koshi Sunday. Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. We're really fucking doing it. Oh my god. Thank you, Hungry Tanuki, for the follow. A loud noise startled Aiba awake, and her eyes snapped open. What the? As they adjusted to the light, she realized that she would, didn't recognize her surroundings. <laughs> Dude, we're literally just playing a remake of the fucking first puzzle. That's so fucking cool. Oh my God, that is so awesome. 
With a crack, Iba's head connected with something metal. She rolled over, threw her hand out to steady herself. But she found herself groping at empty air. What? Whoa! Her balance lost. Her still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on. Iba, tum or Iba tumbled down to the cold gray floor. Ouch! God damn it! Uh, what the hell? I love that we're we're literally just doing the uh, we're doing the the uh, the remastered uh, dialogue. That's so fucking funny. I know hearing Junpei's lines in Iba's voice is so fucking awesome. She looked above her with an angry scowl. She finally understood where she fell from. A bed? A three bed bunk bed. She fell from the top bunk. I fell pretty far. Ugh, that really hurt. Her shoulders, knees, and back were in pain. Wait, do we chat for one last time? Do we bring it back? Do we bring it back? I think you know what we need to do. Do it? Novel mode, baby. We're so fucking back. Damn. My eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. Can you put on your troll Sona? I nah, I'm good. Nah, don't worry about it. There's a vibration coming from the door or from the floor. The whole room was shaking. An earthquake? But it's shaking too fast for that. Iba didn't know what could be causing it. Anyway. Iba brushed her body off and stood. She slowly looked around. And she whispered. Where am I? Iba stood in a room so unfamiliar to her, it nearly made her forget the pain in her body. Eventually, the shaking subsided. Wait. It stopped? A strange silence started to fill the room. God, same exact sound effects, too. In the distance, the sound of metal. What's that sound? Iba looked about the room. An antique stove. A three-bed bunk bed within, uh, with thin mattresses. There was another set of beds on the other side of the room. On the wall was a slightly rusted iron door. It stood as firm and cold as a stone monument. That's... The first thing that caught her attention was the writing. There was a number written on the door with bright red paint. Five. Five? What's this five mean? She stared at the number and slowly approached. She tried shaking the L-shaped handle on the door. Uh, it won't open. Dude, also the 3D uh red, or I guess dead on the uh on the right. That's so fucking cool. Pushing and pulling did nothing. Beside the door was a device that appeared to be some kind of card reader. What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Iba closed her right hand and pounded on the metal door. Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! I, I love this so much. No response. She lifted her left hand. At that moment, she noticed something peculiar. Huh? What the hell is this? She couldn't keep the question inside. On her left wrist, 
was a bracelet. Totally alien to her. Also, the real 3D model of the fucking bracelet? I fucking love this so much. A digital number was displayed in the center. A watch? Hmm, it doesn't look like one. Couldn't be, of course. There's only one number displayed. Five. That's... That's the same as the door. Not that she knew what that meant. Iba was confused, but decided her first course of action should be to take the bracelet off. She turned her wrist as if taking off a watch. Uh, how do I take this off? I... God, I love this so much. Oh my god. There were no clasps on either side of the bracket. She turned her wrist the other way. She noticed protrusions coming out of each side of the display. Maybe pushing something on this will work? She pressed it, but nothing happened. The digital face did not change at all. Nothing. Damn. I guess I'll have to force it off. Iba tried to remove the bracelet by force, but... No good. This stupid thing won't come off! The metal bracelet was tight around her wrist. What the hell is the deal with this thing? She let out a frustrated scream. The situation made no sense to her. Her head felt like it was going to explode. Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Exact same lines. Oh, man. Why? What the hell happened to me? Ah, uh, my head. A sharp pain in her head caused her to lift her vision. Oh. She discovered a window opposite to the door. This is... It was similar in style to those found on ships. <laughs> what the fuck did somebody... Did you guys see that? Hold on. Am I on a ship? She slowly walked up to the window. Outside was pitch darkness. I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. She squinted into the dark. And the next moment... Huh? What the... You gotta be kidding me! What the hell is going on here? Dude... The music! Oh, oh, it feels so good to hear! The window shattered. Water started pouring into the room. What the hell? God damn it! Iba shouted and turned around. She charged to the door. No answer. The water was rising quickly. It sloshed around her knees. It, it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. I need to find a way out. And fast. I have a white sweat from her brow and looked around the room. Somnium scan! Activate! Six minutes. One person, five door. Oh my god, that is so awesome. That is so awesome, dude. Oh man, this is so good. All right. A cork board, there's a note on it. The note on the bulletin board. Oh my god, and it's even doing the fucking old sound effects with the, uh, with the, uh, the, the pickup noise. That is so good. There are red and blue triangles on the note. Below is a right-facing arrow pointing to something red and something blue. There's a picture frame on the shelf. An old picture frame. There's a picture of a ship on it. 
Also, I love that the background is the uh, the inventory background from the original game, too. There's screws keeping the back on. <laughs> we can open up the clueless and that acts as our as our inventory. That's so fucking good. All right. Briefcase can't be pried open, so another key needs to be found. Oh boy, you need to be like really, uh, you need to be very, very surgical with this, huh? Uh, mirror. A small red key. Is this for opening something red? I should probably hold on to this key. Oh man. Iba tries to leave, but something stops her. The person in the mirror was not herself. What's up with my face? <laughs> oh man. It doesn't quite hit as hard when it's literally just Iba's model and not like a, a you know, a, a, a lovely handcrafted 2D image. You, there's a unity joke here somewhere. She whispered to herself. I look like a zombie. What happened? Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I was solving a case. I synced and... No way. I love, I love that they are somehow implementing it into actual, like... Into actual lore of uh, of either Somnium files. This is so fucking good. And at that moment, a memory came back. It was the last memory before Iba woke up in this uh, in the room. Yeah, who did she sink into? She got home a little past twelve. Home. <laughs> Iba ran up the stairs to open uh, the door to her room, room 201. Iba's home, a modest studio apartment, one that 67,000 yen in rent could buy. <laughs> Dude, Iba's studio apartment. She first moved into the studio when she started college. It had been three years and seven months since then. I'm back. Not like anyone will respond. As she entered the room, she pressed the switch on the wall. Oh my god, okay, it's literally just the exact... The exact same fucking image. Oh man, I know the Junpei dialogue from the, uh, from the remake. It's so funny. The ceiling lights flickered and emitted a dull white light. Man, work was rough today. She was familiar with the scene in front of her. Oh, should I? Oh, should I? Should I open up a uh, uh, novel mode? The the uh, the fucking nine 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 novel mode here. Should I? Oh, should I open up uh, uh, or adventure mode? Which one's better? In the corner of the room were magazines and dust covered college books. CD cases scattered on uh, scattered around. Jeans and T-shirts left on the floor. I would love to see. Um, Iba in a jeans and a t-shirt. But this time, something was different. Huh? A breeze? The night wind made the white lace curtains waver, carrying the scent of deep of a, of deep autumn. Huh. That's weird. Did I leave that open? Confused, she slowly crept up to the window. It was open on one side. She checked, or she struck her head out. Excuse me. He, she stuck her head out to check. You have to be nice to me. I'm like nine hours into this stream. Hmm. And 21 minutes. Everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. Iba closed the window. When suddenly... <laughs> there he is! She turned to face a specter of a man dressed in black. He wore a hood and a gas mask that concealed his face. Who are... She tried to scream, but no sound came out. Uh, I... Can't. Uh. 
I befell to the floor with a thud. She saw white smoke pool around her. Smoke emanating from what looked like a grenade. Everything was going white. I probably should have switched it to novel mode, actually. For the stream, obviously. Even the thoughts inside her head were going white. Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. Oh my god, they brought it back! <laughs> they brought back the voice! Dude, terror? No way! <laughs> a voice rang in her ears. I love... I love that they just got Zero's line for this. I, I love this so much. Sounded scratchy, noisy, a distant hissing growl. You are going to participate in the game. It sounds a lot clearer in this one than it does in 999. I think they heard all of our complaints. The nonary game. The nonary game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That was her last memory before waking up. Iba's consciousness melted into the white fog. That's right! That thigh with the gas mask! It's way more audible than terror. No, I mean, it's... it's I was gonna say it's more audible than how it was in, uh, in, um, the Nonary Games, like, remake. The most comp comprehensible zero error? Er error? Ever? Um, what was it? I, I still think zero the second is the most comprehensible one. And I guess zero the third, too, because there's not, there's not much that's going on with zero the third. It's just a silly little rabbit. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. <laughs> Iba clenched her teeth and tried to remember how the man looked. Well, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Wow, so early did they hint on that, huh? His voice was definitely modulated by something. His body was cloaked and concealed. Just who was that? It said, you have been chosen. Iba didn't have a clue what that meant. What the hell is going on? Why me? I love that they, I love that they retained all of the, what the hell, what the hell. Dude, what the hell? But the memory lingers. You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game. The nonary game, huh? What the hell is a nonary game? God damn it! <laughs> I have a punch the mirror. Oh, and we're back. Okay. Um, what do we have? We have a picture frame. Uh, the note from the bulletin board. Uh, which is this thing. God, I... It's been so long, I, I don't remember. I guess we have the small key for the, uh... For this one here. We just need the, uh, the code. On the top of the stove was a faded pot. Let's see if there's anything in here. Huh, looks like there is. A key? Key's pretty small. Definitely not for a door. What's it for, then? He's blue. Is it supposed to open something else blue? It's the door to the stove. Well, it opens easy enough. Sure wish the door could, uh, sure wish the door to get out of here, uh, was easy to open. A screwdriver, huh? I wonder why that's there. A normal screwdriver. Doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Well, the screwdriver got the screws off easily enough, and here's the picture. Photo of the ship. Looks like an old cruise ship. On the back of the photo were 10 symbols and numbers. Oh man, I actually have to get my, like, my notes app for this one again. <laughs> Cause I, I've completely forgotten how, how this goes. Symbols were all the same shape. Uh, the top row was empty and the bottom row was filled out. Yeah, I literally have to open up paint again. <laughs> 
the magic of ZE. It really is, though. Um, and then, oh, there we go. What does this mean? Oops. Uh, okay. So it was one that was filled in, uh, which I am going to. Uh, and then, uh, uh, uh. And then there was one that was blue. Uh, 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 that was filled in. And then one that was normal. Uh, and then the arrow was pointing that away. Which, if I recall, let's see here. So, for the red briefcase, it is seven, uh, four. For the blue briefcase, um, that would be six. And uh, three, seven, four, six, three. Okay. I do believe, however, that the briefcases are looking for, yeah, four, four numbers. So we gotta find the uh, the other the other one. I think it's on the bed. There's like a board with sheet on it. It's pretty flat. Yeah, there it is. Under the pillow. Ah ha ha! So then, uh, so that would be square filled in, and then, and then, uh, uh, uh. There we go. There we go. I It's slowly but surely coming back to me. It's slowly but surely coming back to me. Or is it on a blue shape and a red shape? Blows an arrow pointing right. La 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 la. Let me, uh, let me find the... This one. So that would be... Uh, zero. And seven. And then the other two would be uh, eight and five. So for the re the 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 red briefcase would be seven four eight five. Okay. Don't budge. I found the key, so hopefully this opens. I'm not doing anything at all. I take that back. I guess I can move the dial now. Looks like when I have to put the right numbers and turn the key. I do that, this thing should pop right open. Um, which luckily we know exactly what that is. It is 0763. Oh, damn it. It's not opening. Oh, oops. I, I did the wrong one. Sorry, wrong one. Well, let's give it a shot. I forgot. I forgot which color this was. It's an eight five. There we go. Oops. All right, it's unlocked. <laughs> yeah. There it is. These look like key cards. There's a number written on each card. One, two, three. All right. There's a lock on this briefcase. Hopefully the blue key will come in handy. Iba tries to put in the blue key in the lock, but it's not opening. Looks like I need a combination to unlock the briefcase. And now we do. Damn there we it. go. It didn't work. Wait, really? Wait, hold on. Did I, did I uh, misremember it? Hold on. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
so that is yeah that's a filled in square and a seven and then six and a three wait did i did i mistype it let's try oh seven six three maybe i must have accidentally oh, oh. what Wait, hold on. What the fuck? What is going on here? Hold on. Okay. Yeah, so I got that one. Yeah. That literally should be it. That's really, really, really weird. Um... So zero. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm an idiot. It's actually a two. Let's try. Oops, I misread it. Oh, two, six, three. There we go. Got it. Yes, it opened. Looks like there's something in here. What is this? A file? Inside the file was a piece of paper. Hmm. Digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root with the following steps. First, add all the numbers in question uh, to one another. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add the digits to one another. For instance, if you have a double digit number, add the number in the tens place to the number in the ones place. Keep adding digits in this manner until you have a single digit answer. The final single digit is your digital root. Ah, feels good to hear it again, dude. Example, digital root of seven, uh, six, seven, eight would be six plus seven plus eight equals 21, two plus one equals three. Therefore, the digital root of 678 is 3. Etc., etc. I see. So I just keep adding numbers until I get a single digit number. Oh, looks like there's something in the back of thing thing. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Typo. Uh oh. A stack of key cards. Huh. 678. All right, I think everything is finally in place. You know, we've got time to, to look at the window. Crash through the window like a waterfall. Plugging up the window won't halt the flow of water. Only way to save myself is to get out of the room. I need to seek a way out. Five, five, what is the meaning of this number? On the side of the device is a small gap. The card I obtained earlier. Maybe you slide the card in there. There's a lever on the device. Maybe if I lower this. She lowered the lever, lever uh, but all it did was emit a strange sound. Am I gonna have to take out my, my calculator for this? Am I taking out my calculator? I think we, I think I have to take out my calculator once again. The lamp is still red and the display didn't change. There aren't any more cards in here. I've only got one other hint. Of course, the files. That file said something about a digital root. A digital root. A digital root, huh? What am I supposed to do with... There's five on that door. Do I have to get a digital root of five? <laughs> Iva, you're a you're an AI. You should know what that is easily. Not really sure about this. Uh, what ear? <laughs> what ear? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. I'll just slide the cards that give me the digital root of five through the reader. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. A digital root can be made with these. Uh, with three of these numbers. 
Um. Oh. So one, two, three, six, seven, eight. That would be what? Six. Plus eight. Oh, we need a digital root of five. So that'd be three plus six plus eight? No. Three plus six plus no. Uh three numbers. Eight plus seven. Oh wait, no. Eight plus two plus six? No. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That would be seven plus eight. No. Seven plus three plus two. That would be no, that would be three. Uh six plus three plus seven. Oh oops. No, that would still make 16. Um, plus 8. Literally, 6 plus 8 would be 14, and then that would make a 5. Um, let's see. 1 plus 2 plus 3. That would be a 6. Let's see. Can we get 14 off of... What was it? 7... Oh man, we basically just need a digital. We need a we need a sum of fourteen with all of these things. It, again, it's it's been a long time since I played this puzzle, so I'm like, oh fuck, I don't remember. So seventeen plus eight plus seven plus three plus. Well, that would make a digital root of eight. Uh. Seven. Does it have to be three numbers for the solution? Yes. It has to be three numbers. Seven plus six plus. Oh, seven plus six plus one. That would be 14. One plus four equals five. Perfect. Got it. There we go. We got it eventually. With determination, she lowered the lever, uh, which resulted in a different sound from before. That sound, did it open? The red lamp is green. It must have worked. That was the last obstacle. Escape! Did... You found it <laughs> right at the end. I love that. I love that so much, dude. That's so awesome. <laughs> you found it. Oh, hearing both the 999 and the I the Somnium file sounds at the same time is so cathartic. Oh my God. That was so fucking cool. You found it! Oh, and the bracelet has been unlocked. Oh, cool. That's so fucking cool. Oh my god! Oh my god. Show me too. Hurry and check it out. Come on. Show me too. Uh, all right. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, just wait one moment. After all. Uh, wait, hold on. Let's go to, like, any random one, I guess. Here, let's go to the one with Tokiko. Hold on. Hold on. I just, I just want to see, um, 
Okay, hold on. Hi, Welcome. Tokiko. What's I'm up? The president. Yo, I'm Just back. Mr. I hear Yo, I'm back. What's good? Um, I just I just need to head into Tama's room real quick. Hey, what's up? It's fine. Dress me as you please. Oh my god. Um, I think I look better in eight than five. Huh. Wait, what does that mean? This type is cute, but I'm cuter. I'm sexy whether I'm big or small. Right. Oh, true lotus. Yeah, you're right. I guess that I makes feel sense. Like I have a special power. I like these cute things. <laughs> kind of. I I love that they're just stuck to her hands. Holy shit. There will never come a time this drill will come in handy. Is this a chastity belt? I think Shut I look up. better in Shut up. Stealing is bad. Extreme! Does that mean anything? Does that mean anything? I don't quite understand. Makes me want to decide between cooperation and betrayal. It makes me feel like I'm going to forget my name. <laughs> it's a mask that makes you want to run a death game for nine people. Dude. Uchi Koshi misses his funny little game. I thought Abyss was a secret organization. This white part, you can paint it whatever color you want. Oh my Welcome god, home, okay! This is, this is Welcome the ideal home, outfit, King. right? How about we make out? This is the I this is the this is the 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 one, right? <laughs> you put her in Ryuki's clothes, sure. <laughs> the hottest option. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Tama, why do you always talk about that kind of thing? Tama, why do you always talk about that kind of thing? What kind of thing? I want to hear you say it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh man, y'all. <sighs> Dude. Thank you, Vitamin Che, for the follow. That was. I, the Somnium Files, Nirvana Initiative. It is time to close the chapter on this wonderful, wonderful game and this wonderful series. Respect. Oh man, holy shit. That was amazing. Thank you. Um, I'm so, I'm so sorry. C cynically sinister. I'm sorry if I, if I mispronounced your name. But uh, thank you for the uh, for the follow. I I really appreciate that, y'all. This was such a journey. <laughs> this was such a journey. Holy shit! From start to finish, that was an incredible fucking ending. That was an incredible fucking ending. Oh my goodness! Thank you, Sharp, for the ten dollars. Me up some jerky. I'll go pick you up some journey or some journey. I'll go pick you up some jerky. Um I'm I'm so tired. I'm I'm tired, I'm exhausted and I'm hungry. Journey next week? Hell yeah. Um We've got some art to show off here. Um and uh god damn I, I am just, I'm just reeling. I'm reeling from everything I just witnessed over the, the past couple of days, or past couple of days, even past couple of weeks. Just everything that I just saw, like, fucking today. Oh, I've got a lot of videos to watch, dude. I've got a lot of videos to watch.
Um, let's uh, let's just, let's listen to some music and show off some art. Uh, not this one. This is scary. <laughs> I like, like that one. Yeah, me too. All right. So, starting on Twitter, we've got some art here from uh, none other than uh, my good friend Char, who says... My good, 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 awesome friend Mar finishing AINI tonight, which means I get to be annoying to them the next week over it, which... Oh, man. I love this. I love this. I love this. <laughs> I love this so much. Uh, so basically, Ryuki actually, so that means which actually, and Mizuki, uh, do you have the entirety of this? It, do you have everything of this that is not censored? No? Damn. This is just words? Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you would actually write like something here, which is really 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 funny uh i love this i love that you're the uh the eyeball to my to my date um i love this fucking iba so much uh this fucking marley god damn and a ryuki and <laughs> and uh mizuki uh kaibi which is really really fucking cool i i love these i love these so much holy shit uh thank you so much char for this amazing amazing art uh thank you thank you thank you i uh i really 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 appreciate it yeah sinker sinker marley she's uh she's she's ready to to go into people's dreams and uh i don't know do a little dance we saw these last uh, last stream, but uh, Artsy did make all of these available on uh, on Twitter, uh, which is really, really, really good. Uh, so I am gonna favorite that, and I am going to uh, retweet them. So thank you, thank you, Artsy, for making that available on uh, on Twitter. Um, God, wow, I'm I'm like, I'm so. I'm gonna have a fucking crazy sleep tonight. <laughs> um, on the Discord, we've got a couple of pieces of art uh, here. Uh, this is art from uh, from from uh, Saucy, uh, who says, "A detective with a silly robot eye? Sure, I'll play that." And then. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this fucking expression is so good this fucking expression is incredible this again sauce this might be one of the funniest pictures i've ever seen in the mar art tag holy shit oh my god thank you very 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 much uh, for this insanely, insanely good art. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Uh, this next piece of art is from Pure Party. It says, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the end live, but thank you, Mar. It's been lovely becoming a part of the community through these streams. Uh, looking forward to whatever comes next. And, oh man. I love this! Dude, it's me as Mizuki. Thank you for all the Uchikoshi Sundays, Mar. Oh my god. That is so sweet. Marzuki? Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, that's wonderful. That is so, so good. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, uh, I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was again from, from Pure Pari. Who, uh, whose art is always uh, a welcome treat in the uh, in the hashtag. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And last but not least, 
is uh, art from Perpetual Reality. As I guess this is kind of mar art, maybe. Also, uh, this one is only for Marsh Dream Save. Pay no mind traveler. Uh, okay, this one. This is Stream Save. I don't know what that means, but okay. Oh my fucking god! Yeah. 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 That's pretty good. Am I wrong? You're right. You're literally, you're literally the most correct. I understand. What? What the fuck? Wait, Trex? Trex hasn't even made it to the second game. What is Trex talking about? What the fuck? What is Trex talking about? Trex hasn't made it to the second game. Trex is just there. I Hey, you know what? Power to them. Don't read further into it. You know what? This is literally the best thing you could have said. This is literally the best thing you could have said. I, like, actually. When Trex eventually gets to... Eventually gets to... Uh, to Nirvana Initiative. If they ever get to Nirvana Initiative. Check the reply. Okay, hold on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. So eventually when Trex gets to an Iran initiative, Perp, I need you to specifically link this, this bit when they're finished. You, you will have to link it. You have to remember, because I'm not going to remember. <laughs> it's so funny. Looking back on it retrospectively is going to be really, really funny. Um, anyways, that'll happen in, in 2024, I guess, so. Um, but that was not the art. Um, I was not the art. This is the art. Hi, future tracks. Hi. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I used AI to expand the frame. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> is he okay? He, he doesn't look so good. He doesn't look so good. Oh my god. I love that this is a non-spoiler spoiler image. I love that this is a non-spoiler spoiler image. Nobody knows what this is from. It's so funny. And then once people get to the game, they'll realize. They'll fucking realize. Uh, thank you, perp for this really, really, really fucking good image. I have retweeted it so that everyone knows about your, your, uh, your skill. Uh, that you used I, the Somnium files to uh, expand the frame, so. That's me with the fucking ibuprofen image. Dude, when I saw it, I was like so happy. I was so fucking happy. I finally saw the image, the fucking image. Oh, man. Makes me very, very, very happy. Y'all, that is pretty much it for tonight. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I need, I need, I need the, the, the sorrow. Y'all, we made it to 10 hours. A little, a little past the, the time that I wanted, but I want to say if, if you've been here since last year when we did I, the Somnium Files into September 2022, um, I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you very, very, very much for tuning in every single Uchi Koshi Sunday. Uh, it has been a pleasure. It has been a, uh, it has been a, a wonderful, wonderful time, um, getting to know this, this body of, of, of work. You know what I mean? It has been an honor. It's been a pleasure. Um, if, if, you found the series through through my videos. If you found that um, 
what do you call it? Like, if if you found a new appreciation for Uchi Koshi and his works uh, through my streams, and and even hell, if you just had fun um, in every uh, every Uchi Koshi Sunday that I've done since September, um, I uh, again thank you very 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 much. Um, my brain chemistry is altered forever uh, until the day I die. I will never ever be the same after uh, doing all of these games consistently. Um, every Sunday for the past year has been an absolute delight. Yes, I completely agree. I completely agree. Um, and although Uchi Koshi Sunday is going to rest, the Sunday streams, the Sunday 18 plus streams will not be over. I've got some bangers coming up and I would like to formally announce what the next series is going to be because um, I know a lot of people are probably asking, you know, what comes after, um, what comes after Uchi Kochi Sunday? And I've talked about it with multiple people. I've talked about it with uh, with a couple friends, with a couple of colleagues. Um, I've talked about it with some, some of the mod team. And I want to say that although Uchi Koshi Sunday is, uh, is resting very, very well for the time being, just know that hmm just know I am always thinking about the next thing I'm always thinking about the next thing, and I felt that a good, a good replacement needs something deserving of the, uh, of the Sunday, of the, uh, the Sunday moniker. I'd like to present to you the new Sunday stream. I'd like to call it Shoe Sundays. At least for a little bit. At least, at least for just a teensy, weensy little bit. Um, I have been wanting to play this game for so long. And I've never played it before. I've never played it before. I've never, ever, ever played Ghost Trick in my entire life. Uh, it is one of the games that I missed during the DS era. Um, and what better game to transition away from Uchi Koshi Sunday into Shoe Sundays? I'm going to be playing Ghost Trick starting next week, next Sunday. Uh, it is going to be really, really fucking good. Um, I don't know if I will be playing with friends. I will, I will go ask. Um, but I know that this game is beloved by a lot of people. I know that this game, uh, is maybe, uh has some of the coolest, uh, what's the word? Has some of the coolest concepts for a visual novel-like, but um, more than anything, uh, it is a Shutakumi game that I have been waiting for to be ported onto PC for a very, very long time. And when did the re-release come? When did that, when did that appear? I wanna say like two, three weeks ago? Um, so now is the best time more than ever, um, to, uh, to be picking up 
this game. Uh, I also have other things in the works for for the uh, the Sunday stream. Um, I'm I'm really looking forward to playing more VNs in particular. Um, the same day as Rain Code, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Uh, some of the games that I really, really wanted to play, um, 13 Sentinels. Um, I think the game after this one will most likely be, uh, Detective Pikachu. Because, uh, the second Detective Pikachu is coming out very, very soon. Um, but I, uh, I really, really, really want to play Detective Pikachu for Sunday. Um... But 13 Sentinels is uh, is definitely in the works. Um, Night in the Woods is also another big one. Should it be Takumi Sundays? Yeah, but it doesn't alliterate. It doesn't alliterate. Why would I call it? Why would I call it Takumi Sundays? It should be called Shoe Sunday. Um, so Night in the Woods. I really, really want, really want to play Night in the Woods. Um, and I've got a, I've got a couple of other pe people that I'm like talking to, uh, in terms of getting more like VNs, popular VNs that people, um, people, uh, uh, you know, uh, like at some point, I, like I said, I will play, uh, world's end, but that's going to be in the very, very far future. You know what I mean? Uchigoshi Sundays doesn't alliterate either. Uh, yeah, but I want to alliterate now, so. Have you streamed Psychonauts 2 before? That's not a... That's not a VN. <laughs> that's not a VN. Um... I was thinking of, of maybe doing either Valhalla or Coffee Talk at some point, but... Um, ideally I would like games that are, that are fully voiced. Um... But, uh, but Ghost Trick is a, how can I say it? It's a special case, right? It's very, very, very special. Um, and then, uh, and then, oh God, there was a couple of other, of other, like, VN likes that I really wanted to uh, try. 428 Shibuya Scramble was also another one that I wanted to try at some point, and I will just, I will just confirm it. At some point, I'll probably play Rain Code, but I know, I know Dev is going through Rain Code right now, um, so I'm, I, that's probably not going to happen anytime soon, uh, and it'll probably be a while, um, till uh till dev is done with that so i'm going to i'm gonna hold off on the rain code until very 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 far off into the future um so we'll see we'll see what happens it's really funny that umineko is fully voiced but in japanese i still gotta read it i would like to um i would like to have english voices more than anything uh, Raincoat is just dang it rot before. Oh, I, I know. Oh, I know. Calf, you should, uh, you should look in mod chat. Um, I put in some very, very important information in there. I put some extremely, extremely important information. I think, I think you, you should look in mod chat and scroll up a little bit. Scroll up a little bit. Um, but anyways, that's, that's what's coming up next. That's what's coming up next uh, is is a uh, ghost trick. Um, again, I'd love to have some friends going on in that, but I know I know we all have um, we all have a lot of things to do. Um, you know, I don't know when Thursdays are coming back, um, but I would not like to take up too much of my friends' time. On top of that. Um, you know, we still have Mondays on, on, uh, on Dollop's channel for, uh, for Murder by Numbers. So that's another day where, you know, my friends are, are, uh, are doing stuff. So I'll, uh, I'll throw in the pitch. And if, uh, if my friends, if my friends want to join, 
then by all means, they are welcome to. Um, to, uh, to my Ace Attorney homies. And, uh, and if they don't want to, that's totally fine. It'll be super low stakes. Um, so, you know, it'll be very, very, very low stakes. Um, but anyways, I think I've talked enough. It's been 10 hours. Once again, we, uh, we have taken a very, very long time to, uh, to finish, um, to finish this game. And, um, I want, once again, want to say thank you very, very, very much for joining me on this. Thank you to everyone who, who resubscribed, who donated. Uh, we are slowly but surely going up to, uh, to the rent and bills goal. Uh, you're going to see a couple bonus streams happen this week as we get closer to the end of the month. So, um, if, uh, you know, if you want a, a cool little drawing, you'll probably see that in the next so-and-so. Um, oh god. Um, as usual, you can find me on, uh, my, my socials, uh, twitter.com slash markatoto. Um, but if you're not on Twitter, I'm, I'm on Tumblr, Tumblr, uh, or sorry, uh, markatoto.tumblr.com. Uh, follow me on both of those. Tomorrow after, uh, Murder by Numbers, uh, I will be doing my regular movie night. We are watching, uh, a very, very special movie called A Whisker Away. So if you want to watch, uh, a movie about a girl who gets turned into a kitty cat. Um, there is that one. That is something that I think would be very, very, very fun to, uh, to watch with y'all. And I have something that I want to, uh, I want to show off for movie night that I'm very, very, very excited about. Um, it's going to cause the delay of, uh, of a particular movie, but in place, it's going to be really, really good. So... Um, join the Discord server if you haven't already. That is, uh, movie night happens at 10.30 p.m. EST. 10.30 p.m. EST. So, would love to see ya there. Uh, with that being said, it is 6.17 in the morning. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night. We are going to raid, uh, Doig Swift who uh, is working on some animations. I think uh, I think um, Swift is just, it looks like she's playing with some kitty cats, which, um, you know, speaking of kitty cats, it's very, very, very cute. Um, the, uh, the raid phrase for tonight, the raid phrase for tonight, oh God. I, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, I'm like, I'm like trying to, my brain is like completely toasted. My brain is completely toasted. Um, I want to say meow. I mean, it makes, it makes more sense to say meow, uh, because Date was a little kitty cat today and it made me smile so big. It made me smile really, really, really big. Oh my God. The sun is fucking rising. I, I'm not even going to say the, uh, the, uh, the last, the last words. I'm not even going to say the, uh, the fucking, uh, the 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 rule because you guys already know it you guys have learned at this point you guys already know yeah exactly see bye <laughs>